Ba. Hello, hello. Welcome. Hi, everyone. Thank you for being here. Ah. Wow, it's that time of the week again. Yeah. <laughs> also, Zumi, thank you so much for the host. I really appreciate it. Hi, Bean. I look forward to meeting you later on the show. Um, Azumi is going to be one of my guests. Um, uh, along with who else is going to be in chat who's on my show today? Oh, I wonder. Oh. Uh, Teddy is going to be a guest um, with one of my... with my. Uh, going to be a guest of a guest? Is that... Is, does that make them a... G g g g g uh, 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 yeah. <laughs> There's a word for this, I just don't know what it is. Yogi, ah! Yes, Yogi, my backstage manager, is currently having dinner, so he's not ready yet. Wow. Wow, well, he's slacking off. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> You're fine, Yogi, take your time, B. Um, yeah, hello, hello. Um, Zubix! Zubix is gonna be on the show! Hi, Zubix! Hi, Bean! You're gonna be second, I think. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. I'm looking forward to, to meeting you, Fla. Yeah, huh. Um, yeah. Mm -mm. Howdy, welcome, welcome. Devilgate, thank you for being here. Um, Kuwachi, um, I know you were lurking before stream. Hi, hi, Bean. Um, 24k for deal or no deal, what madness am I doing? Yeah, guys, we're so close to the deal or no deal redeem as well. Um, so I always leave points on during this stream so you can accumulate points if you want to put them into the community um, pot or if you want to save up to make my life how that's always good um, as always sound alerts are changed to be like minimal distraction for today's stream um, and most of my time will be given to my guests but I will check in on chat as much as I can okay beans I love you though <sighs> Um, and yeah, there's always question time with every guest, so you can ask every guest some questions if you want as well. And I really hope that their communities will come out to support them and tell me really embarrassing things. Yes! <laughs> Forest Owl! Hi Bean! Forest Owl is going to be my fifth guest on the show today. Yeah! Mm -mm 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 -mm. And so I always go early, I always go live a little bit early just so that we can have numbers ready for our first guest. Um, because uh, obviously when you start a stream you have lower viewers and then you go up so um, I, I like to try and make it as even as possible for everyone mm -mm -mm. has uh, ha has be uh, being in a cage been added yet I forgot N no I haven't I haven't got a cage I mean I haven't gone yet I'm working on it <laughs> no there's, there's more important things I need to pay for right now <laughs> Yeah, the cage is gonna have to wait, I'm afraid. But hi, Random, it's lovely to see you in Hawaii Panda. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for being here. And Charlie Gemoid, hello, hello, hello. Um, I no, this is not Five Nights at Freddy's. We, oui, you stop that. Also, Midori, welcome. It's VR Chat Bunny. It is. It is the VR Chat Bunny. Wow, is that the Bunny? <laughs> hi, Duke. Hi, Duke of Yorkshire. Ah, oh, I'm I'm gonna take a wild stab here and assume that you're from Yorkshire. I mean. I've been I've been channeling my my mental pen power and going -na 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 -na, and I'm pretty sure I'm right. <laughs> give me, give me, <laughs> give me! I fucking love you. Hi, Bean. Welcome, welcome, Wolf Girl. Hi. Thank you for being here. Huh? Wow. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Bobcat, welcome in. It's lovely to see you, Lefty. Lefty, one of my mods. Uh, Lefty's a stinky, and I love him. <laughs> Also, Zelthia, welcome, welcome. Hi, I hope you enjoyed the show. Yeah. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So, um, oh, hold on. I think, oh, my backstage manager has sent me an invite. Oh, pow, there we go. They'll be here in a minute. They'll be taking care of, like, the music and changing the videos for the guests and uh, welcoming them. Wel welcome them? Well, yeah, words. <laughs> welcoming, welcoming them to the show when when they when they join the world. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. And maybe, hi. What the fuck is this? Um, this is a, um, a wait, where's, there it is. This is a really, really bad talk show. <laughs> only, only the biggest degenerates in the history of the world would come here. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Shadow Man, welcome. Hi, Bobcat, I love you so bits, by the way. Mm. I will steal your baked be- Okay, don't, can we, whoa, okay, that's a bit extreme. Can we not steal baked beans? I am British. If you touch my beans, you you will never touch anything else again. <laughs> Slayer, welcome. Nothing but filthy degenerates, and that's why you're here. That's why you're here, Bean. Mm -mm. Of course, Zubix, British. Yeah, I'm British. Also, uh, Ariana, welcome, welcome. I don't know if I'm the biggest butt. Um, well, I definitely don't have the biggest butt, but I like butts. Does that is it, does that help at all? Buff on enough, by the way. 
<laughs> also, Shadow Man, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for popping in. Yeah. <laughs> so, today's going to run a little bit differently to every other show. We're going to give each guest 25 minutes. And that will give us a five minute window to get the next guest on. And sometimes I might have to play an ad just so that the ads don't disturb the interviews. And that gives us the perfect window to take care of all of that sort of stuff. So, because mm -mm -mm -mm. the last thing you want to do is be watching an interview with someone and then like th there's an ad and you're just like, bunny why <laughs> so yeah mm -mm -mm. we've just run an ad actually in the intro so we're good for like the first guest and then i'll run another one and then two guests like it don't worry i'll plan this all out it's, it's all not gonna go to plan <laughs> mm -mm -mm. also fanboy welcome fanboy i love you bean <sighs> hi mm. Yo, we're gonna be off schedule for only one hour this time. Yeah, guys, if we can be off schedule by less than an hour, I'll take that as a win. <laughs> I'll take that as a win. <laughs> mm, I mean, I think last week span over by like an hour and a half. <laughs> it was just ridiculous. <laughs> it just wouldn't end. Mm -mm -mm. Also, my fellas, welcome. Hi, Bun. Have a nice stream. I certainly will. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate it. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Guys, also, please keep me informed if anything is too loud or too quiet or something is scuffed. Um, Yogi, my backstage manager, is looking at chat. They will literally come up and just yell at me during the show. That's, yeah, they're good at that. So, yeah. Mm -mm -mm. I need someone to basically yell at me because I suck. <laughs> Happy birthday, pu but it's, but it's not my birthday. Um, we're, we're like, I mean, looking at my watch, we're kind of maybe five months out. <laughs> Kitty close, kind of, kind of close, I guess. Hi, hi, Bean. A medic, welcome. Thank you so much for being here. I don't want to be horny anymore. I want to be happy. Slayer, so choose one. You don't get both. <laughs> mm, how do I love you, Bean? You little cuddly fluff. How do you was one of my guests? Um, uh, I think how do you was on last week? Yeah, it was really nice. Mm -mm 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 -mm. If there was a cryptocurrency, I'd call it Crypto Pucky Stick. Cryptos are bad and you should feel bad. Just personal opinion. I'm not a huge fan of crypto. Mm -hmm. Aww. No, hi. Oh, hi. Thank you so much, Bean. That, that, that TTS was quite quiet, I have to say. Um, hmm, there's not really much I can do to turn that up now. But I will note that in the future. But thank you so much. Thanks to Bothron for my sub gift. Uh, oh, Hon Hon? What, what does Hon Hon mean? Hon Hon, it sounds like something horny. I, I'm kind of into it. Yeah. Mm -mm. Oh, you're Scuff Puck. I'm always, that, that's, it's every day. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> also, Killer Fox, welcome. I, I was just at Mana's live stream, but I decided to come here. Oh, Mana Fox is amazing. So, um, Mana Fox actually did the logo for the show. So yeah, you should definitely check them out. They're amazing. I love Mana Fox so much. They're such a mean. Wolf Girl, welcome, welcome. Thank you for being here. And also, Noah, thank you for the nine months. You get to choose a sub, baby. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. I've, got to, I've got to bring that back at some point. Azumi, well, I lurk for now. I need to get food and not be late for the show after food. Okay, Azumi, you go and have nice num nums. I look forward to meeting you soon. <laughs> also, Biffy, welcome, welcome. Hello. Hi. Thanks for being here. Mm -mm. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, um, Yogi, could you, could you do, Yogi, are you, Yogi is, hi, I just, I just like to be funny. Unpredictable! Thank you so much for the tier 3 for 23 months. Hi Daddy Bunny, you big cutie, wave, love, lewd, lewd. Wait, I can't do the emote. <laughs> wait, wave, wave, lewd, lewd, lewd. Um, <clears throat> Thank you. Thank you so much, Unpredictable. I love you so much, Bean. Thank you for the love and support you've shown me over all this time. You're such a fuck. I appreciate it. Mm -mm -mm. Dark Forest Owl never had a wholesome card, Levy. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> okay, I'm just, I'm just checking. Ah, oh, my first guest is ready. So, Yogi, head on over. They're coming in. Mm -mm -mm. So, my first guest is... Uh, quickly approaching so yeah well um, in the meantime I guess we should probably play the intro um, so yeah we'll be back after this okay we wait the sound doesn't work hold on hold on <laughs> okay so technical difficulty <laughs> don't worry about it
<laughs> hold on, hold on. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. I changed my output source at the last minute, and now it's gone. No, don't like that. No. It it does this. It's oh, oh, yes. wait, wait for it. Okay, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> Thanks, Daxon. If anything goes wrong, blame Daxon, guys. That's that's the mo. Okay, <laughs> we'll be back after this. Hey, we got there in the end. Okay, don't, don't worry about it. Everything's fine. <laughs> um, okay, I gotta um just sort some bits out. Okay, sadly, I can't play this music. Um, so when I upload the guests onto um onto the uh, words, <laughs> when I upload guests to YouTube for the videos, the people who made this this music, uh, they copyright me. So I'm just like. Okay, we've got to use different music now. So we we do have new music, but um, Yogi needs to put it on the screen. But until then, we have no no music. It's yeah, we just. Mm. Hi. So how you doing? <laughs> I actually do have like backup music, but I don't want to put it on the um mm -mm, perfect scuff. Also unpredictable. Thank you so so much for the one thousand and fifty bits. Thank you so much, Bean. I really appreciate it. I love you. I love you. <gasps> I still think you're an oil tiki. <laughs> Just don't run out of oil, okay? <laughs> oh. mm -mm -mm -mm. Archibald, welcome, by the way. Hi, it's lovely to see you. Hi, Bean. Razor Fang, welcome. Hi. Oh. Samurai, thank you for being here as well. It's always nice to see you, Fluff. Um, hello, Puck. Hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Intro without audio yet, don't worry. It's just typical scuff stuff. It's fine. <laughs> I could explain what happened. But but it's just not worth <laughs> mm -mm, Demonia, thank you for being here as well. And Noir, oh, I love you being... Mm -mm -mm. Like usual, he is not reading chat. Hey, I am reading chat right now. We Bark, bark, bark. Okay, my first guest is ready for me. So we're going to jump over to the screen. We're going to play that video. And um, hold on. Before we do that, I need to just quickly... Um, do, 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 Pow, look at that. Hey, organized. Okay, we good, Yogi? Yeah. Mm -mm. Oh, yeah. Wait. Yeah, it's a Twitch link. It doesn't work. I forgot about that. Yeah, we, we, yeah, I mentioned this to Guns just before the stream. <laughs> Do, oh, wait. Okay. Yogi, I'm going to send you a link. Hold on. <laughs> organized. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Oh yeah, so you did. I'm so sorry, Bean. Oh, ha, pow, perfect. Okay, Yogi, incoming. D it's dangerous to go alone. Take, take this. <laughs> Thank you for the follow, by the way. Don't worry. Wait. Thanks, Daxon. Fucking God, it's always Daxon's fault. <laughs> did you get it, Bean? Yeah, yeah. Okay, we're gonna follow over to the screen. We'll be back in a sec. <laughs> Now the now the player's not working. <laughs> Give it a second. No, no, it's fine. Guns. It just sometimes does this. <laughs> it, yeah, you you will see it when it works. Don't worry. <laughs> oh, can you see it? Oh, it's it's it's, totally, it's just having. 
I'm just having a bad day, I guess. <laughs> it's not working for me. <laughs> oh, God. Yo, are, are you trying it again? Should I, should I try and resync? Let me, let me resync. Let me see if that helps. Let me just. Okay, I've just I've just reloaded. Oh, oh, I think I think we're there. Is did that is that is that it? It's working. Woo! Is what? It's not playing on stream. What the? F you can't hear the video. Oh, there we go. I've just fixed. It's just a clip from my RP where I actually made Cyberchip actually laugh. Uh, it's really hard to make Cyberchip laugh. Okay, I'm, I'm going to play. I'll go, ch I'll go check on Pong Chip in the bathroom. <laughs> It's fine. It's fine. that was that was perfect. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you okay, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> without any further scuff, <laughs> please welcome my first guest <laughs> to the to the show. It's Gansutaki. Woo! Hi, Guns. Hi. Hey Thank there. you for coming. How on. You doing? <laughs> okay. Maybe I can sit in this so, properly. Oh, so just, just regarding like. All the scuff. This is just this. You know, this is just generally how we do things. <laughs> you get used oh, to it. Oh, it's normal that any you, you, Twitch stream has scuff. Oh, but it's mine. Like you're not a Twitch streamer unless you have scuff. But mine has exceptional amounts, though. It's kind of it's kind of a thing. <laughs> um, <laughs> hi, welcome to the show. Thank you for joining me, Guns. Um, yeah. Um, and um, yeah. We. Uh, oh, fuck. <laughs> Great start. I've just broken everything. <laughs> At least the music works. Um, yeah. So, guns. Tell us a little bit more about yourself. To, uh, oh, you dropped the drop the cup. That's all right. We, we got we got Janet. I got this. mugged. I'm sorry. <sighs> Fucking hell. <laughs> I, I just I knew I knew this was gonna happen. I knew you were gonna. Okay. So, um, I I should say, um, uh, guns love to dad jokes. <laughs> it's so bad. <laughs> okay, introduce yourself, Bean. It's all you. <laughs> gotcha. I'm Guns Gataku. I'm a variety streamer. Uh, I recently been streaming a lot of VR chat and also Minecraft. Used to do a lot of Call of Duty back in the day and other stuff, but uh, it's too rage inducing, so I switched to being VR chat and all that stuff. Uh, I'm uh, a little bit of history myself. I was in the military for about nine years. I was actually on submarines. Uh, that was my life prior to like. But I streamed a little bit while I was in the military, but not as much as I do now that I'm a civilian. Uh, but started streaming a little bit, enjoyed a little bit of everything. I love uh, memorizing dad jokes, telling people dad jokes uh, in VR chat. Uh, just generally being a nice guy, being wholesome and making people laugh. That's kind of my goal in VR chat. And uh, no drama or anything like that. I'll try to be apolitical, make everybody, uh, treat everybody the same. And that's basically me. That's actually a really solid introduction. Be claps, yeah. There's lots of claps in chat as well. <laughs> also, Noir says that's the peak level of how thin he wants to be. Is this an accurate representation of you in real life? Or... No, 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 no. I was going to no, say, no, I would no, imagine no, you to be I'm quite... Boy. Yeah, I'm I was thinking... Boy, <laughs> I do work out. I, 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 I do work out. I, I, you I see me out. on the bike and everything like that. So, <laughs> so actually, with, with my uh, full body now, I actually get on... I have a recumbent bicycle that I roll into my stream room. Oh, that's uh, which cool. Which is really cool. I, I don't know if... Did I, I sent you pictures of that before, haven't I? Can't no, but, anyway, but you have sent me your setup, which is crazy. We're going to come to that as yeah, well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I roll in my recumbent bicycle, and what I'll do is I'll just come up to people and bike and, like, tell things. Like, uh, for instance, like if I'm on the bicycle, I'll just roll up to people and be like, why did the bike... Why was the bike... Uh, why why did the bike fall over? I, I'm, I, oh, I was too tired. <sighs> <laughs> it's gonna be it's gonna be one of those isn't it <laughs> no. and then i have a i have what's called a gremlin laugh that i like to do at the end that apparently makes people laugh so like i'll tell a joke and then immediately go <laughs> or something like that that just sounds people, like, satanic people, like, i feel like i feel like I'm, i i've just entered a horror movie <laughs> i'm about to be murdered 
Um, yeah, so thank you for coming on the show. It's lovely to see you, Bean. Uh, it's been a little while since I've seen you, actually. Um, I wish we had more time to hang out, but, you know, how, how life be. Um, w one of the main points, like, I love how you gave, like, the general, like, synopsis of yourself in the intro, but we'll bake into it in a bit more detail. Um, you, you mentioned you did the military. Like, well, we, I, we've had, like, military personnel on before, but, like, we've never had, like, um, I, I, I don't think you, you weren't, like, frontline infantry, I don't think. You, you were in the Navy, no, no, I, I believe? No, I was a submarine, I was a submariner, so I was actually uh, stationed on a submarine, I was a nuclear operator, so I actually... She was an electrician and uh, ran the uh, helped run the electrical systems on a nuclear reactor on a submarine out of Pearl Harbor, Hawaii. That's absolutely That's insane. Was it that quite years. recent, or was that like a, a, in your past? Like, I'm not sure how old you are. So. I, I, only only two years ago. I'm uh, currently 31. By the way, I want to warn something. Uh, if I suddenly get up, it's because there's dominoes at my front door. They, they, <laughs> the guy actually brought my. Funny story. Funny story. Right before this, they brought the pizza. I was playing Minecraft or Minecraft, and I had my headphones on. I didn't hear him knocking on my door. None of my alarms went off or anything like that. He didn't even ring the doorbell. Uh, but he just stood Who there doesn't ring the doorbell? The <laughs> what the fuck? He, he, he called my phone three times. Which my phone was com I was completely blind to my phone and didn't even hear it. The guy took, instead of just, I've already paid for the pizza. Instead of leaving it at the front door and going on his merry way, he took the pizza back to the store with him. What? And, and now I had to call him and be like, where the fuck is my pizza? You could just left it there. I'm fine if it's cold. <laughs> I got an oven. Ladies and gentlemen, anyway, Dominic. If I suddenly like, if I suddenly get up and I'm like, <laughs> oh, you, you're absolutely fine. Now, Don't worry. We've had, we've had other we've had other random scuff things happen before. You're you're fine. Yeah, you can totally eat it while you're on, on stream. That'd be awesome. <laughs> oh, but there is one thing though. Why didn't you get me any? Where, where's where's my Dominic? What? I mean, I have a whole large pizza. I can share it with you virtually. I guess. Oh sh no! Can you ship that to me? Can you post it? Is that? Can you, can you I, I mean, I could, but it'd probably be, like, completely moldy because you're in the UK, I think, right? Hmm. I don't... I, I mean, you could that deliver are, it yourself. That are, back to, oh, uh, that, that are also known as the back-to-back -back, uh, Revolutionary War losers. I'm still mad you dumped our tea in the ocean. <laughs> That's the thing. <laughs> I can't get over this. Fun hey, fact, hey, kids. America's <laughs> left the tea bag. I'm sorry. You are your terrible. <laughs> you but, but anyway, back up, back on submarines. So yeah, I, did, I served on a submarine, a nuclear submarine out of Pearl Harbor, Hawaii. It was a Los Angeles class submarine. Uh, the rank I got out with because I wasn't that I was a smart bean, but I also didn't really care for the Navy. I should have got out as a first class, but I got out as a second class petty uh, petty officer. But I, I lived in Hawaii. I actually owned property in Hawaii. While I was over there. By the way, buying a house in Hawaii or buying not even a house six. 606 square feet. I don't know what that is in meters, but 606 square feet, mm -hmm. two bedroom, one bath house, cost me two hundred eighty thousand dollars. I sold it two years later for three hundred fifty after renovating it. After I got out of the navy. This this would explain and why I, you have a really it, nice setup in your house. <laughs> well, well, well not, not just that, but like, my, my, hmm. what's funny is my house, my 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 house in Texas. I'm not gonna tell you the city, obviously, but my house in Texas is about three times the size, almost three times the size of that condo in Hawaii, and I only paid 230 for it, so 50 grand less. I, I, I'm living in the wrong country. <laughs> Everything's too expensive. To, no, seriously, move to Texas. It, there's, there's, no, there's no income tax, state income tax. There's no income? Right. Huh? I have, I, have five, I, have, I have fiber internet. I have one gigabit up and one gigabit down internet. A thousand megabytes. I mean, are you? Are you said you got down. two beds. Are you taking roommates? <laughs> no, I got, I got, I got three, three beds, and actually, yes, what? technically, I am taking roommates. Even better. Okay, guys, we're we're gonna have to delay the future shows. Apparently, I'm moving to Texas. I'm sorry. It's just, it's the, that's just not how this is gonna be. You, you gotta wear. You gotta go wear. As soon as you, as soon as you enter Texas, you have to wear cowboy boots and like uh, chapless, uh, chapless pants. So it's it's a requirement. <laughs> okay, is that just a massive stereotype, or do people actually like walk around like that in Texas? Oh, they wear they wear all the cowboy gear and stuff. They actually have line dancing classes in bars. Like it'll be like like this floor, but people will just be like dancing. I don't I don't I don't <laughs> sing country, so, but I mean people do that stuff. But 
Yeah, in Texas, I, I moved here because of work. Uh, originally, I was going to move back home. I'm originally from Alabama, uh, Birmingham, uh, mm -hmm. Hoover area. That's where I originally went to high school and everything. I was going to go to college there. Uh, but uh, I got an internship with the, my current company and then I'm working here as my day job but obviously if, if streaming becomes a thing I'm a very small content creator but like if anything becomes bigger uh, the other thing I'm most proud about at least uh, with content creation day is uh, I we went uh, I produced hired uh, Sugar Shy and, and all of her team and lot to run the blind spot which happened back January 15th. we were gonna mention this yeah huge... yeah do you want to tell us more about like yeah. the blind spot and you had your first episode recently I think when you had your like yeah, first yeah, first episode mm -mm. I did. I did it's watch some of it as well, and it looked really good. Oh. So yeah, mm -mm. Yeah, yeah. Tell us Sugar about Shy it. I did a great team. Like <laughs> none, none of that was me. All I did was provide the funds. Basically, that's what a producer does. I just provide the funds. But the the point of the blind spot is to give an outlook for uh, uh, content creators who are small who normally some of them don't even stream. They sometimes just perform in VR chat, like live shows, and everything. But here's the problem with the market in VR chat: a lot of content creators and people who do music. Uh, don't get paid you know they get, they run solely on tips or anything like that now like a venue if you go to a bar or something they have cover charges or something like that where like the person who's producing the town actually gets a cut of the money and stuff like that mm -hmm. so that was the whole point of the blind spot is to make it where basically uh we could make it where the content creators the people for performing comedy and all that stuff it's a variety of shows comedy we had cyberchip do memes we had other people do singing and dancing um the point is so they get a cut of the the funds from the actual stream so the way i ran it is 50 percent of the income from the stream went to the actual content creators the other 50 percent also went to me to cover the cost of the show uh i will say like uh i'm uh, we made over like 600 dollars. wow that's in, really in good in so, the first episode so as well mm. in the first episode it was, it was very very successful we're still getting there still looking for sponsors and stuff everything like that but we should be having another show potentially in may it's a really great thing we uh, and it's going to be different people every time with maybe one or two carryovers from the previous show as headliners uh, but yeah like even new dory like did comedy it was like one of the best parts like hilarious adzy was the adzy slayer was the uh headliner nerdy nanny was there Cyberchimp was there uh, nasiri was there uh let's see who else was a camp leroy was there i i can name everybody one two step was like the opening act but it was a huge show it was like four hours long it, it was really great we had over 70 people live watching as well as 100 people watching on the stream and uh it was great it it, it warmed my heart because i literally cried at the end of it because of uh -huh. all the donations and everything because <laughs> the whole point of the show hmm. i like to say it's not my show it's our show that's why i want to uh, that's how i want it run because it's a show where I want people to come and enjoy the content and everything like that, but also feel like they belong and hmm. that it's a community oriented event. And that's pretty much it. On so the blind spot. is it is it just organized and run by yourself or is there a team of you that run the blind spot? No, 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 no. I hired Sugar Shy to direct it and then she just balls busted it all, all off of, sorry to use that language, but. <laughs> no, you're fine. You can but, smile and uh, everything she, on the she, show. She so. did all the heavy lifting. She selects all the talent and everything like that. Obviously I have dictator vote, but I'll, I trust my director because mm. that's how it goes. From a director, the director has the creative vision and the producer is just basically the person who uh, funds and everything like that. But my, but it was successful. Everyone enjoyed it. We had some good pictures and everything like that. Uh, but yeah, that the camera angles we used Llama Lad's uh, world, which he has that open for everybody. I didn't even ask him to. Shout out to Llama Lad. Like he just put up my logo. Matty MT made the logo for the blind spot as well. Mm -hmm. And then Llama Lad just out of nowhere just took that logo and made it a 3D image in the world. Like I walked in the world and it, like it's there. Already. It looked like, like the production crazy. value looked so good. It looked like really oh high my quality. God, that yeah, world is so good. It's so, so good. So Llama's good. Llama has made something real world. special there. Um, and yeah, that was really mm -hmm. kind of him. I didn't realize that Llama had like actively um, assisted with the things as well. So, ah, ah. Llama's I, I asked him if I could use the world, and he offered, and then he just went above and beyond. So yeah, support uh, Llama Lad, sub to him, follow him, all that stuff. Obviously, sub, follow Sugar Shy, Adzy, and all the other content creators from the thing. But the VOD's still up. I'm eventually. I already have the raw file. I'm gonna upload that to my YouTube channel, which <laughs> I don't have much VR content on my YouTube channel. I do a lot of tech reviews and stuff. You could actually. That's my IRL channel, really. I don't have many subscribers on it, but I talk about, like, I review furniture on it. For my most popular video has got, like, 40,000 views on it, and it's me <laughs> reviewing a $5,000 armchair. Oh, wait. You have a... Did you own this armchair? Is this your armchair? 
Yeah, yeah. I, I own a five thousand dollar chair. What? What? That's a lot of money. <laughs> yeah, no, it, it, it's an Eames lounge chair. It's like the same chair that's in the back of Shroud Street and stuff like that. My company that I originally joined got bought out, so I had a lot of uh, money. So, like, mm -hmm. I uh, used some of it to buy, like, some uh, 2080 Ti back in the day and then all that stuff. Although, now I have a 3080 in my system, which, thank God, I got it at retail price when it first came out. Oh, you oh got lucky. God, <laughs> you got so lucky. So, I, camp I, camped <laughs> I camped outside in a sleeping bag outside Micro Center, and I got the last... 3080 that they had because someone dropped out of line. You got so and I got it. So lucky. I have like I have a two uh, to go, go through my setup. I have a gaming system where it has a 3080 and a 5800x uh, AMD CPU, and then I have a streaming PC that I built with a 10 uh, 1070 Intel. So I have an AMD and Intel computer, and when I stream, I stream everything onto my streaming PC, which isn't that powerful. It's just there to adjust the stream and make it. So like my. Uh, but what what that does is I have a 1080p 60 frame really crisp stream. I like stream quality. I like good content, so stuff like that, and also learning how to do um, VR and stuff. It, it's been really fun, like full body, all that stuff. It's been fun. I don't make avatars. Uh, most this one actually was uh, done by Maddie for me, redone. It's retextured. Funny enough, this avatar, the base of it, was made by Rainhead, who actually won the Spookality avatar contest. I found out. But I got to her before she did all that, so that's kind of cool. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Like, <laughs> I love how you you pretty much covered almost everything I was going to talk to you about. <laughs> You're really fun. Well, I'm trying to make use of your time, and I go over time. <laughs> You're amazing. Thank you, Bean. Um, there are some other things though. Um, like um. You, you, in that clip that we saw, so obviously the clip didn't work too well there, guys, so apologies. That you, um, you were doing the, I think it's called the Purple Lotus RP. You're part of the RP group there. The Purple Lotus RP mm -hmm. and, and Cyberchimp and, uh, Polly happened to join that day, and it was hilarious because, like, Chip decided to use the, uh, Crab Game avatar, and instead of speaking anything, his language was PogChamp. So he'd be like, PogChamp, PogChamp? Puck chip, puck chip. He just came up with that on the fly, and during that RP, that was the first time we came up with his whole lore, like the fact that uh, you know he speaks in Pog Champ uh, language. Uh, that's his race of people and stuff like that. That's how they communicate, and we figure out how to talk to him, and we invented his lore as talk to it. And like he was just like randomly throw money at people, and I would say stop throwing nickels at people in people's mouths. You know where the money's been. And then in that scene, I basically he goes up to me, he goes Pog Champ, Pog Champ. And I'm like, don't put nickels up your butthole. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, and, and, and it made Chip break character so bad. And he's laughing. <laughs> something they had to go to the bathroom. So making that, that's my thing. It's really hard to make Cyber Chip laugh. And the fact that I made him break character and laugh was like, yes. <laughs> it's really <laughs> hard. Did you did you want to tell us more about the blue Lo uh, the purple lotus um, RP like that that community and group? Are you have you so been in there for a while or? I've been in there for a little bit. I'm not a major player or anything like that. I actually go there and I just do the dad jokes to make people break character all the time. <laughs> You're uh, terrible. <laughs> but but I, go, I go there every once in a while, like a one or two hour stream or something like that, whether it happened. I think it's Thursday, Friday, Saturday that they have. I don't go every time, but I go at least one or two days a week. Um, what it is is an open form RP. Anybody can apply for it and get verified and all that stuff. And then you can uh, join, and it's basically first time rp area i'm i'm not i'm I, i'm not a representative of purple lotus i just go to it to have fun but it's rp you're always in character but it's not like serious uh rp like you can't do that you can't do that you can't do that. like that yeah it's, like it's, it's a bit more laid back it. yeah mm -mm -mm. yeah people could go uh our rp and just get a taste of it it's really fun. I recommend joining the Purple Lotus. How would they find the Purple Lotus? Like, how would how would people go around? There's a Discord. It? Uh, if people want to message me, I could give them the Discord link. Uh, but don't like spam me or anything like that. Yeah, if I you want to post it in the chat the... um uh, after your segment, then yeah, that's absolutely fine. You're more than welcome to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -mm. Yeah, when we... I get off, I'll just post the Discord link. 
Oh yeah, if it doesn't work, just message one of my mods and they'll post it for you, okay? Because I'm not sure if links work at the moment. <laughs> but um, just real quickly as well, um, Cal Calgy, um, uh, uh, um, uh, Calger, so thank you so, so much for the donation. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much, Bean. Uh, I hope you're having a lovely day. Mm, thank you so much. That's a lot of money. Huh. Mm -mm -mm. Um, so um, I, I had someone called Yormick in chat saying, hello, it's been a while since I've seen you guns. Do you know Yormick? Does the name ring a bell to you? I do know Yormick. I, I, nice to see you. Where's the camera? Uh, <laughs> they're, they're everywhere to be fair. <laughs> Most of the time, the best point of reference is to look at my backstage manager, Yogi. He's generally the best angle to like look at the camera or be at a good angle for it. So you can't really go wrong. <laughs> hey, boo-boo. Hey, boo-boo. Sorry, I just I hate Yogi and I like Yogi Bear. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, yeah, it's like, yeah, I've seen you before. Mm -mm -mm. Um, okay. Um, uh, 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 I'm just looking at my list because you, you, like, you completely caught me off guard. You're just like, yeah, we're talking about this and this and this. And I'm just like, wow, huh? <laughs> like, you're so organized. Mm -mm. Um, should, we, should we switch chairs? Wait, 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 wait. Here we go. Here, I'll just move over here. I'm just <laughs> I, I'm just kidding. The, the only other thing we didn't cover was like uh, my other hobbies, like RRL or something like that. I guess like when I talked about yeah, like I my, was gonna. Uh, yeah, I know. Some yeah. People that... mm -mm. You you. Do you so... want me to go into that? Yeah, we've got so we've got time. So um, we'll we'll throw it over to chat for a couple of questions in a couple minutes. So uh, we've got we've got like two or three minutes yet. So um, I know you like to you, you're a huge fan of guns, and I I think it has to do with your name as well. Like, did is the name correlative to? So, so guns could talk. It was just a pen name for something back in the day. That's just just what I am. Uh, just do. But I do uh, appreciate firearms, and everything like that. I'm not a crazy conservative gun nut or anything like mm -hmm. that. I'm very apolitical on everything like that. I like to do target shooting. Like, uh, I'll take my AK. I have like a Russian AK that's semi automatic that no I go to way. the range and shoot. Oh, that must yeah, be so yeah. much fun to they're, shoot. They're, they're... <gasps> oh, yeah. It's very, very, very fun. But not only that, I've actually learned how to make my own bullets from old brass. So I clean the brass, I clean them out, and then I'll put new gunpowder and new bullets in it. And not only that, like, you could buy bullets and do it. Someone's already cast it for you, but me. I actually bought a casting kit, and I actually can make my own 9mm, 10mm, some uh, AK bullets, and melt the lead myself and cast them. And then I have actual bullets that I use, coat with powder coat, and use in my bullets. So I can personally make a bullet and uh, uh, dial it into exactly the specification I want to have the best accuracy out of it if I want to. Right now, because right now in the U.S., because of just the, uh, the way it is, it's very expensive to buy like ammo at the ammo store. Mm -hmm. It's just even in the U.S. Like you're talking like no, when it used to be like 15 cents around to buy no, a nine millimeter, it's now like 50 cents around, so half a dollar just to buy one bullet. Yeah, so like a clip you would a be like 15 dollars or something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, if I, if I think about a clip, uh, so there's that that's that's a common misconception. A clip, a clip is where bullets go in, like for old rifles and everything like that, like bolt action rifles. A magazine is where you put bullets in. Oh, you can okay. use a clip to mm. load a magazine. I've so. learned something today. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, I, I really like guns. I like shooting them. Um, obviously, I don't like hunting, and obviously, I've never shot anybody, God willing, or anything like that. But I do like the Second Amendment and everything like that in America. Uh, I appreciate it, but I collect I collect firearms for uh, fun and just for shooting, not for anything else. I, I really couldn't shoot a deer. I mean, if someone invited me out to go hunting, I probably would. But if I'm killing an animal, I'm gonna eat the whole thing. Yeah, you, you're not thing. you're not just but gonna do it for it sport. All. You're gonna actually, yeah. But generally, you don't fire for sport anyway. So yeah. Mm -mm -mm. No, you're mm -hmm. good bean, yeah. Mm -mm. Um, okay, so we've got a couple minutes left, and I always like to throw over to chat to ask you any questions that they may have. And if any of your community are here, they can always reveal um, embarrassing things about you, <laughs> which is always fun. So, no, <laughs> so chat, if you if you've got any questions you wanted to ask guns, um, or or tell me to ask them about a certain story or, or situation, now now is your time. Mm -mm 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 -mm. <laughs> But um, while while we wait for them, um, you, 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 isn't making your own bullets like dangerous? Isn't isn't there like any danger in doing that? You can't like accidentally. No, no, no. no. Like, like the, mm. making your own bullets is not that bad. Uh, a gunpowder itself is not that explosive unless it's contained. Like if you set out some gunpowder on the ground and light it, it'll just go. Whoosh. 
but it's when you, that's how the way bullets work it's pressure the gunpowder is applying the pressure that allows the bullet to launch out the barrel uh, okay so this makes sense it's not because Obviously, you're not going to be smoking a cigarette while uh, underneath the cover. <laughs> <laughs> but, 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 like, it, 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 it can be dangerous if you're not doing it the proper way. As long as you follow the manuals to do everything, it's just going to make sure if you put too much or actually what's more dangerous is putting the least amount of powder, like what's called a squib load. If you don't put enough gunpowder in a bullet, it can get the bullet lodged in the barrel. So if you do that, and then you have a full, uh, another cartridge behind that, and you don't realize that you need a squib load, and then you shoot your gun again, well, that bullet's going to hit that other bullet in your barrel, and then you just turn your gun into a hand grenade, and your hand will blow up. Yeah, that's probably not a... Yeah, no, that's bad. <laughs> it's all pressure. It's all pressure. So yeah, that, that's mm -hmm. the thing. It, more likely, the most dangerous thing is not properly loading the ammo correctly, putting too much or too little. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, we got questions. Here we go. So um, the first one's from Noir. Noir says, um, "Have you become someone to sugar daddy?" <laughs> is, no, is that, no, is that no, referring no, no. to something? <laughs> I, 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 I am not anyone sugar daddy or anything like that. I hope they got not. I actually save a lot of my money. The, the Most of my money and everything like that, I am not rich. If anyone thinks that I'm not rich, I just know how to use my money correctly. Mm -hmm. uh, that's You're basically. smart with money. Anybody <laughs> could be a fine... I've seen people who could deliver pizzas whose own mansions. I'm not, I mean, like, as long as you manage your money well and uh, hire a financial advisor if you can, uh, can afford it or become your own financial advisor by watching on YouTube stuff, don't go to that guy who says, like, knowledge. You know, that big old YouTube guy for baggy, buy my book. It's a, don't do that crap. Find out on your own and that, then you can be successful financially. But no, no sugar daddy. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna roll two into one. So I'm gonna take um, Chara Dreamoid and Cyberchimp's question and kind of mold it into one. Uh, so Cyberch says, "Can you make a cringe pun?" And Chara says, um, "Why did you consider VR chat and the sufferable puns?" <laughs> so they kind of go together. <laughs> mm -mm. Uh, I I can make one. I don't think you've actually heard this one before. I, this is actually one of my because I'm in my Hawaiian shirt right now. Why do Hawaiians? make their phones from local wood i i there's no way i'm gonna get this i have no idea hold, hold out your hand hold out your hand so it could fit in the palm of their hand i fucking hate you so <laughs> i also got another one like why why is the pole why is the pole gonna date with the fish um a good pickup line the fish was a great catch too oh my god so <laughs> you in on that one <laughs> this why is why did the painting go to jail <laughs> why, why did the painting go it to was jail framed. <sighs> i heard you got a bad haircut the other day it's really growing on you and then one more because <laughs> you're a bunny jim's probably loving what's this invisible, <laughs> what's invisible it smells like carrots mm. turn around rabbit farts there you go Hey, I don't. Is that cringe enough for you? Hey, I don't. I don't fart except for that 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 one time. Okay, this this one time. But <laughs> I'm like a girl. I don't fart. It's fine. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, um, we got time for for one more as well. Um, where do we go? Okay, we'll go with we'll go with Fiaz. Um, Caldra, hold. Puns. Ah, did someone just donate a lot to you? Do um, yeah. Um, bully the bean! Bully the um, bean! Bully the bean! Bully, 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 I have to keep it together because I'm trying to lose the show. Calder, you fucking hell. No, you're totally fine. Bully the bean! No, don't bully the bean. Holy shit. That's a serious amount of money. Thank you so much. Oh, you okay? You need a hug? No, yeah. Mm, 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 mm. You need a hug? <laughs> here you go, here you go. Here you go. Good bead, good bead. Thank you, You're torturing the bead, but in a good way. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, you made him cry. I love you. We love you, chat. I can't. I can't be. <clears throat> I can't be. I can't be crying right now. I gotta host the show. <laughs> Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Bye. You bully. Bye. Here, here I'll, mm. I'll, I'll lighten it up with a joke. What did one eye say the other eye? Um, 
uh, wait, uh, um, there's something, um, it's fuck, it's something about smelling, um. Between you and me, man, something smells. I would tell you a more <laughs> iconic joke, but then we just get corny and cornea. <laughs> oh, I need to wipe my hand. Oh, God, they really got you good. I, I thought the joke would... <laughs> it would be worse by holding it together. Oh, I have to the hold it together chat. for the joke. Fuck. Thank you so much. We, no, you... Uh, there's, we have a rule that you're not meant to bully Bunny during the show because everything scars. Okay. Before you can the counter, you're bully. Mm. Thank you so much. I you would have skipped the question so you can get your next question. No, <laughs> we're, we're doing this question. Barker. Mm. Okay. Okay. Um, 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 okay. Okay, I, I the the question disappeared, but there's um um uh, I wonder if I can find find it um <clears throat> just deep breath I'm fine um it's really hard to scroll back up through the chat okay I've got it um Th Daniel says what is the one thing you love about managing variety shows on VR chat is it the crowds the performers or is there another reason it's a really good question. That, uh, the combination of all of it, honestly, with the previous uh, blind spot, the community was my favorite thing about the whole thing. The fact that people were willing to donate their money and tip everything like that. Obviously, it's not required a tip or anything like that because it is a free show in that sense. But it's more just the community coming together, supporting everybody, and it just gives that wonderful, good feeling energy throughout the week. So we had that on Saturday, so people had a good Sunday. People came in. It just made people feel good, and mm. it, it just makes people's hearts swell. That's the most important thing. That's what I, I'm going to be focusing on when we do more shows. Uh, obviously, Sugar Shy is going to be doing the directing, and the, the whole team is going to be the directing. That's their creative vision. And I'm just the producer, but obviously, if there's no me, there's no show. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but it is our show. Mm. Is that how is it? It's not my show. It's our show. That's what I'm always going to say about the blind spot. It's a really nice thing that you're doing. When, when's the next one? Is it still uh, one? It's going to be in May. We're still in talks with people. We haven't gotten a firm, a firm date and everything like that, but there will be auditions for other additional parts. I think we've already lined up all the singers, but we still need dancers and comedians. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure if Sugar's already lined it up. Uh, we, are ta we were taking a break, so about wait two weeks and then message Sugar Shy on Twitter and stuff, and we should have auditions in March. That will not be streamed. That'll that could be recorded and everything like that. But gives you a chance to put yourself out there. And, and even even if you audition, you could be at a next blind spot later. Yeah. Okay. Um. So um. We we run over a little bit, but it's fine. Um. Oh, okay. Um. No, it's not your fault. Being this. Um. I kind of. Fuck. <laughs> I I got caught off angle. I'm gonna have to review um, it. I'm gonna have to review it. And go back and make a clip of it. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna post it on YouTube as well, so you've got the whole thing. Um, for, mm -hmm. for, for and you can just download that and do whatever you like with it as well. Um, but mm -hmm. before you go, we we always give it like you the floor, and you can talk about anything. You can talk about what's coming up in the future and things you're doing and people you want to plug and give shout outs to and all those sorts of things. So, um, I'm gonna run off screen, and um, it's all on you. <laughs> mm -mm. Do I just sit here or do I get there? Oh, no, you just sit there and, um, yeah, just look at Yogi and tell anyone okay, anything you, you want. I got you. I'll, I'll mm -hmm. just, dude, we pretty much ran through everything. The blind spot is the thing I want to focus, focus on my Twitter and Sugar Size Twitter for the blind spot. I do want to give a shout out to Matty MT, who's done the artwork for the blind spot. I want to give a shout out to Cyberkent for introducing me to this one community. I happen to meet him in a public world and we became friends he's a really great person make sure to follow subscribe to him he just recently got to 100k subscribers so he got a silver play button let's get him to a million uh another other person i want to shout out because they currently are in the hospital right now in the icu they're a very small time streamer 
they got COVID and had to actually go into a coma, uh, a medically induced coma. They're awake now and they should be back. Uh, his name is Gale Force. If you could follow him on tw uh, uh, Twitter or Twitch or anything like that, uh, he is going to be back. He is alive. We're going to give like a little uh, uh, hello when he gets back. We're making a uh, get well soon card. But mm -hmm. yeah, he was he really he got COVID back December 24th and has been in the hospital sit before Christmas and still been there. So uh, I'm hoping everything wor works out for him and he gets back to the community here soon. Mm -mm. <laughs> and then obviously follow my channel and everything like that. I just got to a thousand followers on Twitch. So thank Congrats. you to my community. Congrats, and, Dean. And yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I want to go from there, but sorry, sorry to end on a somber note with Gail thing, but they they are safe and everything like that. But I wanted to mention them because they're no, really good friends. They're they're, fine. They're, they're, mm -hmm. they're currently doing a GoFundMe on his Twitter. I'm not saying to donate to him, but on his Gail Forcer, he is a GoFundMe because because he's at him and his brother both went to the ICU and they live with their mom. There's literally no income right now because they uh, been sick for over a month, and he's gonna go to rehab next week. Mm -hmm. That's pretty much it. No, that's really nice of you to give a shout out to a friend, and I, I, I honestly wish all the best for them, and I wish the best for you mm -hmm. in the future and this year as well. And um, uh, I hope you continue to to drive us mental with your dad jokes. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, Poe, when when does a joke well. become a dad joke? <laughs> when it becomes a parent? Oh my God! They fucking they just end. <laughs> Thank you so much for, for coming on. Yeah, you can go any direction, to be honest. Ladies and gentlemen, my first okay. guest, it was Guns Gataki. Woo! Thank you so much for coming yeah, on, yeah, Bean. Like, I hope you have a lovely night. Bye-bye, Bean. Aw, Guns is really, really fun to talk to. I enjoyed that. Guns is lovely. Um, Thank you for the, the donations. And Angelou, thank you for the bait. I really appreciate that. That was very kind of you. Um, I'm currently a little bit of a mess because... Um, uh, Zalja um, thought it would be funny to, to bully me with lots of money, um, but I'm okay. I've got to keep it together for the show, so, um, uh, I, but thank you so, so much for the support. Thank you for the sub as well. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Night. I love you. Um, yeah. Oh, my, my second guest is already on their way, so we're not doing too bad for time so far. <clears throat> I'm, I'm keeping it together. Huh. Mm -mm -mm. Because my second guest is is ready, so um, um, thank you so much for the love and support, guys. And and just like that, we're gonna jump into our second guest, and I'll speak to you in a second. It's not even Christmas anymore! It's January! It's motherfucking January! It's like two months until I'm 22. I'm gonna be 22 in a little over two fucking months. Months. Fuck. You're fucking- I know how to start a proxy war in Sub-Saharan Africa and sell weapons to both sides to make a profit. I like the way you think. I don't. The true uh, Lord of War over here. <laughs> <laughs> Not the Lord of War, I'm Simply Zuby. Speaking of Simply Zuby, are you thirsty? Oh, heck yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me some of that. Drink up. Yeah. <sighs> Those noises are questionable. <laughs> That's a really good intro video. I like that one. That was fluffy. Um, so, ladies and gentlemen, um, without further ado, please welcome... Um, my my second guest to the show is Zubix. Zubix, woo! Hi, Bean. Hi, Zubix. Hi. Thanks for coming. Hi. It's lovely to see you. Um, please excuse my little sniffly face. Um, I'm I'm um having d d bully issues right now. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming on the show. It's lovely to see you. Um, thank you for having me. No, it's a yeah. pleasure. It's a pleasure. So, um, oh, thank you so much. Oh my God, you no! Stay there, I'll go on ahead. Stop! <laughs> We're not doing puns in chat, we. Um, <laughs> thank you so much for the subs, guys. I appreciate it. Um, so, um, Zubix, tell us a little bit more about yourself. Tell us who you are and what you do. Um, also, by the way, I love the avatar. Um, but we'll talk about it in a second. Thank you. Mm -mm -mm. Um, I'm Zubix, uh, I'm usually primarily a VR chat streamer, but recently I've had a somewhat 
of a cable dilemma, so I've also just been streaming desktop and stuff, but uh, I've been streaming for a while. I started streaming Beat Saber back in, I want to say like, I think October of 2020, and I just kind of started going from there, and then I saw people I like streaming VR chat, like, you know what, hey, what if I do it? Why not? I've got nothing else to do. Mm -hmm. And now I'm here. And so, did you play VR chat first and then play Beat Saber, or did oh, Beat Saber introduce you to VR I, chat? I played Beat Saber, or I played VR chat. I started VR chat in like August of uh, 2020. Um, after you know the fun world events started and I couldn't work, you know, <laughs> yeah. I, started, <laughs> I, I started playing this and started out as a desktop user, uh, getting drunk with people I didn't know, and now I'm here. <laughs> Wait, so, so your your introduction to the game and making friends was drinking? <laughs> yes, I, I my, my, my first my first week of VR chat, um, I drank a lot and I hopped around and I was so drunk I would just I had no I had no social anxiety, which was pretty neat. So I would just I would just talk to people, and I remember I got my first I remember the first night I played I got this avatar. <sighs> I think I saw the avatar, I'll have to look again at some point, but I had this avatar from them, and they were so nice to me, and they said they'd see me tomorrow, and they haven't been online since. Aww, that's so sad. <laughs> I'm really sad. Aww, you've been waiting for them ever since. <laughs> I've, I've, been waiting, I've been waiting for them for almost uh, a little bit under two years now. Oh, they'll come back, I'm sure of it. Yeah, it's fine, they just went to the I'll store for milk, and they'll be back soon. Ah, uh, yes, yes, ah, uh, yeah. Uh, it's, uh, it's important to wait on now. <laughs> But thank you so, so much for coming on the show. It's a pleasure to meet you. Um, and um, yeah, it's, I, I can't believe we've never met in VR chat or we've never really spoken as such. Like, we haven't really hung. But yeah, hopefully hopefully now now we get the chance. Yeah. Um, and th there's some interesting facts about you. Um, oh, I'm, I'm going to I'm gonna go with the easier ones first and then we'll work out to them. Um, so I know in your spare time, you, ha you are huge on like cars and bikes and like things that go boom is yeah. that correct <laughs> yes yeah yes, yes. Um, before i started doing a lot of things i do i used to be a car mechanic um i worked for toyota for about a year i'm a certified technician that's nice. pretty it was pretty fun um now i just use those skills to avoid paying 500 600 dollars to replace a clutch in my car <laughs> yeah that's a huge life skill to have why did you leave were you yeah. you were there for a year and you just decided you didn't um, like it or <clears throat> Um, I actually didn't leave. They hired, uh, <laughs> this place was very, uh, not well maintained. They hired 17 too many people. Wait, what? <laughs> and I was the one that got cut. Yeah, yeah. Do don't ask me how. Don't ask me. I don't know. That's corporate for you, if I'm honest. <laughs> yeah, and then, I, and then I got let go. <laughs> and... Uh, corporate's bad for that sort of stuff. Yeah. Wow. Usually it's there's not yeah. enough stuff, yeah. not too many. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> that's generally how it works also Traxy thank you for the sub appreciate it being love you um, yeah um, I I'm also hoping some of your communities come out to see you and support you today Zubix oh yeah they're, they're, they're gonna be here you'll, you'll know they're here when they just keep saying moo <laughs> <laughs> um, you'll, you'll know it's them I'm, you... I'm looking in chat I'm looking for moos yeah there's uh, one I, I moo I we're see here Mobius. <laughs> I see Mobius I see Duke I see I see Radarin I see, I see, I see Sandwich, I see, I see a bunch of my community, I see all the It's, see it's so oh, nice yeah. that they've come out to support you. And Manamaka, thank you so yeah. much for the host. Thank you for the love. I hope you had a lovely stream. Mana so did the logo. Cool. Mana, Mana who's just raided, they did the logo. Go and give them lots of love. Thank you so much, Bean. Um, so, yeah, so you, you, do you work on cars in your spare time as well as a hobby? Or are you, you just um... use it now when you need to? I, so I have a motorcycle right now. I have a really, really lofty project. Um, I get bored really easily just sitting around. Um, <clears throat> so I'm gonna build a truck. You're gonna build a know, truck. Wait, you gonna, you're gonna build <laughs> so, a a whole truck or? <laughs> Wait, I'm gonna. I'm, so I so I want to teach myself welding because uh, welding is a pretty good life skill to have. And mm. what better way to teach myself welding than to fab up something of my own? So I have a motorcycle sitting outside. I've been working on getting running right. I want to take the motor off of that, and I want to build like a little frame, take the rear end from like a four wheeler, a chain driven, you know, four wheeler, and 
build myself a small cow little farm truck does that actually work like can you can you take a, a a motorbike engine and make a car with it is that like i don't i'm not a huge I'm, tech so i i wouldn't know hmm. so the way the way a chain driven motor works is you know you know how a bicycle works it's kind of the same way it's just a chain that runs from the drive the drive mechanism be it pedals or um, mm -hmm vehicle motor the, yeah. and it you know the chain runs back <clears throat> to sprockets to gears and not gears sprockets and everything and it powers the back wheel or wheels um i'm just gonna be taking the rear end from i don't know some four-wheeler and fabbing up a mount for the rear of the tr truck to allow the chain to come back and power the back wheels from that so do you have your own garage then a lot of learning like how, where I would do you do that <laughs> Like, it sounds like a big project uh, and you need somewhere to do it, yeah. Mm -hmm. Probably just do it in my driveway. I mean, I've got, I, well, I want to learn. I'm going to put myself through a uh, trial by fire, I guess. And if I fail, hey, I learn, I learn more stuff and I can try again later. Yeah, th that's it. Uh, an experience where you fail is still an experience where you learn something. And it helps mm -hmm. you succeed in the future. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you've definitely got the right mindset. Mm -hmm. I really hope you nail it first time, though. That would be awesome. Just make mm -hmm. sure it's safe even, even, before even. you try it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm, I'm, it's probably going to be a while before I even decide, oh, maybe I should get this thing street legal. This thing's probably just going to be something I'm going to take on the trail near my house. You know, just kind of like help out around the house. Mm -hmm. I mean, hey, if I if I uh, if I learn that I'm bad at fabbing stuff up, then hey, I learned something. So yeah, we 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 we, we will have skills that we're good and bad at. <laughs> I'm 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 mm -hmm. I'm good at being a scuffed mess. Um, I've found I found my calling. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um and. Um, you, uh, something I noted, I was, I was, uh, I totally wasn't low key stalking you or anything, um, b before the show, but, um, <laughs> yeah, I, like, do you need to explain this to me? Cause I'm not sure on the context, etc. Um, but apparently you, you like, okay, uh, this, this might sound strange, but you like to look hot. Does that make any sense? Does, is there any context behind that? So, um, <laughs> there's a lot of context behind that. Um, <laughs> okay. recently my head, my head's just been kind of. Eh, so I've just been trying to, you know, do stuff for myself, and you know, I just want to uh, look hot for myself <laughs> mostly. Mm, 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 mm. And but wait, so you mean in like IOL, you you kind of you, you you're are you like I, I, working I, out or in VR? Mm. I, 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 I do work out a little bit IRL. I can't right now. I'm actually currently on a, I'm on a fall over risk from the other day, so I have to you know I have to uh, be standing up as little as possible. But mm. whenever I do, I I like to you know I take walks, you know. Go on jogs, you know. We got lit, we got weightlifting set in the house, so I usually go and I'll lift some weights. I don't really do too too much, mostly because I need to start gaining weight. I'm, I'm, I'm a twig. <laughs> yeah, really, really, so really, am really I. Weight. I'm quite a slender boy as well, but I... you know, being a femme boy, that kind of works for me, and I like that look. So. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -mm. Uh, it it works for really me. Works. I... Mm -mm. Just need a little more meat on my bones, personally. <laughs> yeah, not, not like I too mean, much, like, I'd love to be a bit stronger, but I just, I'm too lazy. <laughs> I'm too lazy to work out. I guess. <laughs> uh, no, that's, that's, that's fair. That's, that's fair. Mm -hmm. I just, I wanna, I wanna have a little bit more muscle mass so I don't struggle to pick up tires. <laughs> oh yeah, I've got it. I, I will ask someone else to pick up a tire for me. I like for those people who see me in real life, yeah, they, they know. <laughs> they know. Yeah. It would be really hard dad, for me. Mm. My dad got a Jeep recently, and he got some new rims and tires for it, and he needed some help putting them on. I'm sitting there on the passenger side, just struggling to lift up this one, this one tire and rim, just trying to get it on. And he comes around, and he has to help me. And it was... didn't feel good. <laughs> didn't feel good. <laughs> you, you remind me of when uh, my dad owns a carpet shop. Um, and uh, like a couple of times in my life, I've had to watch the shop because he's been away or whatever. And a delivery will come, and there'll be like big rolls of like carpet, and like this guy will just unload it, and he'll be like, "Yeah, there you go." And I'm just like, "Well, I, I can't physically lift that. What the fuck? <laughs> like, <laughs> like, what do you want me to do? <laughs> like, what am I supposed to do?" <laughs> and then, then they the, they'll huff and then help me put it in the in the warehouse because like I physically cannot. <laughs> <laughs> but they just look at me and they just don't care. They go, "Oh yeah, you'll be fine. That's it. Bye." <laughs> I'm just like, "Wait, no, come back, come back." <laughs> mm -mm -mm. But I digress. Um, you. <laughs> you... 
<laughs> um, you, you you have a story. Okay, you, you mentioned like when when you applied for the show, I asked you like some for some additional details and things. You mentioned something about a story involving yeah. milk, and I feel it has something to relate to chat saying moo. Is are these things related? Okay. <laughs> oh, yes, yes. So. A very, very long time ago, when I first started streaming VR chat, I made a joke about me coming, like me. So, okay. Wait, okay, you, you should start farm. again. You, you said me coming, and that, that, with milk involved. I, I, yeah, I think we. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, be, be yeah. So it, it all started. So it all started when I was making a joke about working on a milk farm. I said one day I'm going to own my own brand of milk. It's gonna be the best milk ever. And simply, <laughs> Zuby was born. And there have been many different jokes of it. There's a picture in my Discord somewhere of me going to VCAT, and there was a. There was a sauna room with a cow on the wall. I'm like, you know what? This is where Simply Zuby comes from. And I just and there's a picture of me just holding the bottle right up to it. That explains the bottle in the clip as well. That was your milk bottle. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. This yeah, now makes more sense. Simply Zuby, yeah. mm -hmm. the wonderful brand of carbonated milk. So that's going to bring me onto a very important question. I think everyone wants the answer to this. Uh, when, when are you opening your your um, milk milk um, milk? Is it called a milk farm? What would it be called? A milkery? Um, I'm not sure. Wait, uh, milk, when are you, uh, when the, are you producing milk mines. milk? The, the milk, milk mines. mines. Yeah. <laughs> when, when are we going to see the milk mines? <laughs> I want a first taste, okay? So... <laughs> so... So ironically, <laughs> we were talking about. I was playing Zenith yesterday. We I just playing. We were talking about that, but the uh, the simply Zuby bottle, the actual uh, bottle right here. Oh, you put it with you? Is actually a, <laughs> yeah, it's actually it's actually a free asset now on my Discord, and I'm thinking about putting it up on a uh, on VRC mods as well. It's, it's for anyone to use. That's awesome. Maybe it's... maybe I can get some under my desk. Like I've already got I've got a few things. I've got I've already got my own femboy milk. So I've got, I've got, uh, but this is banana flavor, you know, I, sometimes I just want original. So, you know, you, you, you might be able to help me out there. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Either I need to up my game or I need to run. I don't know which one to pick right now. <laughs> no. <laughs> don't worry. I have nothing. So <laughs> you're good. <theme. laughs> mm -mm -mm. And um, you, there was something about you, you. Obviously, you play VR chat. Do you live at home with your parents or your family, or do you live on your um, own? I live on my dad's property. Um, I moved here back. I wanna say. 2018 you'll have to uh, don't take my my memory is really really bad mm. um i go goldfish brain i guess um but i moved here around 2018 um the house that my father lives in it's my father my stepmother and my two younger cousins there's no there wasn't really any room for me in there i slept in the front room for the first two months and then i was sick of it so i i got, I got a camper and i lived in that i lived on the property in a camper for about a year and then i moved into I, I wish I was making this up. A shed. Wait, I live, okay. a, I live in a shed with insulation. When, when you say shed, are we talking like this tiny wooden shed? Like basic wooden shed? It's a, like... it's a 10 foot by 10 foot shed. <laughs> we laid insulation in it. We ran power. We got oh, AC. No I got a heater. I've got is, internet. Is that even legal? Like, are you, are, are you allowed to do that? Like, under like building permissions and things? Like, <laughs> it's private property. <laughs> um, it, I, I live in the UK, and there's nowhere. like, there's like, you need to declare that sort of thing, yeah. usually, I think, yeah, I well, think. So for all intents and purposes, <laughs> this is just my work shed. <laughs> That I occasionally sleep in. The, you occasionally, yeah, just occasionally, like now and then. So you're in your shed right now? Is that yeah. that where you're where you're coming yes, to I'm, us? From? I'm, I'm sitting in it right now. Yes, I'm sitting in it right now. I, I just my uh, my, my, my mind just right can't right imagine this. <laughs> <laughs> Are there pictures? Uh, so Do I we have clean, pictures? I clean of your this place shed? up one day. Oh uh, no! Uh, don't uh, tell me your shed's messy. Video somewhere. <laughs> um, it's not really messy. It's just that I don't have all the insulation set up yet <laughs> because um, my stepmother owns a kayaking business. And I guess she thought we weren't using the insulation that was in the garage, so she just laid a bunch of the kayaks on to keep them off the ground, keep them from getting like you know, when it rains, it's water tends to rise a little bit in our garage. So, oh, so, oh, it, you know, it, it doesn't there, flood. So. It doesn't flood when it rains, does it? <laughs> it doesn't really flood. No, it just it just water gets in there, and she doesn't want the kayaks always being wet. 
I, I guess if it, if it flooded anyway, you'd just get in a kayak. <laughs> It'll be fine. Yeah? Just, you just float away. It'll be fine. You're definitely, oh, you're ready for, you're somewhere. ready for the floods. That's for sure. I'll float somewhere less rainy. <laughs> um, also, guys, thank you so much for the follows. I appreciate it. Thank you, Beans. Um, there, there was also something. Um, I, I was talking about your family and kind of your living situation because um, apparently your dad has played VR chat. Well, I believe is. Oh mm. yeah, he has. There are there are some stories behind that. So back when I first started, this was like. Probably like a few months after I started playing, <clears throat> my dad bought a uh, first-gen Rift, and because he wanted to, do, he wanted something to do. He saw me playing VR chat. He saw me playing Pavlov. He saw me playing Beat Saber. He wanted some stuff to do. My dad, my dad's regularly a WoW player. My dad plays World of Warcraft. He's playing New World right now. He's so he's a big gamer. Games, yeah. Hopefully, mm -mm. he's a big gamer, and he, my dad um, is so with the times uh, is the phrase I want to use that. He, he he has been regularly speaking in uh, in Twitch speak, and it's it's a, it's a real big disconnect when 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 you when you when you, when you hear your own father say people leave. You kind of you kind of just taken aback for a second. You kind of you kind of just like you just mumble what the fuck. Kitty says that it's your like dad you're you're your dad's little pog champ apparently. <laughs> That is, uh, I am not, but that I am not, but there, but there is, there is a, there is a little grain of truth in that phrase. There is a story behind that. Uh, so I hate the word uh, poggers. And you, any of you don't like the word with... poggers. You don't like poggers. There's a very the I word don't, poggers, don't, you, a... <laughs> you actually okay. Let me get this straight. You, let me get this straight. I'm just gonna come. You don't like you don't like the word poggers. Like the is it is it the way people say poggers or is it just the word poggers or is I it just poggers in general? Um, yeah, it's I'm, what... bad. I'm ready to use it at any time. Okay, Yogi, what did we say about frisking our gas? <laughs> no weapons on this show. <laughs> It's not a weapon. It's just a baseball bat. <laughs> oh, hmm. Like, last time I checked, that's that, that that's a weapon. <laughs> no, I just want to play some baseball. <laughs> <laughs> can I can I not be the baseball? <laughs> that would be appreciated. But okay, tell 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 me tell me why you don't like the the word the, the p word. We'll call it the p word. Mm -hmm. So it all started. Uh, I want to say like uh, September. Like probably like September, October of 2020. I was probably before that. I was I had a, I had a significant other at the time, and they were stationed in South Korea. They were in the military, so whenever we wanted to spend time or you know spend time alone, we'd uh we'd do it in VR chat. And I remember one day we went to a world. And we were just you know we were doing our own thing. I didn't realize someone joined. It was a friends plus world. I was not aware of this. Um, we're doing our own thing. I, I slowly turn my head to the side. I see an old, I see a name tag. Um, the old name tag is like super massive. I wonder who the hell is that? I look, I see it's my dad. Watching me do... And his, and, and his response, you think he'd be disappointed in me. My, my first thing was, I thought he was going to say, son, you're disowned. Something like that. No. His first... The, he says, poggers and leaves. <laughs> I am beyond <laughs> livid at this point. I tell you, I, I told my significant other, I'll be right back. You know, I take off my headset. I grab an old college textbook. I walk over to the house. I walk in. His office is in the front room. His office is in the front room. He slowly turns his desk chair to me, looks at me, and he asks, So, are you his little pog champ now? <laughs> so he shut the book at him and just walked out. <laughs> That's why I hate the word. Oh my god, my sides actually hurt. Oh, your dad, your dad is actually legendary. Um, okay, I've got, I've got one more question regarding your dad. Um, uh, when's he available for the show? I, 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 I think he'd give us a great insight into your history. <laughs> I'm, okay, so I'm gonna be honest. I was like begging him last night. I was on the phone begging him to see if he'd come on. I was like, oh, like, you totally should have brought him as a guest. Oh my he god. Would not. So he just got his new VR headset recently. Mm -hmm. he, Got a Pimax. This man has too much money. I'm scared. Um, and he hasn't <laughs> used it yet. It's just been sitting on his desk. It first sat in a box for like a week, and now it's just been sitting on his desk. That's that. That is unforgivable. Uh, Subic's dad. <gasps> you you put that headset on right now, and you come sit on this sofa. 
<laughs> so, the problem is, whenever my dad plays VR chat, he does it for one thing, and that's to play golf. He plays mini golf religiously. Is he good? Is he good at mini golf? Is he is he like a, is he like oh, a boomer dag and he just sucks? Oh, he's actually good. Mm, nice. I I have seen this like uh, putt putt pond. I've seen this man uh almost like fucking. I I don't know golf terms for the life of me like. <laughs> Uh, he 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 I, he's got great ball control. Would, would you say that's right? Yes. Yeah, <laughs> yes. My, my 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 father, despite his son being into man, men, has better ball control. Than his son. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Okay, we are we are quickly running out of time, Bean. Um, I want to fly over to chat for some real quick questions. Guys, we've got time for like one or two questions. Um, you can see chat, can't you, Zubix, at the moment? You, you've got it visible for you? Yeah, let me just... Yeah, okay, just, I, I yeah, think I it's right. best... Just, uh, we're going to let Zubix choose the questions that he wants to answer. So we've got time for like two. So do you want to pick two? And, and just, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah um, there we go, I got the window. All right. Let's see. Am I... <laughs> Let's see, what questions do we have? I see... Can we have your dad on here? Okay, listen, I have talked to my father before. I'm trying to get him into streaming. He's, he's considered it before. He's considered voice acting and streaming before, and I'm trying to get him into it. He's, it's, it's on his mind. I want to keep it on his mind so he does it. <laughs> I really, I really want that. That'd be I, I just want, I just want your dad on the show. Can, can, can we, <laughs> um, okay, Zubix community, can you do me a solid and do everything in your power to get Zubix dad to come on the show? Can, 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 can you I'm, arrange this? Like, not right now, but I mean, we, a future episode, I, your, your dad's got to be on the show. <laughs> so the so reason good. why it's so difficult is my dad has said to me that, uh, the people I hang around <laughs> terrify him. <laughs> and that's understandable. Okay. Hey, look, I'm just a, I'm just a cute little innocent bunny hosting a cute little talk show. Yeah, what could go wrong? It's fine. I'll take care of him. I'll take care of him. Don't worry. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see. <laughs> uh, oh, God, I see the fucking word. No, I'm screaming. <sighs> Put your dad on the phone. I'll document it. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I'm gonna need. I'm gonna, I'm gonna need you to put your dad on the phone. <laughs> yeah, I, my phone's over there. I could call him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't think he'll call me. He's on a. He's on a. He's on a date with my stepmother right now. I don't think. I don't think he wants to be bugged. Oh, that's even better. That's a great time to call. <laughs> oh, let, let my dad enjoy the melting pot. <laughs> <laughs> Just make sure there's a lock on that shed. <laughs> <laughs> He'll putt putt uh, your butt butt. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. I mean, Levia had a good one. Levia says, Is there um, any embarrassing stories that you might be willing to share other than poggers? It would have to be uh, quickly. Any embarrassing stories I'd like to share? <laughs> Oh yeah, no. All right, hmm. so um, I guess I'll, I'll rope this into one because I, I want to talk about this. Yeah, um, go for it. After I stopped, after I stopped working at the uh, the car dealership, I worked at a car wash. And after that, I was a stripper. That was a point I wanted to come to, but we we kind of ran out of time. Yeah, yeah now is a good time as any. Let's yeah. go. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Um, so I, I, I want to know. <laughs> um, it wasn't my favorite job. Um, I I will forever believe it wasn't the best job for me. Um, I was in college at the time and I wanted to make some money because I wanted to help my father out too because you know he did so much for me. I wanted to try and do something for him. <clears throat> and, and yeah, I worked there for a little while. I got let go after you know, um, the world events happened. I actually mm -hmm. quit for a month before that after uh, we had a a couple of unru uh, unruly customers that did make me feel great. But <clears throat> yeah, I was a stripper. <laughs> And now I preach wholesome like nobody's business. <laughs> so, wait, okay, so are you are you wholesome on stream then? Or are you, uh, 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 or on VR chat? Is there any degeneracy that you t partake in? Or are you quiet on the straight and narrow? I, I, I tend to be wholesome when I'm with friends. Like, it really depends on who I'm with. It's more of like a comfort thing. If, like, I'm not, like, used to somebody, if I don't know somebody that well, too much, like, degenerate unwholesome things will just you know I, I get i get a little bit i get you know i get panicky you know mm. I wanna hide away that's why i don't really do good in groups that's why i usually don't go to too many parties or anything i tend to keep to myself because <clears throat> i'm terrified of a uh, big groups can be overwhelming yeah it's just like oh, and there's like yeah. 10 people in your face yeah i, I get that is yeah it can be a bit much yeah. sometimes <clears throat> mm -mm -mm. I, I tend to hide 
Watch okay, shows, with, hang out with hey, do you, have you ever used the skills that you learned as a stripper in VR chat? I had a pole in here at one point. I don't have it anymore. I did, and for one of my exercise routines, so um, cool. back when I actually used my quest regularly, I just, I'm, I wouldn't do it for anyone, I'd do it mostly by myself. I just, you know, I'd practice in VR. Mostly because, you know, I look better in here than I'd look, you know, out this giant screen <laughs> yeah, off my face. No. <laughs> yeah, you'll find me. <laughs> <laughs> so, mm -mm -mm. Um, okay. I mean, I'd do it by myself. Ah, mm -mm 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 -mm. oh, I. <sighs> I fucking, I really enjoyed talking to you, me. <laughs> but unfortunately, I enjoyed talking to you too. the time oh, has fine. come. This has been really nice, though. But, you know, before you leave, we always have one more thing that we need to do. Um, and, you know, some people could say that this is the podcast moment of the of the stream. Yeah, I, just, um, <laughs> I can't help myself. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm going to get beat after this. <laughs> Violence is a question. I'm going to need to hire a bodyguard, yes. I think. <laughs> oh, that's that's a big club. And I don't mean the one in your hand. Anyway. <laughs> okay. Before <laughs> before you bludgeon me to death. <laughs> if there's anything you wanted to say. Like people you want to shout out and plug. Um, things that you're doing in the future. What we can expect from the stream. Um, yeah, the floor is yours. Go for it, Bean. Mm -mm -mm. Um, hopefully soon I'll get a new cable because I'm working off a four foot HDMI cable on my headset but once I do I'm hoping to get Ouch. back to the streaming VR chat. <laughs> that's painful. Yeah. I wanna I wanna yeah no that's why that's why I can't really stay in VR right now. So I'm, oh but I do want to get back into streaming VR. Uh, there's a lot of stuff I want to get back into the streaming. I want to get back into VR chat. I can't wait to get back into VR chat. I really wanna I miss it. I miss doing it. Um I wanna see everyone. I wanna hang out. Um mostly just well, I don't know, I'm working on my model, and uh, oh, I don't really have any big, big plans for this year. I'm still, it's still beginning of the year, so I'm still trying to work out what I want to do for the year. Yeah, yeah, I can imagine. Uh, are you gonna, are you, are you gonna expand from the shed, or are you gonna stay there for a while? What do you think? Uh, I'm actually hopefully go going to move here by the end of the year. I really wanna. Mm, I hope I it happens. Wanna, you know, I really, really do. Place. Yeah, yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Save, I'm saving. I'm trying to save up. Hopefully, get a job finally and save up money and move out. Mm. That's that's my goal. That's my goal. You can do it, Bean. I believe. I believe it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Ah, <sighs> we are there. I'm sorry, Bean, but get the fuck off my show. <laughs> no, I'm joking. No, 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 no. Come here. Hey, no. Come here. Give me hugs. <laughs> oh, it was lovely to meet you, Zivix. Oh, you have an amazing community as well. Thank you so much to Zivix community for coming out to support them and obviously. Tell us all about your milk. <laughs> Can we get some moose in chat sure for Zubix? Some... Moose in chat. <laughs> I'll make sure to bring some milk next time I see you. Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, I can't wait to, wait to give it a taste. Oh, that's would a you, lot of moose. Would you like a sample before I go? Oh, yeah. <laughs> like oh, my before... fucking yeah. You can, oh, um... As long as you don't make noises worse than uh, Hara, you're fine. Okay, okay. <laughs> I don't know if I should consider that question. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was. Uh, <clears throat> that was. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, my second guest, it was Zubix. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for coming, B. <laughs> don't trust the milk. Suckle from the juice of the gods, guys. I think I've just seen heaven. <laughs> it comes in a small white bottle. Thank you for the follows as well, guys. Um, so um, I'm going to get my third guest. Um, it's going to be. Um, let's get. We might as well get the, the details up. Um, pow, pow, pow. There we go. And um, pow. There we go. It's going to be Lugal. So I'm just going to send Lugal an invite. Oh, Zubix is so nice. I loved meeting them. Oh, Zubix was amazing. <laughs> Oh, they're such a sweet bean. I've never met I've never met them before, but they seem like a really interesting character. Feel free to go and give them lots of love, guys. Um so apparently my third guest isn't online. Um I'm just gonna I'm just gonna Did, Oh, Yogi said hi Yogi, hi. Hi Yogi, hi. They, hi. they said we... on chat that their but, PC crashed, so Oh, are they coming are they coming? Wait, we're we're just whispering behind but under the desk. Are they coming back? Are they coming back online? I have no idea. Okay, go. Cool. 
<laughs> they didn't say anything else. Oh, okay. We'll just, we'll just, um, we'll, we'll just smile and nod and say everything's fine. Okay? Just don't tell anyone that there's a problem, okay? <clears throat> yeah, so there's absolutely no problem. Dax's problem. Da- yeah, this is Dax's problem. Well. <laughs> there was absolutely no problem with my podcast. They're completely on their way. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Oh, God, everything's not fine. <laughs> We're going to give them a few minutes and see if they can make it. Apparently, they're having some um, technical difficulties. Blame Daxon. Thanks. Thanks, Daxon. If, if destroying my stream isn't enough, you then go and destroy other people's PCs. Wow. I can't. I can't. I just can't work with you. <laughs> That's a lot of thanks, Daxon. Mm. So, I guess we, we, we have a couple of minutes, chat. So, it's just it's just me and you. Hi. How, how you doing? You, you, you good? Um. So, how? So about that weather. Yeah, I'm mean, really bad at small talk. <laughs> I come back with food, and you have issues. Do you mean my mental or physical? I'm mean, Zoomy. There were many. <laughs> we wanted to tell you that Dill or No Dill has successfully been raised. Woo! Yeah, congrats on on um uh getting to 100% on the deal or no deal stream. So I might as well quickly tell you about that while we uh, um wait for Lugal to um not be dead. <laughs> so deal or no deal is um going to be a live stream where I wear a suit. We have a real life banker, and it's literally deal or no deal. Um, chat will work together, and you can click on the on the screen to choose the box you want to open, and you can deal or no deal at any time. And then we will raffle the money to one random person. Uh, Last time we did this, you won like $14 because you're terrible. (laughs) But yeah, we'll see how you do this time. Yeah, Kitty, it's Deal or No Deal live. um, And it's all 24 boxes. And only I know where the money is. But I have no influence on what you choose. I literally, uh, I use a, a program called Smart Click Maps. And you basically click on the stream and it will highlight as a heat map and whatever the general consensus is is the box that we choose yeah mm. it went really well for you at one point the dealer offered you like 87 dollars and you got greedy boys you got too greedy <laughs> magnum welcome thank you so much for being here hi bean hi michael it's the famous michael uk he's such a cutie oh michael why are you so cute i love you bean mm-hmm. daxon is just gonna walk into the stream and wonder why everyone is thanking him <laughs> Yeah, Dax is going to walk in and be like, ah, you're welcome. It's just, yeah, don't mention it. It's, yeah, it's nothing really. <laughs> just, if we ever raid Daxon, can we just make the message, thanks, Daxon? Is that is that just now the generic raid message? <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, so um, the highest that anyone can win at Deal or No Deal, the, the top prize is uh, $250, and the bottom prize is one cent. And yes, I will actually PayPal you one cent if you win. <laughs> It's not the money, it's the principle. <laughs> it's basically a little trophy to remind you that you fail. <laughs> you collectively hold the trophy for everyone else who helped. <laughs> it's going to be great. Mm-mm-mm. Oh yeah, we're, we're, gonna ha- we're potentially having the same banker we had last time who, who took great pleasure in laughing at you all down the phone. <laughs> it was really funny. Oh, it was great fun. Uh, I'm gonna recheck. See, it, it, um, g- guys, if you see Lugal in chat, just just scream incoherently at me, and um, yeah, hopefully, hopefully they're coming. If not, we'll have to reschedule them for another another date, and we'll move on to our next guest. So, um, yeah. Lugal, there you are, Lugal. Get your ass in here if you can. Are you gonna be able to make it, Bean, or shall we reschedule you? What do you think? Mm-mm. If you come now, you're gonna have less time though, so it's gonna be a shorter interview. Mm. Uh, that's terrible timing. You know, it's like when you when you like started a League of Legends match and then you DC just as the game starts and you get an abandon. <laughs> it's literally you've literally done that. What what would you like to do, Lugal? Shall shall we just spend a couple minutes talking to chat and then we'll move on to our next guest? Or would you like to jump on now? But it will be a reduced interview. What do you think, Bean? Mm-mm. I, I am I am a very caring overlord. <laughs> <laughs> I like to give everyone like the uh, an equal opportunity, and I know these things can happen. I mean, 
uh, I personally, I personally never have any scuff issues, but you know, I like to take consideration for those who do. <laughs> Swap me to fourth, is that possible? I uh, unfortunately not because it will the the whole stream will still overlap massively. It will just become a a bit of a mess. So um, yeah. Mm -mm. But it's up to you. Luke. We can totally reschedule you for another another time. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm -mm. What do you think, Bean? Like it's totally not a problem. Hmm. Bah. How about bah? Mm mm. I could have kept Zubix. <laughs> we could have just extended Zubix. Uh, we will squeeze you between Lolophon and XQC. <laughs> you don't want it. Yeah, you know, I'm quite, I'm quite a busy guy. You know, I've got I've got all these, I've got all these big names coming up. You know. <laughs> <laughs> that would completely go against the point of the show. <laughs> but there we go. <laughs> Sundays are the ones I don't have off from work. Oh, Lugal, no! Sunday is the day that I always host the show. <laughs> but Lugal, I mean, we can book you for a long time in the future. Like, we can book you for like three or four weeks ahead, five weeks ahead, if that works. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Buns never scuff, only 100% wholesome, perfect content. Moist, at least someone knows. Someone knows perfection when they see it. Mm. I, just point it out to me when, when you see it, guys, because I, I haven't yet. <laughs> <laughs> mm -mm -mm -mm. Press X to What do you mean, press X to doubt? Buck, buck, buck. Mm. Midori, the, what is wholesome, by the way? I don't know, people keep saying this word. I, I, I don't know what it means. It's, it, I, it's holes, whilst some. I think I think that's how you say that. <laughs> Scuff is culture. Scuff is life. Mm -hmm. More discussing means more off schedule time. Squeeze him in. Maybe Lugal can be last. Um. Okay. We're we're gonna have to run late then. Um. We. Oui. Okay. Um. Who who's my next guest? So my next guest after um uh Lugal. Would have been Azumi. Azumi, yeah. Mm -mm -mm. So Azumi, do you want to jump on now? If you're around, being I've sent you a friend request, by the way. Oh no, no, not a friend request, but really friend. Um, I can send you an invite request when you want. <laughs> yeah, and I know Azumi's in chat, so we can quickly just jump to them. Um, just finished food. So you are you okay for now? Would that work? Are you good, Bean? Please and thank you so much. Okay, okay, Lugal. We'll, we'll, we'll squeeze you in somewhere. Um, It'll probably be at the end of the show now, I think. It, it depends. I don't know what's going to happen with New Toy. <laughs> this might descend into chaos. I've, I've heard amazing things about him, but I've never met him. So <laughs> mm -mm -mm. You're on your way? Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> I look forward to seeing you soon. Zobstan, welcome, welcome. Zobstan was one of my previous guests on the show. Thank you for being here. We do, you, you do, totally haven't joined 20... Technical issues, it's, t it's totally fine. We're off schedule every episode. Lugal's last won't do more damage than previous episodes did. Yeah, I was, I really wanted this to run on time today. <laughs> I really wanted everything to go on time. But, you know, it, it, I guess it is what it is. Mm -mm. Huh. Doi will be fun. Oh, Daily Beard, have you, do you know, have you, do you know, new Doi? Mm -mm -mm. Also, I hope you're well, Zob. I hope you're doing well. Yeah. Uh, I'm the wall short time it fine. <laughs> I'm gonna pretend I understood. Okay. I was <laughs> oh, so high, Dick. Hi. I hope you're doing well. I was really gonna cry. No, don't cry, be me. Don't cry, you little fluff. No matter what, you would always be on the show. Don't worry. Um, expert, why you go shopping with Macklemore? Isn't Macklemore like that that guy who like no that's Ross Kemp I was thinking Ross Kemp on yeah isn't Mike Macklemore like a kind of he's got that like gangster vibe mm -hmm. Maddie hi Maddie also expert I love you I love you being expert was also a previous guest on the show thank you so much for being here and hanging out um and yeah welcome to everyone who's new um I'm Puck um this is what the Puck it's a talk show where we uh talk to small content creators about what they're doing and um their content and yeah it's just a, a fun little thing where, where I get to meet people and have fun and it, I really enjoy it yeah mm -mm 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 -mm. yeah I really enjoy it I'm, I'm really glad I kept it together as well from that big donation um uh, Zaldra, if you're still here, th th thank you so much. You're absolutely insane. Like, legitimately <laughs> insane. Um, I, I massively appreciate it, though. Um, th th thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm -mm. 
yeah, generally I'm an emotional mess when I get a big donation. Um, and I, I did cry, but I, ha, huh, I, I, I kept it together. I had to, had to dig deep for that one. We've been an hour and a half past. This is normal. Uh, this is going to be hell with how far behind we are. Moist. We, we, well, we're so far, 16 minutes behind schedule. So far. Um, I'm just going to check and see if they're on. The zoom is not on yet. They will be probably soon. So we'll wait for them. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. The guy that sang Thrift Shop. Lol, sorry, bad joke. I, I, have, I have no idea who this is. <laughs> it's just gone whoosh. <laughs> mm -mm 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 -mm. I feel it might be a business card of the show. Always late, but fun. <laughs> it, it, every show has some sort of scuff in it. Some more than others, if I'm honest. Yeah, you did pretty well for the donation. Thank you, Saki. I, I had to dig deep for that one. I did have a cry, and I had to wipe my eyes and my headset. But um, no, I, 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 I'm pretty happy with how, how well I held that <laughs> together. Mm. But that that is a crazy amount of generosity. Thank you so so much for the love and support. I really appreciate it. And thank you to you guys for all of the hosts and the raids and the the, the follows that you're giving. Um, I really appreciate all of you so much. And thank you for the subbies too. Mm -hmm. You all fluffy beans, and I love you. Yeah. Mm. Scuff is perfection. <laughs> I wouldn't go that much. I would say scuff is my entire existence. <laughs> mm -mm 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 -mm. I'm just old. Expert, I think I'm older than you. <laughs> I think you're fine. <laughs> I blame Daxon for my bad internet and the <laughs> money for a PC. Moist, don't worry. Just, just, I don't know. Can you, can you start a lawsuit against Daxon? To be fair, I don't know if Daxon has any money. We can find out. <laughs> Let's just, guys, should we sue Daxon? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you'd take it too well, if I'm honest. Also, hi Russian Gamer, hi. Hi Bean, I hope you've been well. I love you. Thank you for popping in. Mm -hmm. If being old is an issue, just get younger. Yeah, guys, if you're, if you're ever concerned about your age, just get younger. Uh, forehead. God, kids these days are so fucking stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I'm married to a dilf. Not sure how I feel about this. <laughs> mm, even though you're the girl, I, I I still want you to wear the trousers in the relationship. <laughs> how G, la hi Bean, I love you. Thanks for being here, Dagson. Why am I hearing boss music? <laughs> hey, thank you, Boomer. I'm not a Boomer. Okay, I was uh, quite conveniently born in the first year of millennials, so I'm technically a millennial. Ha. Eat it. Eat it. Mm. Does that technically... Does that make me... I'm not sure when a Zoomer counts from, but I'm not a Boomer. Mm -mm. So, mm. Nice try, though. <laughs> Who's younger, and how do I get them? Krieg, um, just get younger. There's no, there's no secret formula to it. It's quite simple, you know. It kind of explains itself. <laughs> we could sue his electrician license. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's have a look and see if the the bean is is on. Ah, oh, Zoomy's on. Okay, invite, pal. Okay, mm -mm 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 -mm. we're almost there. I've never seen a cute emote on on Twitch. Um, how do you feel? How do you is the purest little bean? Oh my god, I love cuddling with Howdy. It's been a while since we cuddled. Mm -mm -mm. I, I'm a big snuggly person. I love snuggles and cuddles and wholesome things. Mm -mm. Absolutely. I totally don't like the lead things either. Is it? <laughs> Wait, so you're 21 then? Or do I have my dates fucked up? D expect you off by a few years. <laughs> um, I, I appreciate the compliment though. <laughs> How do you? You believe me? Good. I'm glad you believe me because I am. I'm a good boy and I would never do anything naughty. I could never lose Howdy. I'll, I'll make that perfectly clear. Howdy is too pure for this world. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. I could never do that too much. Yeah. Mm -mm. Had like 12 years. Even that's not enough. It's close though. Mm. 
Oh, bunny, bunny's bait. I'm bait. I'm half dead at this point. <laughs> I've never seen a cute moment. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Guns. Hi. Thank you so much for being on the show, Guns. It was lovely to lovely to have you on the couch. Um, guys, go and give Guns lots of love, okay? Huh. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I'm 28. I, am I older than you, Park? Saki? No, you're not. Mm -mm. Guys, my age is not a secret. Like, lots of people know how old I am. My pizza still isn't here. Your pizza still hasn't arrived? I think they're just pissed off with you. You know, like, when you ring a pizza place and you complain? My pizza still isn't here. Do I eat the bunny instead? Joking. Give him heck. Mm. Well, I mean, if you want to eat me after... If you want to eat me after class... Um... <laughs> awesome. Yes, Koro, I am 34. Yes. Yeah, I feel like this is now a revelation to some people. Yes, Bunny is old. <laughs> Bunny is an old boy, yeah. Mm -mm. But I don't look it. I don't sound it. I don't act it. You, you know, you're as old as you feel, to be honest. But yeah, my, my age is not a secret. It never has been. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I wanted to be like very transparent about my age when I started streaming and things. Um, I mean, I was honest with my age when I started playing VR chat anyway. So, mm -mm. Puck is older than me. Does that make me a dummy sibling? <laughs> yeah. Guns, when you said you were 31 and you'd been in the army for seven years, I was just thinking, huh, I, I really am old. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cool, we are millennials, yeah. Dang, cuter and older than me. Oh, Saki, you into older boys? Are you into older boys? Yeah. Mm -mm. D don't be misguided, we're not more intelligent. <laughs> Hi, look at me. <laughs> I'm a very good example. <laughs> Bun is an old man. I'm not that old. Yeah, my next guest is here. Okay. <laughs> Let's, um, ha, uh, uh, ba, 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 ba. I'm just going to change that to that. Okay. So, um, my next guest doesn't have an intro video, but that's fine. Um, and, um, yeah, that actually conveniently worked out quite well on time. So, um, ladies and gentlemen, um, without further ado and me giving scuffed delays, <laughs> please welcome my fourth guest, who is now my third guest. It's Azumi! Azumi, hi! Welcome, welcome! Come on down, Bean! Come on down! Hi! Hi! Hi, it's lovely to meet you! Hello! Hi! Hi! You're yep. bigger than Hello. I thought! I oh. Oh. Mm. oh, I love that. Mm -hmm. I'm not that. <laughs> Hi. 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 Thank you for coming on the show. It's lovely to meet you. Hi. Oh, oh what I'm a cute bean. Mm -mm -mm. Thank you for coming. Um, <laughs> where are you going to sit? you going to sit there? Yeah. Mm -mm. Oh. God. That seems it's, like a good spot to sit. Is when I'm making the intro videos and I see everyone's like heights and sizes and things, I, I have no idea of reference for how big they are. You're, you're bigger than I thought. <laughs> Am I smaller than you thought? Or is it, I'm not sure which way around this is. <laughs> I, I've, I've, I've seen you before. Like, I, this is the size that I'm used to seeing you in. So. This is actually true. We, we, I ha I've seen you. It's been a while, though, I think. I think it was a while ago. Yeah. So. yeah. You, I mean, mm -hmm. you, know, you know me by my old nickname. So that just says that it has been a very long while. That, that, that is a point. Back. What was your old nickname, just to remind me? Uh, so my old, it's more or less of a dead nickname now. Oh, um, yeah, yeah, it's not I'd used rather, anymore. No, I'd rather... Okay, yeah, that, like that's... Go into the past. Yeah, that's okay, Bean, <laughs> don't worry, we won't, we won't go there. Um, but thank you for joining me on the show, thanks for coming. Um, so, um, tell us more about you, tell us who you are, what you do, um, and, um, why you're Fluffy Bean. Yeah, mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Okay, well, um... <laughs> Hmm. To everyone watching, like, hi, my name is Susumi. I'm a uh, transgender um, VR chat dancer or freestyle dancer here, uh, as well as a streamer. I it, I don't really, I, I, I'm not that interesting personally, but I a lot of people say that I'm a nice person, nice to be around. Um, just enjoy chill moments. <laughs> that, that's about it. <laughs> No. We'll we'll be the judge of whether you're interesting or not. You're already interesting, and I love you. Huh? Huh? <laughs> you're fine. Don't worry. It's, I mean, just just don't be me, and you'll be. You've got nothing to worry about, <laughs> basically. 
<laughs> um, so thank you so much for coming on the show. It's lovely to see you. Um, and that um, I actually put that you are a freestyle dancer in your description below on the on the on the screen, which is uh, um, um, <laughs> so. Do you want to tell us more about that? Because I, I believe you've been dancing for like a long time, like a decade or something. I believe. Yes. So I started dancing when I was fairly young, about um, ten years ago, give or take. Um, mm -hmm. And I've now been in VR chat dancing for about a year, maybe more. Um, I mean, I've I've danced before that as well, um, but I wasn't able to until I got full body tracking. Um, but since then, I've more or less been dancing. So I'm. I think that I've been maybe one and a half years soon. Hmm. And um, are you part of like a dance group? Is there like, because I know there are dance communities no, in VR chat, yeah, but the, I've the, never I like... I know that there's a lot of dance communities, but I've, I've never... I've never... Uh, yeah. mm -hmm. <laughs> me neither. Um, I just do it for fun, uh, entertainment. I've always found it very enjoyable, being able to move my body and... Um, just then vibe to the music you know mm -hmm. um so i don't really i haven't like looked into any dance communities or something like that i just do my own thing are you self-taught as well or did you have lessons or you know were your parents um, dancers no so that was a thing that i got interested in when i was uh, young mm. so i went to a street dancing school for about two years and then the rest is self-taught oh, street dancing like I, I was thinking when you said freestyle we were think i was thinking like i, I there's there's a, like a kind of uh, correct me if i'm wrong because i don't know too much about the dancing that there is a difference between freestyle and like break dancing although it kind of has an urban <laughs> they both have an urban vibe is that sort of right so yeah um street dancing is a more or less coordinated dance um <clears throat> While street dancing and break dancing is usually mistaken for one another, break dancing is usually a solo gig. Um, while it well, it doesn't have to be, but it's usually a solo gig. While street dancing is more of a coordinated gig where more people. So when I was in the dancing school, we had probably up to fifteen, <clears throat> fifteen kids dancing at once, coordinated. Was that, do you find that harder or easier? Do you prefer like group stuff or so? <clears throat> uh, I, I've, I've never been good with groups, but when it came to like the dancing part, I never minded it. Now we trained for months um, before we actually did the performance because we needed to get the coordination. Um, the timing between all of you is it is so hard. Exactly, yeah, yeah, getting yeah. it correct for everyone. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> um. So you 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 dance in VR chat now? Is that exclusively where you dance? Do you do it for stream, um, or is it just something you do in your spare time, like with friends? Uh, I more or less uh, stopped doing it in real life due to the reason that there's just not. I mean, I, it does happen. Like I do vibe and I do dance, but IRL is very rare that I actually dance hmm. nowadays. Um, due to the reason that I have other stuff to do, I don't have that much free time, and I sometimes get embarrassed if I do it in real life. Because oh. I'm usually listening to music in my earbuds. Oh, so okay. No so one no one can hear it. They can just see you vibing. If yeah. I start dancing, <laughs> if I start dancing, then <laughs> yeah. they're just like, what the fuck is happening? <laughs> no, um, I can appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, so um, I do... Um, I do dance on stream, and I do dance, like, on my free time as well. <clears throat> it's would, something that I've started doing. W would you <laughs> want to do it as a career as well, if you could? Like, would you do music, like, dancing as, like, um, your, your your job or your form of income? I would not, no. Um, while I do highly enjoy it, the average uh, dancer, or pro quote-unquote professional dancer, uh, usually has a job span about maybe 20 years max. The the thing is, dancing does really wear down on your body. Um, <clears throat> I'm currently in my young years, so I don't have that much issue with dancing. But when you get older, Hi. your body when you, starts... When you get to my age. <laughs> <going> to... 
um, but like professional dancers might be uh, dancing from 20, 20 years of age to like 35 max. Maybe they might be able to push it further, but not I've got one than year that. in so me. I... Woo. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you go, you go for it, uh, guys. Um, I'm going to become a dancer now. Um, uh, Azumi, can you give me lessons? Can you, t- <laughs> can you teach me? Oh, oh my! I have had. I think I've had like two to three people interested in me trying to help them, like or like teach them. Mm. Um, I am. I see myself as a absolutely horrible teacher. Uh, <laughs> uh, I do not feel like I am qualified by any means. Um, but at the same time, I feel like I'm if I'm if I'm able to help people to do something that they want to do, then I'll sure I'll go for it. That's awesome. I you you could potentially hold a dance class and you could you could do it on stream and teach your teach your pupils or something. That would be really cool to watch. I don't think anyone's done that before. I don't think I've ever seen a dance I class. I don't know how many people would actually be interested in that, <laughs> but well, um, like, if you're interested, if want to learn let Zoom me know. Yeah, you never know. We might have just tapped into something that becomes a thing for you. That would be amazing if it happened. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Mm-hmm. Um, also, Astra said that you're amazing. Um, I'm guessing that you know Astra, Astra AZ? Do you know that? Ah, uh, yes. Uh, Astra is a dear friend of mine in Aww. real life, actually. Aww, that's so sweet. Yeah, they said you're amazing. Hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm inclined to agree, if I'm honest. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm, I'm assuming the reason that they're saying that is because I always, uh, I always, uh, when talking about my dancing skills and dancing in general, I, us- I usually put myself at average level. Um, now if people think I'm better than that, they think I'm better. If they think I'm worse, I'm worse. I, I don't really, I just put myself in the middle and I'm happy with that. You're very humble, which, you know, it's not a bad trait, but don't be afraid to, you know, you got to take some credit sometimes, you know? <laughs> yeah, but like, mm. look, look what, like, yeah, the, the, there are so many VR chat answers that are extremely talented. But a thing that does limit me a lot is my play space and my wire. I can... I have not done it with my index headset, but I have managed to pull out my cable numerous times with my Vive <laughs> Pro. Yeah, I, the, the little, you've got the little connector that, that separates them, so when you pull them, it just it comes apart, doesn't it? That is a lifesaver. Oh my god, thank you for putting that on your wires. <laughs> like... <laughs> yeah, no, like, mm. the worst thing that could have happened is if you pull on it and then you break a wire. <laughs> I, 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 how many wires have you gone through? You must have gone through a few. Oh, you're talking about VR wires? Yeah, yeah. How many wires would you say you've gone um, through? So, my... I think the only wire that has been quote-unquote damaged has been my original 5 Pro wire from 2018. No I recently... I recently replaced my Vive Pro with the Index outside. And we're talking about that I've had the... I've had it for like a few months. Mm-hmm. So I've actually not gone through a single buyer until the audio on the Vive started, um, started to fuck up. Oh, <clears throat> F. Mine's starting to mess up actually. It keeps, it keeps making like disconnect noises. Although everything's kind mm. of okay, it's really weird. Hmm. I might have to change mine soon. I mean, they they have they have a certain lifespan, and hmm. I I feel like the warranty is kind of bad. Um, since two years, and then my vibe is now three years, and uh, <laughs> now it's broken. <laughs> yeah, I think that they're, they're, they're quite expensive as well. The wire's like seventy quid, I think, something like that. They're not cheap. But I can't believe you've only yeah, gone through like I one. Had to buy one. <laughs> I can't believe you've only been through one wire in. How many years have you been playing VR chat? Uh, uh, since 2018. So, uh, hold on, I've got to do math. 19, 20, 21. So, basically four years now. That's crazy. Yes, basically. Huh. We... I, I take care of my equipment. I... I so do I. Like I don't I don't exactly stand on my wires or anything. Sometimes I'll trip over them because I'm a, I'm a scuffed mess. But mm-hmm. um, do you have yours like hanging off the ceiling and it like has the pulleys no, or on the floor? And on you dance, floor. and I I'm yes. sick. I don't know how this this is witchcraft. <laughs> I don't 
<laughs> no, no, the, the, I can tell you that after a year of dancing, I have gotten used to it. Um, it is something that I've learned how to dance around. So there's been times where the wire has tangled up around my leg. And I'm talking about tangled up. Like, it has gone, bit, like, uh, around my leg, leg maybe one or two or three times. Mm -hmm. And then I've done certain dance moves and untangled the wire smooth and it, people have none the wise i can imagine like people just see you dance and they think everything's like they personally internally you're like ah <laughs> but everyone watching's like ah oh, she's nailing it <laughs> like, is that is that kind of how it comes across <laughs> um maybe maybe uh, <laughs> oh, again smooth. i i do my best and I, I vibe, um, and again, like, my play space is very limited, because I live with other people, mm. I have my room only to myself. Uh, my room is actually the second biggest in the house I currently live in, when it comes to, like, private rooms, or, like, bedrooms. But I have very limited space for what I'm doing. Mm. Well, okay, so obviously your room will have, you know, your furniture and your bed and other things. So how big would you say your play space is? Are you sort of like maybe two by two meters or lower than that? What do you think? Uh, so if we take the square alone, it's 2.3 times 2.3. Okay, so not far. Um, not now far. there's, mm. yeah, yeah, there's a certain section in my, the thing is that this, um, the reason for the two uh, two point three two uh, two point three uh, is because there's a section in my room where I have a wardrobe. Uh, this makes a n almost ninety degree turn to the left in the middle of my room, so I had to angle my play space. So I ha technically I can go even further uh, than that. I think I maybe three point five in uh, length. Okay, but obviously you risk inherently just crashing into your wardrobe, I can imagine. Um, well, yes, and actually, I've only... Um, I've only had play space incidents about five times. Holy hell, I, would, I was about to say, I can imagine you consistently, like, crash into things, but... Wow. Okay, you're better. Nope. You're better than I am. <laughs> there's like, there's not much outside of my play space, and yeah, I walk into walls. <laughs> I'm always crashing into things. Yeah, I'm, I'm a bit of a massive. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, uh, uh, I'm, I'm just looking at the list because you gave me so much information about you, which was really, really amazing. Thank you so much, Zuni. Um. I, yeah, I, I gave you a third thing. A you things. did, and I'm really glad you did, because it helps us get to know you better, and you kind of nailed it on the sort of things to, 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 to tell me. Um, I know you're a big animal lover. You, lo you love animals. Hmm. I do, yes. Uh, do you own any? Do you have any animals? <laughs> I, feel, okay, I feel like I've opened so, a can of worms uh, now. <laughs> some, 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 oh, that's more than a can of worms. Um... <laughs> Two German Shepherds. Oh, I love good cat. boys. <laughs> and um, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. I I think maybe eight horses. Wait, what? Well, okay, I was expecting you to Isn't say like family? gerbils. <laughs> no. no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah no. So my family owns about out. eight eight horses. <laughs> What? So, um, do you do you live on a a farm or like? I do. Yeah. Oh, okay. So you're I, kind I of out in the back country. Yeah. yeah. Is, is, do you like the farm? Like, have you been in the farm life? Did you help like um the the family? I've, I've lived here now for eight years. Um, and it's been interesting, nonetheless. I can't. Um, I can't imagine what it's like living on a farm. Like, um. But I have, there's a lot of work. Yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> there's a lot, because um, while I do have it, like, the, the thing is that I'm I'm juggling streaming uh, work and assisting on the farm. Yeah. That's... And I'm not talking about, like, I'm not talking about, like, assisting, like, oh, I do, like, these small things. No, I, it's basically a, it, it's basically a half-time, like, half-time job. 
yeah running a farm is so i i, I can imagine at home people don't understand the, the the magnitude of running a farm and what's involved in doing it it is incredible amounts of of um time and labor and equipment and there is more to it than people imagine it's not drive a tractor through a field <laughs> it is it is a major major like um industry and um depending on what the farm does there is more to it than meets the eye. Like, I can imagine you're up at, like, the crack of dawn to, to start doing things. Sorry, a second? Uh, do you get up at, like, the crack of dawn? Like, so, like, you're up and you're out at 7 a.m., like, starting to do oh, things on the farm? Um, no, so... I'm not a morning person. Oh, um, no, no, I feel By no means. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, what usually happens is that I, I get up at around 7, Mm -hmm. I prepare myself and I go to work. After I'm done with my working day, I get home and get about five seconds to relax before uh, I get called over like, hey, can you do that? Or can you do that? And I'm just like, sure. <laughs> yeah, I guess I guess because you live there, you know, you're kind of obliged to, to assist, aren't Still you? Still no pizza yet, lol. But it's but fine. technically not uh, at the same time um, miles to my, miles on my, history has, oh, my family hasn't been going through the best time lately and <laughs> i can definitely say that this uh uh world crisis that we're currently experiencing hasn't really helped with that situation yeah i can imagine yeah um i mean on your farm what do you what do you do are you crops are you livestock um where, where, where's your focus uh horses it's a horse farm it's the horses <laughs> mm -mm. yeah so we have about 35 horses at whole what okay i didn't think <laughs> that's a lot of horses <laughs> <sighs> um yes. someone in chat puts so haunts we... <laughs> <Hon. laughs> <laughs> So, okay, I've heard of, like, obviously in your normal farms, you, you know, your, your cows, your ducks, um, uh, and your crops. But how, how does it, uh, um, how does a horse farm work? Like, how, how, yeah, this is, so this is new to me. The, the, yeah, the main work on the farm is more or less making sure that all the horses are properly fed and they have water. That is, of course, the basics. Now, of course, people don't usually take into attention what everyone or what the people on the farm does because um we're talking about uh setting up pens uh fixing machinery uh making sure that the pens are at a good place in ground you have to create new pens you have to take down old pens you have to replace poles uh you have to fit like there's a lot of stuff that goes into this um, and for the most part, I've become the machinist on the farm, which means that I more or less drive almost all of the, well, I drive all the machinery on the farm. Do, do you enjoy that? Do you find that's easier to do than the other positions, or? <sighs> the, the precision that is needed with old machinery is very draining mentally, not physically. Because what you have to do is that you have to keep so much in mind that you are tiring out your brain by doing so. Mm. Um, so, for example, today um, I got up around 10. And my weekend has literally been work only, um, which I'm not too happy about because the weekend is usually when I can relax. But yeah. uh, this weekend was a uh, full work weekend and we basically just cleaned out like a whole pen because it was extremely dirty mm. so we put uh, we had to take away a bunch of shit and then put in like new gravel and all of that uh this took six hours holy hell i i can i couldn't survive on a farm i don't think i'd survive a day <laughs> <laughs> no the, the scenery mm. is beautiful but that's about it <laughs> yeah i can imagine it's very, it's like very peaceful where, where you live um mm. But, um, I, I mean, in your downtime, is VR kind of your focus and streaming, or do you do other things as well? Uh, I, and gaming in general is, has always been, quote-unquote, a enjoyable hobby of mine. Mm. Um, streaming is something that I've been interested in doing for quite some time. It's just that I tried it and I stopped 
And then when I I took a break from VR chat between um, nine about 2019, I took a fairly long break from VR chat. And then when mm -hmm. I got back, I got into a friend group and it got me interested in streaming again because there were so many people in that friend group that quote unquote were streaming. So um, they, they kind of gave you the push you needed and you, you haven't looked back uh, from there. Mm. No, um, so I'm, I'm currently pushing on, um, it, I wouldn't actually say push on, uh, one thing that I make very clear for myself is that I never want to force content, I never want to force myself to stream, I do it because I enjoy it, and that is the, that is the one rule that I always have. Now, I've had times where I have, quote unquote, haven't been feeling that well, mm. um, and I have streamed anyways. I can tell you that from when I have one of my good streams, when I feel okay, when I feel energetic, when I feel like everything is a-okay, those become good streams. And I can tell you right now that my bad streams are extreme, like, it's extremely easy to notice which ones are my bad ones and good ones. Uh, if you're looking, if you just watch the VOD of the stream, like, you'll know in a split second, like, oh, well, yeah. that this is a bad one, this is a good one. It's very noticeable with me. Um, because I, I don't really, I, I always push myself to try and show my emotions. And sure, a lot of people might find that annoying in some ways. But at the same time, um, I don't get to do it anywhere else. I'm only able to be myself in here in VR chat yeah. or online per se. Because otherwise, I'm stuck with the quote unquote norm. Uh, where, oh, well, guys aren't supposed to show emotions, and that's what I've grown up with for years. Uh, and of course, now that, like, I'm, like, I'm more myself opened myself up a lot with being transgender and all this. Hmm. Um, I'm trying to push out, but it's... It's never an easy thing, uh, especially with family, because th it's the hardest part of you. Like, it's the closest part, but it's the hardest part to tell. Like, hey, I'm trans. Like, that, it doesn't work. Like, I had yeah. huge issues when I told my mom. She's the only one that knows. Hmm. It's, I, I, it's very hard when you grow up in a, like, kind of a traditional family. And um, although my situation was a lot better than yours, I... I, I can kind of appreciate and understand where you're coming from um i just hope that whatever the future holds for you you are in a position where you can just be who you want to be without any prejudice and um i i'm i, I hope that your mum supports you now i'm not sure she does but um she does oh that's really good to hear i'm actually. very grateful I'm, for I'm, it i'm very glad to hear that my mum supports me as well my father doesn't know um it would crush him uh it would crush his soul so <laughs> some things are better left unsaid you know so um yeah I, I, it's nice to have that one person at least to support you so that's, that's, yeah, that, yeah. that's good uh, i think that the rest of my family will be supportive but at the same time, I don't know, and the thought is always in the back of my head. Yeah, it's, it, what if? yeah, the what if. It's, it's difficult because um, it, people will always advise, oh, you should just come out and, you know, be yourself. But sometimes being in the position that you're in is very similar to the position that I was in. I didn't know how people would react, and people still don't know my family. And it's been like ugh, like 10 years now, you know? And it, it sometimes... Yeah. It's things are better left unsaid, you know. Um, so, you know, w this is a very good example of, you know, it's nice to reach out and be honest with people around you and your family, but sometimes you've got to look at your best interests. Um, and sometimes coming out to everyone isn't always the best option. Hmm. And I, I think some people find that hard to understand sometimes. So, but no, I, I appreciate your position. But I'm so glad your mum supports you. That's that's really nice to hear. Mm -mm -mm. I mean, did you come out recently, or was it a while ago? Because um, I know we uh, haven't spoken in a long time. So. Yeah, no, yeah. it's it's been a while ago since mm. I came out to my mom, um, and she's she's been very supportive of it. She's actually like searched up stuff, and actually like put in effort to get to know more about uh, um, transgender and uh, like and transgender people and stuff like that. And she's making an effort to not call me a. Um, 
like uh, male pronouns and, and stuff things. like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah male. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I understand. She, yeah. She's making an well, she's making an effort to do a neutral pronouns, um, mm -hmm. which I'm grateful for. Yeah, I I find myself just generically calling all of my friends by neutral pronouns, um, and generally everyone's pretty cool with it. I mean, do you do you how do you feel about like neutral pronouns? Are you okay with those or what? what how do you feel? I mean, I'm open. I'm very open about my pronouns. Mm. Um, and if you're a friend of mine, then I usually prefer if you call me by the preferred pronouns. I, I'm but guessing it... she, she, her? Am I? Yes. Yes, she, cool. I wanted to um, just check. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So when it comes to the neutral pronouns or they, them, um, I'm like, I use them myself if I am unsure of what gender that person prefers to be called as. Mm. that's when I call them they them because then I can't then I'm not assuming anything and I am just putting it as neutral mm. no I appreciate that sometimes I have done this in the past where my, my mind will just automatically say the wrong one although I I know what it is I, I and that sometimes lands me in hot water so um but yeah I hope I hope it never happens on on, on the show <laughs> but we'll, we'll see <laughs> but so far so Mistakes good mm. yeah the, the thing is is it's is the difference of the 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 intent or malice you know are you saying it to be disrespectful or have you legitimately made a slip up you know there's there's obviously that difference and people are generally very yeah. understanding um yeah there were some other things i wanted to talk to you about as well um uh you at the moment streaming is just a hobby Are, is there plans to change it in the future would you want to take it more full-time if you could because i know you mentioned you only stream when you are in the mood and you enjoy it so w would you potentially i, make I that do commitment? have a schedule um that i i have a schedule and i do stream uh i follow that schedule to the best of my ability uh <clears throat> I'm not planning on making it a full-time job, but I am dedicating a lot of my free time to do it. So, it's a um, it, it's a passionate hobby, I would probably call it, mm. because I I do want to be able to keep going with it. I do want to make it enjoyable content for people to enjoy, and of course, I'm doing what I enjoy. So it makes me happy, and if I'm happy, I hope that I can make my community happy and my chat happy. Oh, yeah, like I, I, I have a fond respect for, for streamers who are very uh, pure and honest about, you know, sometimes you just you're not in the right mindset to stream and, you, you know, you don't you don't force yourself or put yourself out. So no, I have, I have a lot of respect mm. for people who do that. I mean, I, I recently took like two days off of streaming um, just just for things going on. Um, but, you know, it's if I had streamed, I wouldn't have you know i wouldn't have put my heart into it and it, it like you said it, it's obvious people can see it they can really see it you know um and everyone wants what's best for you ultimately at the end of the day um so um i something else i wanted to mention because we are running out of time and i do want to go through a few more things with you um you you, you might be rebranding i believe is that something that we can talk about is that okay yes it hmm. has it, it's been in the works now since um since the middle of last year okay so quite a while um, and, oh. so yeah um it's more or less ever since i changed my nickname i've wanted to rebrand to mm. let the quote-unquote old me go yeah um and i've been planning on doing it for a very long time i did get in contact with an artist and they were starting to work on stuff it was uh, wonderful due to irl problems however that got cancelled <laughs> So I've once again got in contact with a dear friend of mine that is uh, willing to help me and they'll be assisting me in, in hopefully March or April. Hmm. Um, so this year, I hope that the rebrand will be completed. I hope so too. I hope it goes smooth you. I know, I know sometimes things can go wrong uh, or, it, you know, there's hiccups or time delays and things. I, I mean, it happens to everyone at some point. Um, uh, would you do VTubing as well? Like, are you going to have desktop and be able to VTube your model as well? Or is it just going to be VR I, I chat? We, I, yeah, I, no, no, I do, I do VTubing. Um, of course, my main focus is VR, um, mm -hmm. as I'm very passionate and enjoy it. But at the same time, um, I do VTubing. I do playthroughs and stuff like that because I play I play what I enjoy to play and I play enjoy like games. 
And well, the thing that I always keep in mind is that um, recently it's been mostly VR chat, but I, I've also stuck in some uh, Doom Eternal, which is a game that I've, I've been meaning to, uh, play that. to play. Is it good? I have, is Doom I, good? <laughs> oh, rip and tear. <laughs> 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 That's the most polite That's whip and tail I think I've ever heard. <laughs> uh, yes, uh, I love it. It's an absolutely <laughs> wonderful game. Um, hmm. Sometimes it's a bit hard to interact with chat, and then sometimes they're just gonna have to come along and just, like be there for the gameplay itself. Um, but I'm having a good time, so I hope that they are having a good time. Hmm. Oh, that's really nice. Yeah, I, I really want to check it out. And um, uh, I think you've just invented Doom ASMR because that, that was, oh, that was beautiful. <laughs> really nice. Um, so we've got um, a couple minutes left. I'm going to fold over to chat for one or two questions. Um, have you got chat accessible to you at all? Or do you want me to read the questions? I do. Oh, you do? Ah, oh, you, you, no, came, I'm, I'm, you came for that. I'm, I'm looking at chat. Big clap. Yes, um, do you, want, chat right do you want the honor of choosing any questions you wish to answer? We've got time for, let's have a look. Yeah, we can answer like two or three. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think this is yeah, nice because okay, usually okay. I will pick the questions <laughs> for you to answer. But now I'm, I'm kind of learning that some of my guests can see the chat themselves. And I think it's nice if you get the chance to choose the questions as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think this is nice. Yeah. Just got, just got to wait for some questions. Yeah, because obviously yeah. There's, <laughs> there's, there's, it's the stream lag, so you have to wait. Stream mm -hmm. delay. Yeah, stream delay. Also, Darkheart, welcome to the stream, Sentry. Thank you so much for being here. Have you, can you see any names that you recognize from your community in the chat, um, apart from Astra? Uh, yes, I can definitely say that Darkheart is one of them. Uh, Aww. Darkheart is one of my moderators. And then we have Arne Sentry, uh, a, uh, my VR chat, well, one of my VR chat sisters. Oh, that's cute. Thank you so much for coming out to support and... uh, Azumi. <laughs> <laughs> and then, of course, we have Cypher uh, Wrath, which is also a moderator for me. Uh, he is one of my older friends mm -hmm. and my avatar creator. Oh, really? Wow. Nice. Welcome, yes. welcome. Thank you for being here to support Azumi. Oh, Levy has got one for you. <laughs> uh, let's see. What, what kind of wardrobe style do you like? Um, That's a good question, actually. I'm... Mm. Kind of is. Um, to quickly just answer it, I would say that I have my own style a lot. I, I can mix a bunch of stuff. If I'm happy with how it looks, I'm happy. <laughs> So, like, if you ask me what my wardrobe is, um, I have a bunch of shit, but I, there's just, like, a few styles of my own that I like, so, it's, I can't really say that I have a, a style besides my own style. <laughs> <laughs> no. yeah, I mean, would you associate it with any, any, like, uh, can you tell, like, vibes from any other styles, like, gothic, or, um, I, I, I'm really urban. I, I'm really bad with styles. <laughs> but would you associate? I, like... Same here. Mm. Same here. I, I, I'm chill. That's that's what I am. I'm chill. I, I, my, my style is uh, oversized hoodies and thigh highs. <laughs> that's about me. <laughs> I'm very simple. Yeah. I just like being comfortable. I, I am a comfy boy. <laughs> oh yeah, same. Comfortable is the way to go. I love being comfy. Um, what's your favorite type of pizza? Now, pending the answer to this, I might have to eject you out this window. So think carefully. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. To, to answer this, <laughs> one. For your information, it is normal to have pineapple on pizza in Sweden. No. I am. Bad. No. <laughs> nope. Did you just catch those? <laughs> yes, I, I, off. Okay. I, I did not expect this. <laughs> you catch. Uh, I, okay. Hey, look. I said it was normal in Sweden. That is not my favorite pizza. Um, okay. I'll let you off. I'll but, let you okay, off. Okay, <laughs> yeah, um, I mean, I, I don't know. I, I choose, I usually keep to like chicken. And that makes me happy. <laughs> yeah. Um, so just piece, yeah. I think my last pizza was actually a chicken pizza. Look at that. Hey, hey. You can't really go wrong. Wonderful. Chicken's easy. You can never really go wrong with it. Um, yeah, moist some with you. Burn the pineapple. Yeah. Mm -mm. Don't, you can put it anywhere. Just don't put it on a piece. <laughs> That's what I was going to say. 
<laughs> Midori, no, you're not allowed in Hawaiian. Go away. <laughs> I love ghosting. Oh, you're just wrong. You're just wrong. What's the best height? Oh, what's your favorite fast food chain? <laughs> We're having food questions today by the looks of it. Mm -mm. <sighs> oh my god, why? Was it because I was eating before this? Um, <laughs> but my favorite food chain, um, I would probably have to say Burger King because of the reason that okay, here in Sweden, hmm. uh, here in Sweden, McDonald's are. <sighs> They, they have like literally miniature burgers and they pay like you need to pay so much for that small ass fucking burger that you don't get full on and I get so mad and then the <laughs> other like Swedish brand which is called Max I've had bad experience with them because I've done uh, custom orders and they fucked them up repeatedly <laughs> Oof. Biggie. So I'm not happy with them. <laughs> That's okay, Bean. Okay, I think we're kind of out of time. Um, so before we end, though, there's always one thing that is super important to me that all my guests get to do, and that's, you know, the the, the floor is yours, and we can talk about anything. Before I throw it over, um, Azumi's links are below. Um, I oh, I can hear music from some. Is that me playing music? Hold on. <laughs> Just suddenly have music start playing. <laughs> Thanks, Daxon. <laughs> Sorry, I accidentally clicked a button and somehow played music. I'm not I don't even know how I did that. Anyway, so before before Azumi goes, um all her links are below. Feel free to check her out and give her lots of love and you can go and um uh, go and watch them whip and tear apparently <laughs> as well as like lots of VR chat and watch watch her dance as well um so I'm going to pass it over to you if there's anything you want to talk about uh anything coming up in the future people you want to give shout outs to um it's it's all yours B. Mm -mm -mm. oh um I mean again like we've kind of already brought up what's in the future for me um and I the, when it comes to probably shout outs uh, I would definitely call out my uh, friends because, like, it's it's a wide thing to say, right? But um, I can definitely say that I've had a bunch of rough times, and I've had close friends who has helped who's helped me a lot. Uh, mm -hmm. And then, of course, uh, my wonderful staff team uh, has definitely been. Uh, <laughs> Uh, torturing me as they should. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> as do all. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fucking, you know who you are. <laughs> mm -hmm. yes. Awesome. Thank you so much for coming on, Azumi. It was lovely to see you. Um, I, I, I hope everything goes well for you this year. Um, I hope the model happens and we get to see it. Like, keep us posted. Like, um, uh, let us know on the Twitter and things when it's gonna happen. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm, I mm. might do like some, uh, some small hints. And there's also a uh, new avatar that's currently in the works as well. Um, of course, this is going to be my keep going to be my main one, but just different clothes. I guess. Yeah, it's nice to have variations. Yeah, I'm. I need to get some more clothes on this actually. <laughs> uh, I need to. I need to uh, um, expand my horizons. I should say. Okay, so I'm going to let you go, Bean. Thank you so, so much for coming on the show. It's been lovely to talk to you. This has been really nice. And I learned more about horses and things, which is good. Yogi! Yogi! Um, Crystal's just on their way in. Um, uh, they're actually like, Crystal, do you want to respawn real quick so Yogi can talk to you, Bean? <laughs> That's okay. She, they were faster than I thought they'd be. <laughs> so, um... <laughs> Um, ladies and gentlemen, it's been my fourth guest. Um, thank you so much for coming. It's been a Zoomy VR. Woo! Thank you for coming, Bean. Thank you so much. Well, it's been a pleasure. Uh, fourth, third guest. <laughs> yeah, my 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 fourth guest, which turned out to be my third, but my third guest is going to be my sixth. Don't don't question it. It's fine. <laughs> We'll get that. But thank you so, so much for coming on, Azumi. I hope you have an amazing night and a lovely year. And um, I hope I get to see more of you. <laughs> we'll fuck it over sure, yeah, or thank you for having me and no, the pleasure being here. The pleasure's all mine, honestly. Yay, thank you so much for coming. Um, uh, yeah, uh, you can run it in any direction, really. <laughs> there is no right or wrong way.
Okay. You know what? For that. <laughs> ah! Ah! Uh, oh! 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 Um. Bye. <laughs> Thanks. See you later, Zimi. Ladies and gentlemen, it was my fourth guest that was my third guest, Zimi. <laughs> That was lovely. It was really nice to get to know more about her. That was nice. Um, so, we are very, very rapidly going to head into my fifth guest, and then my final guest, my sixth guest, and then we'll do my third guest. It's don't, don't. Call, it's fine. Don't worry about the order. <laughs> <It's fine. laughs> mm -hmm. I'm just going to check and see if we need to run an ad break or if it's going to disturb the stream. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, no, we're good. We should be able to get through Crystal before I need to run an ad. So, yeah. Um, thank you so much for, for the, um, bits as well. Guns, Kotaku. Um, I'm glad the pizza finally arrived and you got two. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what happened, but it's fine. <laughs> don't worry about it. Also, thank you so much to Azumi's community to come out for coming out to support her and being lovely, fluffy beans. Um, she obviously cares for you guys lots and lots. Also, Eo, hi, well, hi, Bean. Um, thank you for popping in. Um, I hope the uh, Minecraft SMP is is going well for you, Bean. Um, and uh, I wish you luck with the next year and a half in your in your education. Um, so yeah, my um, fifth guest is ready for me. So um, they've brought two guests with them as well. One of them is actually a previous attendee on the show. So um, I'm just going to change some bits so we can see them. Uh, but and but so we don't have an intro video. But ladies and gentlemen, please welcome my fifth guest and their guests. It's Dark Frost Crystal! Woo! Oh, well, Dark But I've got names for <laughs> You have so many names, Crystal. Just about them all, why don't you? Yeah, yeah, but, okay. So, but, but Crystal has a, a couple of names. Um, Dark Forest Owl, uh, Crystal Owl, um, sometimes Crystal. <laughs> I just kind of <laughs> just merge them all together. <laughs> um, also joining them as guests, what we have it? Taro and Lord Hase as well. Yay! Woo! Woo! Yeah, big cuts. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Hi, welcome, welcome. Thanks for coming on, Beans. It's lovely to see you. <laughs> Thanks for having me. Yeah, the reason I still go by Crystal is because that's how most people know me. Um, I'm probably going to be changing it soon. Uh, okay. Since a lot of people have gotten used to my full name. Mm, dark, so you're going to stick with Dark Forest Owl officially? That's going to be like the, 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 the permanent? I think for most cases, I'm just going to shorten it to Dark Owl. <laughs> but yeah, for the streamer name, it's gonna be Dark Forest now. Yeah, I can imagine Dark Owl's probably taken, isn't it? So it's kind of it's a, it's a chicken. Yeah, I yeah, get it. yeah. I I had that issue with my name, but I I got very lucky. I got very very lucky. My name in game, for those who aren't aware, is still VRC Bunny. We're we're working on it. <laughs> we're working. On, we'll get there eventually. <laughs> but thank you so much for coming on the show. It's lovely to see you, Crystal. Um, are you are you are you, are you okay? <laughs> Just having a moment, it's fine, don't worry about it. So, um, I, I'll, I'll take one scuff, <laughs> multiply that by 10, that's my scuff. Yeah, I, I feel like it, it, some of it rubbed off on you. <laughs> it's, just, uh, it's like sugar, yeah, spice, <laughs> everything nice, and then I accidentally added scuff. <laughs> we've, we've, the, that's the Powerpuff Girls <laughs> Using your powers to be cute and adorable on my sofa. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but thank you so much for coming on the show. It's lovely to see you. Uh, I'm just going to say Owl. I think that's going to be easiest, isn't it? So, um, welcome, Owl. That's thank you. People go by. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> thank you so much for coming on the show. Um, tell us more about you, first and foremost. Um, who you are, what you do. Um, yeah, wh why you're so scuffed. <laughs> go for it, <laughs> <Bean. laughs> So hi, my name is Dark Owl, um, or Crystal Owl, as most uh, most people actually know me as. Uh, I'm a streamer. Um, I'm actually part of a trio. They these two are the other parts of the trio uh, of a streaming group that we've named. We've been kind of coming up with a the name. They have been no help at all. I'm not. I'm not surprised if I'm if I'm honest. Thank you. <laughs> I just find that out. So we. Yeah, but we went to something along the lines of, like, Forest Guardians. It's not permanent. It may be subject to change, but as far as right now, that's what it's going to be. Okay, um, and are you going to be, like, a streamer group then? Is that is that the plan? Exactly. 
Now, not saying that we won't stream by ourselves. We might have our own independent streams. Uh, these two are streamers. Teto is getting back into streaming. Hasio started streaming huh. not that long ago. They just recently made affiliate. Congrats so, on affiliate, congrats Bean! On Woo! Um, uh, Sarah was one of my previous guests on the show, just to clarify. Um, uh, and um, Tello is, funny enough, one of my moderators. So um, it, it's nice to see you guys come together. Um, how, how did your friendship with, with um, all three of you, how did that kind of come to form? And what made you want to create this kind of uh, streamer group that you're, you're going to be um, working on? I'm still trying to remember how I met Tello, but I remember I actually met Hasio through you. Remember Aww. when I was stuck in a tree and you pushed me out? <laughs> That's okay, when we I first met. I know, chat, I, chat, wait, I, I, I did not push, I did not push her out of a tree. That I, I will, I, I cannot admit to the accusations. <laughs> <laughs> he wanted to I, push me out of a tree. I, I solemnly swear I didn't push them out of a tree, and I'm totally not crossing my fingers under this desk. <laughs> 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 but going back to our streams, we may have still our own independent streams. It's just that, um, for the most part, we will be streaming together. But we may have our own individual streams. Uh, right now, the kind of streams I do is. I either I'm alone sitting and just chatting with chat somehow like what you usually do or I'm running around with these two just trying to find out what kind of mayhem we can get into. The reason we kind of form this group is mainly because we always find it a lot more fun and enter entertaining when the three of us are together and I always like to make sure I'm having fun and I'm only just kind of doing this as a hobby. But I want to make sure that my viewers are having just as much fun as I am. And I, I always feel like by adding more people into the room, we can always bounce a lot more ideas and jokes along with each other. That's really nice. Like, you, you have to have, like, a very specific relationship to bounce off each other and work well, especially in a streaming capacity. Like, um... You you can you can collab with people and you, you know your friends and you work well together. But then there'll be people you just naturally just click with and you create magic when you're with them. Um, so I'm, I'm really glad that you three have kind of come together to mold that like really special like group there. Um, and yeah, so um, are you going to be like um, in the future? Will you make it like an official group um, and it will just be you three as kind of like the three musketeers or? Um, will you uh, be open to um, new uh, people in the group, or will you choose them? What? what yeah. Mm. So the ba so the four um, words sentences. <laughs> no, don't worry. I do that all the time. <laughs> You're fine. <laughs> the group has basically just formed, so we're still open to ideas. I think for now we're just going to keep it to us three. Um, I guess it's still somewhat. I wouldn't say it's really in an official thing just yet, mm -hmm. but I feel like that might be something we may look mm -hmm. doing into the future. Uh, we're going to wait and see how things go before we make anything dead center. But as far as so far, I've been having a lot of fun with these two. Aww. And, you know, I, I don't think I could just go back to uh, just sitting in a room by myself just anytime soon. <laughs> so nice. <laughs> Because I know all of you and you're all lovely beans, so this is so precious to, to see in here. Um, you, you mentioned that you're open to ideas. Um, can, I, I've got a really good idea. Um, can, can, can you and that, can you just announce me king? Can I be king? Is that, is that a, is, is king available? <laughs> well, you know what? The three of us have met all because of you. Okay. No. Uh, wait. 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 I was joking. <laughs> no. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not responsible enough. <laughs> like to be honest, uh, I think trying to look after you two would be like an absolute nightmare. <laughs> you three. <laughs> like honestly, I did not mm. want to take the sponsorship as leader of this group, but I'm the one that um, I'm the one that proposed it, so I'm the one that has to take care of these two, and so far it's already been a chore. Does that make you mum? <laughs> you you mum? <laughs> How old is mum? Um, you your mom. <laughs> Come on. You know what? I've already made that comparison that I feel like their mother. Yes, I am probably. I'm, I guess I'm their mother. Mm, I feel like looking after all three of you would make me dad, and I'm, I'm not cut out. For that. <laughs> it's just, 
it just I'm not sure I'd survive. Well, honestly, we, had, we had an idea of like as soon as we came in, we were gonna be in small avatars just climbing all over you, calling you dad. Oh God, I'm I'm, I'm glad I dodged that. But... <laughs> Um, hold on. I'm, I'm trying to like scroll down my screen. Ah, there we go. Perfect. There we go. Um, so uh, that was one of the main things I wanted to talk to you about was um, sort of why why you wanted to bring Tello and Tessa on with you. Um, and I know that you guys are really close friends, but it's really nice to hear that you come together to to form a group. And um, I, I do like your stream actually, Owl. And I see you guys like hanging out, causing oh. mischief. <laughs> it's really nice to see. Mainly, mm. you'll see me bullying that one. Yeah, Hisao gets bullied a lot. Oh, Hisao, do you like being bullied? Easily... <laughs> uh, also, Bunny, if I've ever done the bang sound effect to you, I apologize. I now know how bad it is. <laughs> yeah. Oh, they got hit with the bang. I, it's uh, it's super awful. Uh, I've actually been lurking Hisao's stream when Owl has been in there, and I think you've played the bang sound to scare yeah, Hisao. As as you did you it like, bang. did you did you double barrel them and shoot them twice at once? Some uh, at some point, I think no, that was that, a thing. Tedo did it. Oh, Tedo, that was Tedo. I like how Tedo just raises a hand, like, yeah, that was me. <laughs> He's like guilty as charged. That was me. Yeah. <laughs> it's still recovered from well, the first they... one. It happens again. <laughs> They, um, it's they scary. With the bang sound, so I, I, I have to got him back. Yeah, for all those who don't know, when you watch the stream, it's not even close to how loud it is for us. It yeah, is like agreed. Times louder. Agreed. It is louder it, for us than it worse. is for you. I, this, this is always a thing that I'm saying, but it's nice to hear someone else say it as well. Also, Yogi, could you replay the the music because it finished. <laughs> We've never actually got through the whole track before. <laughs> we actually got so far through the music it finished. So, mm -mm. Um, I got my own music playing in my ears. <laughs> <laughs> wow, wow! Are you trying? Are you trying to say my music's not good enough? For you is that? Is that you? You come on here, no, you no, no. disrespect me like that. <laughs> this music that I stole no, from I just, YouTube. I always wow. Have music playing in my ears because the the one the number one thing that I hate is dead silence. When I'm going to sleep at night, even if it's like freezing cold, I have to turn a fan on for white noise. I cannot sleep in bed. Oh, I used silence. to have to do that. I know I what you mean it. about white noise. Yeah. Um, I'm okay with it now, like... but I know exactly how you feel. Hmm. Yeah. If I'm if I'm in dead silence, my brain tends to wander off to a dark place, and it's not good for my mental health. So I always have to have some kind of noise going on. Mm, that's understandable, to be honest. Um, I I used to not be able to sleep without white noise. So it was really weird. Like you, you just you, I can't explain. It. I I hope people in chat, some people understand what we're saying when we when we say these things. Um, but yeah, it's it's I'm a sure really some, weird vibe. Some do. Mm, 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 mm. Um, and um, I'm just looking at all the things. Um, you, you wanted to start doing art, I believe. Is this is it? Am I correct there? Uh, do you do you want to tell us a bit yeah. more? So I have been kind of doing art since I was a kid, but I never been really really good at it. Um, most projects always end up getting rid of, uh, before I kind of really even started it. Um, why is the fanboy milk flying in my face? Go. Uh, d don't worry about <laughs> it. It's, it's, it's fine. <laughs> For me, it was just like kind of bouncing right up in here, right here. Like, why are you in my face? Go. <laughs> anyway. Um. I just had to walk right yeah. on my face. So. But <laughs> at some point, I got my drawing tablet and I've been doing a lot better with art um case in point you have seen it the whatchamacallit the ha happy holidays picture yeah, my, my brain just oh yeah I was like wait hold on yeah that makes sense mm -mm -mm -mm. Yeah. yeah 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 and but the... yeah I've done I've done a little bit of art before and I'm trying to get I always get really complacent and uh, usually dropping art pieces, but I'm kind of trying to get back on and stay in tune with it. Uh, and right now I'm kind of trying to make in a banner for my Twitch page. So I suddenly just fell off my desk. I was like, what the fuck was that? <laughs> 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 so, yeah, are you going to start doing art on stream? Or have you already started doing on stream? Like, is that something you're thinking about? No, um, probably for, not for a while, because I feel like my skill level is way too low to even be interesting. Mm. But like, you're thinking about it in the future, uh, is what, what I got from that. I'll read the same line a million times. 
Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. I, I, I did when I was a lot younger. Back in my day, <laughs> I did, I did. I used to have a Deviant Art account. I will never reveal the name. Um, and <laughs> I had a Wacom tablet, and you draw the same circle like fifty times. And oh my god, it used to do my head in. <laughs> I just couldn't. <laughs> Drawing circles is really difficult. I, it's, it's not oh, so for the faint of being old. We're, we're not that far apart. You and me. Wait, I'm not sure I know how old you are, or you, you may have told me and I've forgotten because Civ brain, but, um, yeah, I, you, uh, Well, I'm, I'm 29, I'll be turning 30 in, at the end of July. Okay, I have five years. <laughs> You're not that old, Bean. Still not that far. Hmm, well, far. Mm, yeah, I mean, five, five years is still a gap, so you, you better not feel old. Yeah. You can't feel old yet, you're not allowed, <laughs> you're too young, you're too young for that. <laughs> Mm -mm -mm. I think that that's better. That's a stronger case for you to be mum. <laughs> These two. <laughs> I T am older Tello than Tello just giving me the face. Mm -mm. You're older than me. Yep. Yep. I am younger than Hatsu, so. <laughs> yep. That's a. Ah, oh, that's a <laughs> bad. Hi, mom. You're still bad. Fuck. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> 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 but it really is a true statement when I say that you're kind of the reason that we're all brought together. Aww. I used to stream long ago, but I dropped it for personal reasons and never really got back into it. When I, I saw a clip of Bun on this hmm. on YouTube, I decided to uh, go and check it out. My life has completely changed ever since I joined their Discord and watched their streams. Aww, Whenever I joined the Discord, I would never say anything. Even Discords I don't, I've made myself. I've never said anything. Mm. But ever since I met Bun, I've actually made myself qu quite no, uh, well known in his Discord. And a lot of people know me, and I've had a lot of fun. I have a lot of friends now. It's been awesome meeting you. And um, to be honest, you're 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 part of the family. Um, Owl. Um, I'm really glad that you're here. Um, and yeah, I'm glad you found us. And I always um, say, yeah. Mm -mm, no, you go, you go. <laughs> I always say that no matter where my load uh, takes me, I'll always still be a member of your community and your family. Mm. That's why I always still call you Bun, even though you, you go by Puck now. Yeah, I'm. I'm, you're I'm still really glad a very you dear friend to me. Mm. I hope that all of my old friends and and people still call me Bunny, and uh, I'm really glad you do. Oh, you're such a precious bee. I mean, to be honest, I'm very lucky that I know you guys. Um, <laughs> it goes both ways. Oh, I'm getting sentimental. Fuck. Huh. Mm -mm, mm, I'm fine. <laughs> I always to say I'm me, but you know that only gets you so far. <laughs> um, I, there, there was. Uh, uh, um, I'm. I'm a bit. Uh, uh, um. <laughs> I didn't Sorry. expect this. Um, um, mm -hmm. But um, I, I love you so much, Beans. You're all, you're all lovely, and I'm, I'm so glad, and I'm really lucky to know all of you. Um, uh, <laughs> I think for all of us, when we say, when I say, we love you too. Oh, Hold on, I'm gonna just take this spray bottle because it's having a seizure. Oh, down, boy, down. <laughs> Why? <laughs> it's having a bad time. It's just. Oh, 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 it's, yeah, let's no, just, here now. we'll just leave it there, it's fine, <laughs> it's not having a seizure. Well, actually, I wanted a spray bottle because they game. said that they're probably going to need to use it on me. Because I was going to bully them. I, I, yeah, I was thinking I was going to be spaying at least one of you with it, but so far, so good. <laughs> so, we'll leave it there for now. Great friends, thank you for the eight months. I think I, I appreciate it. I think I'm a little too nervous, and that's what's holding my tongue. <laughs> okay, hold on, I'm just going to, we can fix this, right, you know, um, I can just, um, Hold on, I'm just... Oh, no. oh. Just, just waddle over here, just... Uh, okay. Oh, okay, without falling over it. Let's just, um... Well, this, does this work? Does this work? Huh, hold on. Whee! <laughs> I'm just, uh... Gonna... Hi! Oh, hi. Hi, hi Bean. Hi, I'm gonna come sit with you. <laughs> it's fine. Hi. <laughs> Hello, <works. laughs> Bean. Mm -mm -mm -mm. It's very really nice to see you. So, it, well, if I look off into the space, it's because I'm looking at um, my my screens and things. But don't worry about that, okay? <laughs> <laughs> it's generally like me in any way because I have the attention span of a child, and I'm just like, oh, that's pretty. <laughs> 
<laughs> Same as me. Mm-mm-mm. Oh, you're such a cuddly little bean. I love <laughs> all of you. <laughs> it, it, something I wanted to ask all three of you is, um, obviously you've, you've all made, the, you've come together to make this group and you're, all of your mm-hmm. avatars are kind of like the same height and they're all absolutely adorable. Uh, was this intentional or did this just happen? Like, was this just it natural? It kind of just happened. Um, yeah. I mean, they're all the same avatar. It's just, it has m- a lot of customization to it. Mm. Mm. Uh, so, wait, are they all yeah. the same one? I thought that, I, I thought his yeah, yeah. was different, uh-huh. actually. Huh. No, no they're all the, all the same one. I really like them. Would you potentially, depending <laughs> on like where your 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 mischievous deeds take you in the future, would you look to create like your own unique brand of of characters, or what 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 do you think? Asia is already looking into well, it. Wow, yeah, really? I'm buying the Rusk, the base model for this, and giving it to them mm-hmm. too, so that way we can make our unique ones. Oh, that would be amazing. I'm really interested to see what you come up with, and it's going to be adorable. <laughs> I know it's going to be super cute. Yeah, it's going to be super, super fluffy. Is that like something you're looking to do quickly, or are you just going to do it, you know, end of the year sort of thing? Uh, we're kind of hoping. I'm hoping at least for the end of the year, but we're not. You know, we're not really good with avatars or at least I'm online. Not <laughs> so hopefully, at some point, is is I'm a good so goal for us right now. Yeah, Teddo knows some bit. So yeah. I have. Yeah. Well, then I I'll leave my avatar in your hands because I'm, I'm, I'm completely useless. I think the best way to approach this <laughs> is if Teddo teaches you what they know, then they'll be able to get you into the like learning the basics a lot faster than if you just use like online tutorials and things. Um, and like obviously mm. because you all mm. you all work together so well, you could you Teddo you can basically just bat them on the head until they get it right. <laughs> <laughs> and then go from there and like there's low you've got loads of friends who are who, you must you must know people who are good at good with avatars that you can always hit up for for advice and mm. things as well so yeah mm-hmm. maybe mm-hmm. no definitely there's good there's got to be people in your discord that you can <laughs> you can give a shout to is there anyone in chat who's good with avatars who would help these little beans that probably is i would hope so mm-hmm. um okay so um i'm gonna probably pass it over to chat and see if they had any questions. Do any of you, can any of you see chat right now? Have any of you got the uh, the chat up? I can see yeah. chat. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you're welcome to, you're welcome to choose the questions um, as and when. And um, uh, everyone at home, um, it, th- this is um, Owl. Um, the one in the middle, that's Tero. And the one on the end is Lord Haseo. Um, Lord Haseo was actually a previous guest on the show as well. Mm-mm-mm. Um, if you have questions for them as a group or individually, just get, just shout out their names. I think that's the best way to do it, I think. Yeah. Mm-mm-mm. Yeah. I love how cute you guys are. <laughs> <You're just> like... <laughs> mm. I don't think I've ever heard of like a trio group coming together. I think this is like kind of one of the first times. Hmm. Like you don't really see like many of these. Like, I think really this is the first ever time that you've had someone bring other people on onto your couch, though. I've had one guest before, but I've never had two guests. Oh, so, wow. <laughs> yeah, and this is the second time that guests have been on. And I mean, this is we're we're up to like guest f- your number forty one, I believe. Guest forty one. So, yeah. Hey, mm-hmm. Yogi yeah. actually has a question. Oh, Yogi's got one. <laughs> yeah, so Yogi's. <laughs> I love how Yogi's just standing in the background behind the camera, just staring. <laughs> as well. <laughs> Yogi asks, "Can I get a mod on Teddo stream? I will obtain all three then." <laughs> Teddo, say no. <laughs> say no. <laughs> well, they're they're a mod on my stream and on Hasia's stream as well. Yeah, I like to decide uh, my mod. She is my mod right now, so. <laughs> And she doesn't want to. Oh, Yogi's now facing the wall. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's sad. Oh, Yogi, sad boy. No. Yogi, get on the couch. <laughs> Yogi, come here. Come here, Bean. <laughs> yeah, come on. Come on. <laughs> Yogi. <laughs> Hi. Hi, Bean. Oh, oh, yeah, you're gonna go sit next to his hair. Yeah, no, not next to Teddo. <laughs> it's too crowded over here. <laughs> Um, Where is Al? I'm right here. I, those are consequences. I can see a question from Levia. I, I, think, I think some people are are a little confused because I changed my avatar a little bit. Mm-hmm. Wait, about... Uh, uh, wait, uh, 
I can't. I can't really read chat from here. It's really hard to read. <laughs> Yeah, I'm trying to read. Um, yeah, Owl, Owl is the pink one. Love your ass. Tedo is the yellow one, and yeah. Lord Haseo is the red one, and uh, Yogi is the white one. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Puck, would you mind if I <laughs> Yogi, posted a clip how do I bat Owl's that end? For example, who have never seen her before. Yeah, yeah, if you want to post a clip, um, that's fine, Levia. You want the mark and be. Yeah. <laughs> Of course. Mm. <laughs> Wait. Uh, uh, only I yes. worry about what kind of clip they're gonna pick, though. Oh, um, <laughs> yeah. I have some embarrassing. I won't ones. be able. I won't be able to watch it. But <laughs> yeah. Wait. What? No. Then, <laughs> love you. No. Not that one. <laughs> <laughs> love you. It's too late. It's in the chat now. <laughs> oh, it's okay, Bean. It can't be that bad. <laughs> it's bad. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now that that was clipped out of context. Okay. That was, oh yeah. Uh -huh. I got clipped out of context. Yeah, and all of mine are clipped out of context, aren't they? Yep. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now you intentionally make it out of context. That was. I don't know what you're talking about. No, I don't. I don't. I'm, I'm, I can't. I can't. I can't admit to these accusations. I'm afraid. <laughs> For it uh, once is no problem for Yogi. Too, yeah. Wow, Buffalon being exceptionally wholesome today. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Uh, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna run back to my desk, Bean. Uh, 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 huh. Okay. Huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Huh. Okay. Did we have any other questions for the beans? Um, I'm just gonna collectively call you the beans now. This, the, uh, I've re <laughs> you've rebranded. Congrats, you're now the beans. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a great name. I, I, I would call my group the Beans. <laughs> <laughs> beans. I just love the word beans. It's really nice. Yeah. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Um, Levia says, a real yeah, question. question. Yeah. Do you all plan to follow an animal theme or just owl? Uh, so I think at some point we're going to have like our different own themes. Um, I think Tedo said something about being humanoid. And... A human or wolf. So I'm still taking a wolf. <laughs> a wolf. Uh, Hasio, what are you gonna go with? Fox. So we got a fox, wolf, and an owl. I'm a little bit disappointed there's no bunnies in there, but you know, can't can't win them all. <laughs> hey, no, no point. We can't have four people in the group. <laughs> well, they're all things that eat rabbits and bunnies, so. Yeah, I'm not sure I like this arrangement. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm not sure this is gonna turn out in my best interest. <laughs> that's for sure. It's, a, it's just that sense of fear. I'm in danger. <laughs> okay. Um. Okay, beans. We are gonna have to wrap it up in a second. But obviously, before we do, um, there is um one thing that is very important that you need to do, and that's give me hugs. Oh, hi. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just wanted a hug. I did, <laughs> that wasn't the thing. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, before before we let um, Owl, Tello, and Haseo go, um, all of um, Owl's links are below, um, as they're my main guests of the, the trio. Um, and feel free to give them a follow to find out what the group is going to be up, up to in the future and to watch them uh, create their new character. And, oh, it's going to be fluffy and cute. And aren't they just adorable? Like, oh, who wouldn't want to watch you three have fluffy fun together? <laughs> Mm, is really cute. Um, so before we go, um, uh, I wanted to just say check them out. And um, if you want to give shout outs to anyone, or you know, you know the drill. If there's anything you wanted to mention, um, yeah, the floor is yours, Bean. <clears throat> well, I wanted to uh, shout out Levia for being a troll. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> so hi, Blanc. And Blanc, that's we love you. Guys. Have anyone you want to shout out? Much that's true. So, <clears throat> yeah, basically, well, yeah, this is basically how, how my media. thing goes. So, yeah, <laughs> how much do I talk? I normally mute. Yeah, I was gonna say I'm surprised Tedo. I'm surprised Tedo came to came talking today. Um, Tedo's generally a mute and a mute. Yeah, you're gonna be mute streaming as mm -hmm. well, Tedo, or what? What's the plan? Yeah. Mm -mm, I thought uh, so. I have a TTS side up that um, basically repeats what I'm saying. So, 
But for this, I want oh, to have a little bit of so so I use a Bosch Angel. Uh, yeah, totally. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. I, I want me. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Okay. I think, I think we're there. This has been nice. Mm -hmm. I, you know, it's been so nice having three guests on the show. You're all so cute. <laughs> um, I, I wish all three of you the best with uh, with your uh, collaborative group this year. Um, obviously, um, we we I I know all of these beans. We're we're good friends, and it's a pleasure to have you on the show. Thank you so much for wanting to come on and talk to me, and um, you know, tell everyone more about what you're going to be up to in the future. And um, yeah, um, I I, I look forward to whooping you on the nose soon because I love your beans. Yeah. Mm. I forget you first. Dude, ha! Huh, I'm bigger than you. I'm bigger. I'm I'm higher in the. I'm not higher in the food chain, but I'm bigger than you. Hey, you. Hey, what? Like. <laughs> 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 well, before you get to me, oh yeah, I am. <laughs> what? I still don't know why Teddo has a gun. <laughs> I feel like. Okay. Hey, okay. You. <sighs> Look, we're small. We have to defend ourselves some way. Yeah. I'm small too. I don't have. I don't have guns. I, I, I just have floppy ears. Look, it's pretty whoa, 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 whoa. Get to me, Yeah. Just talk to Trump one time. You know, see, it doesn't feel. <laughs> I feel. I feel like I should invest in a gun. <laughs> it's just, I lost my gun. Just like, All I got is Listerine. This is this is my well, finger gun. I guess it's time for me to go. Mm. I must return to my planet. The, uh, to, oh, okay. I'm, uh, <laughs> bye. <laughs> wait, wait. Okay. Uh, um. <laughs> That's one way to make an exit. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it was my fifth guest. <laughs> Dark Forest Owl Moon. <laughs> oh, thank you so much for coming on the show, Bean. I hope you enjoyed yourself. So, that takes us down to... Oh, my, my invite has expired. I've got to invite them again. We're going to be moving on to guest number six, and then we'll go back to legal as guest number three. Thank you so much for coming on the show, though, guys. It was lovely to have you. Um, okay, let me just uh, send them an invite. Um, da -da -da. Imagine knowing the alphabet. Um, where's N? <laughs> uh, L, M, N. N, N is after M. <laughs> I'm learning. <laughs> I wish they taught me this in school. <laughs> there they are. Okay. Pow, pow, pow. Ba -da! So I've just sent an invite to my final guest. Yogi's going to go meet. I'm going to move this chair out of my play space before I fall over. <laughs> so, let me just let me just move that. Huh. Oh, okay, this looks questionable. Don't worry about it. Don't look at my butt. <laughs> <It's fucking... laughs> hmm. I'm going to put up... Um, my, my next guest's details as well. Um, pow. But no, that's not the right. No, no, that. Huh? D there we go. Oh, first try, boys. <laughs> Demon Fox, welcome. The three of them are so cute. I know why. Right? I feel like. I feel like they're going to make a great trio. Thanks, Beans. I can see you in chat. Thank you so much for coming on. Nice exit, by the way. <laughs> that was really nice. That was awesome to see. Hmm. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed coming on the couch and talking to me and being fluffy and cute and adorable little beans because I love you. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. I, I'm really, I'm really interested to see what you do in the future. Well, so neck owls can fly too. Neck owls is quite a nice name as well. Mm -hmm. Good evening, viewers. Good evening, Park. Kim, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for popping in. Um, we're just about to hit my sixth guest. Um, my third guest, unfortunately, had some technical issues. They will be on after my sixth guest. Um, and yeah, they should be here any moment. Ah, speak of the devil. So we have an intro video for my sixth guest. So we're going to throw it over to the screen and we'll be back in a second. Just kidding. Why would you do that? <laughs> Why the fuck would you do that? <laughs> Daddy! <laughs> okay, for context. <laughs> so, 
<laughs> Some of that may have cut out. <laughs> um, uh, uh, um, Nizori was playing uh, with uh, Adzi, I believe, um, and um, uh, Doi killed Adzi and then laughed until he passed out. <laughs> <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome my sixth guest to the show. It's New Dory. Woo! New Dory, hi. Come on down, Bean. Hi. Hello, hi. hello. Welcome, welcome. Hi. Welcome to the show. Hi. It's lovely to meet you. Hello. It's lovely oh. to meet you as well. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Thank you so much for coming. It's really nice to have you. <laughs> so, um, what happened in that clip? Because y y you killed Adzi. So the story behind <laughs> that was I, I was doing, uh, at the time, I was doing uh, a massive streamathon where I didn't stop streaming. I recently just finished doing another one. Um, but during that, we were playing a game, It Takes Two, which uh, is all about cooperation and teamwork and understanding one another. And really working together to make jobs. So naturally, my entire job was just screwing with him. Um, and that was... We were, we were on that part for about 30 minutes because I just couldn't stop ripping the platform under him. And that particular one, I was like, okay, 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 I'll, I'll do it. I took the 20 minutes. And I heard him break. And it's something about Adzi where he just made me pass out from laughter. And I legitimately lost consciousness for a second because of laughter oh uh, and then God. i had to take 10 minutes to recover from that because i just oh couldn't yeah. he, he, i i I, <laughs> I can't say i've ever seen someone laugh themselves unconscious but i'm glad i have <laughs> I've seen this. It was amazing. It was, it was a wonderful experience. <laughs> so, thank you so I much for your patience as that. well. Um, um, oh, yeah. no worries. Mm -mm, I know we're a little bit behind schedule. That's generally the MO around here. From <laughs> ah, no time. Um, but yeah, tell us more about <laughs> you, New Doi. Um, tell us who you are, what you do, um, what, what, yeah, what you've been up to. Yeah, tell us more. Well, I'm a loud man on the internet. Um... <laughs> So, uh, I am a full-time streamer uh, and content creator. I do uh, variety, but I've been focusing more on, like, VR chat and, and, and things like that. Um, uh, my main thing is just going around, having fun with friends, and just, you know, just trying to make people laugh as much as I can. That's kind of my MO. Also known for uh, aggressive positivity. Uh, not like... Not like, you know, like, oh, yeah, we're going to be good. No, I mean, like, it, it, we're going to love you whether you like it or not. And there's no <laughs> option for you. Forced love. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I, I have heard from people, and obviously I've been watching some of your streams recently, that you, you do have, like, uh, you, you have a very energetic personality. Would you say that's that's uh, that's fair to say? Uh, uh, yeah, about that. <laughs> I mean, I'm about as... <laughs> I'm about as energetic as the fat man can be in a chair, really. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, no, I like to, I mean, when you come to a stream, you want, you know, you want to be entertained, you want to, you want to be happy, and whenever I'm streaming, I'm always just like, I'm going to do that, so, yeah, I, I, I can be a bit loud sometimes, just a tiny bit, just, you know, <laughs> not, not major, just, you know, a little... Little, little bit. Okay, I feel like you're underplaying it. <laughs> have you ever upset your neighbors? No, 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 not at all. Not at all. No, it's, it's, it's totally, it's totally not like I've, I'm called the loud, angry man for like <laughs> the last three years. Totally, that's not at all what it is. <laughs> it's fair. It's not my fault. My chat bullies me. I, oh yeah, he comes, he comes with the territory, doesn't it? Chat always bullies. Why are you like this chat? My, Why do you my... bully us? Leave, my, leave my, me Doi alone. Is, uh, we. <laughs> my, my chat is, is, is uniquely feared in the community at this point because uh, if, if, if they come into a chat, if I, I have, I've had multiple people say that of all of the communities that they've seen, that mine is the one that should be feared because they'll hurt you. Uh, <laughs> they will, their favorite thing in the world to do is to, is to find someone new and to just destroy them. Cool. Okay, add to block list. New Doi's chat. Okay, yeah, cool. No, That's pretty much. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> mm. Wonderful, but they they have no sense of self control. <laughs> that, that that sounds terrifying. <laughs> what is that? That's actually terrifying. They really don't. It's just it's a it, it's a flamethrower that you just kind of have to point in the right direction. <laughs> I uh, it, it never raid me. 
Oh, that's probably not a good idea that I added everybody and told them I was here. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's fine. They can cause chaos for you while you're here. That's fine. Because you, 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 um, yeah, 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 yeah. Are you kind of like dad to your chat? Or <laughs> no. do they uh, listen to you at all? Do you have any control? Not in any way, shape, matter, or form. <laughs> no. <laughs> Oftentimes, this is they, actually, go great. they are the rebellious... <laughs> if I'm the dad, they're the rebellious teenager who will do everything I tell them not to do. So if I tell them... Hey guys, chill out. That is a cue for them to essentially give you a level five hype train in there. Ha. Ah. Okay, I I have hype chains disabled, so that's quite convenient. Hey chat, ah, chill sense. out. Yeah, get fucked. <laughs> oh well, you. Oh no. <laughs> I'll, probably, I'll come back to regret that later, probably. Um, <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much oh, for coming on the show. Thank you for your patience. I know we're a little bit behind schedule. Um, uh, there was no a, a couple of things I wanted to talk to you about. So you are quite a predominant figure in the VR chat community, and you've been around for quite a long time. But um, um, I, personally, these questions also give me more insight into you because this is our first time meeting. Like me and yeah. Doi have never met before. Um, I've I've known of you for many a year. Um, and I know you get up to some crazy antics, but um, we've never really interacted no. or hung out. Um, but um, uh, I was interested in sort of like your origins in the community and um, how, 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 you know, you became a full time streamer. Were, were you streaming before VR chat and this has just became what you wanted to do or, uh, you know, what happened? So, that's an interesting story. So, I technically have been streaming since 2014. Wow. So this will be my eighth full year of streaming. Holy hell, congrats. Congrats uh, on eight when, years. Holy shit. Uh, in 2017, I had a friend by the name of Gom HD. He was a member of a, a, group, a group of YouTubers called The Derp Crew. Uh, the, uh, you might know their most prominent member, Chilled Chaos. Uh, well, I was friends with him and a couple other people in, the, in, in that team. And he had decided to go on and stream VRC. At the time, I didn't have, I had like a desktop set up. And I was like, oh, it's a free game. I'll go on and I'll hang out with them. And uh, I caused a lot of chaos. I married people together, and I lose my usual brand. And um, yeah, no, I'm I'm actually ordained in real life, so I can actually do that. Uh, oh, wow, uh, that's awesome. Nope, not in the VR chat. It's not dead. It's dead. It's <laughs> oh yeah, no, it's cursed. Yeah. I don't know whether or not that's religiously binding. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, no, it was just like I was doing that, and I wasn't streaming. And everyone in his chat of like 240 people were like oh my god, I want to see this guy's perspective. And I wasn't streaming at the time, and I was just like, you know, I, I'm i I'm old school. And I'm, I love making people laugh. I love making people laugh. I'm like, oh, I'll stream, and if people like it, then they can do that. And then I did that for a while, kind of off and on, and I didn't really do anything. And then um, I think around 2018, I met up with Fizzy, her trap. Uh, we became friends. Mm -hmm. And then in... Uh, we kind of hung out. We kind of knew each other. Uh, but then in late 2019, we really started to hang out a lot more. We started to do streams a lot more. And a lot more people saw me. And that blew me up a little bit. And then, you know, I kept hanging out with other people. And that blew me up more. And uh, around 2020 is when I decided, you know what? There's a global pandemic. Uh, finding a job is probably not going to be easy. Uh, let's see how streaming does. And I just did this full time. And I'm still doing it. And I don't know how. Uh, uh, <laughs> Have you have you say that it that that the the doing that has paid off for you? Like, has it been able to sustain your your living situation? Um, uh, and uh, are you going to be able to do it for the foreseeable future? Do you think? Uh, so, if it was the way it was in twenty twenty, probably. Uh, twenty twenty one kind of showed me, you know, unfortunately, with the way streaming is, it isn't a sustainable thing unless you are. It goes yeah, like this. In the yeah. Community. Yeah, it can go like yeah, this. Yeah, no. Mm. And and the way that the things are is that I don't ever want to pressure people to give to me. I'm somebody who who never want people to think that they have to give to me. I never want people to think that they, you know, are required to do it. Yeah, but, you know, you do way, the right when thing. You're a yeah. streamer. That's kind of a necessity. Yeah, it's it's uh, a so catch twenty two. I am currently looking it? for employment, actually. Okay. I'm looking for employment, not because necessarily I need it, because technically speaking, I don't. But I want to get in a job just so that way I know, hey, I don't have to rely on random people hitting me, and I could just have fun, and I can, you know. It can take the pressure off. Yeah, I know exactly what you mean. Having a yeah. backup plan or having like a fallback 
it can, it can lift a weight off your shoulders. I, I completely agree with that. So, yeah. now, what what would you do? Are, are um, you specialized in a specific field? Um, is there something that you used to do, like no. mechanics or? Uh, I I'm gonna be doing uh, probably security, honestly. Um, it's just it's something that I know I can do. It's something I was gonna, yeah, you're perfect for not, security. Yeah, <laughs> that makes perfect sense. I I don't <laughs> wanna I don't wanna deal with uh I've I've done I don't wanna deal with sales. Oh, um, I do sales. So just, Trust me, though. It's, 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 it's peddling. It's peddling to one audience, going to peddling to another audience, and and that other audience doesn't like you, so it doesn't doesn't go well. Hmm. Um, and also when it comes to sales, I always feel like I'm being disingenuous, and I don't like that. Um, so I just you know security is just hey, make sure nothing gets set on fire, and you'll be good. And I'm like, all right, I can do that. I I, I could probably set cereal on fire so I, I wouldn't be a good security guy i people would just pick me up and put oh. me to the side and be like nope <laughs> just keep going I, just... <laughs> I had a friend who set water on fire that was really weird <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> yeah we don't want to talk about we we, we bet him he couldn't do it and he he fucking did it and, and to this day we still don't know we still don't know why we made that bet <laughs> to be fair, it's kind of, it's a pretty sound bet. I wouldn't imagine that many people would bet against the person who's trying to No, set see, here's the thing. We, we made the bet that he couldn't set a pot of water on fire. His exact response was, okay, poured some oil in it and then set it on fire. And he went, hey, look, it's on fire. I mean, I guess, I guess technically that counts. You could argue the point, though. You could definitely argue it with him. I could, um, we, 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 we wanted to, but he had a pot of burning fire. He had a pot of fire, so we kind of was like, okay, he wins. <laughs> I can imagine there was alcohol involved in this. There, I mean, any good story does have alcohol. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're not wrong either. Um, th something I did want to talk to you about was uh, there's two two things I wanted to cover. Um, one of them was your, your marathon oh. streams, and you mentioned already that you previously just finished one. Um, I I know a lot of streamers on the platform. I've been watching Twitch since it was Justin.tv. So I've been around for a while. Mm -hmm. I have never seen anyone do a marathon stream as long as you. Um, do you want to tell me more about, you know, how you do it and how long have you done these for? Like, what length have you done them for? And, y you so, know, how does your sanity not be affected? I got, <laughs> I got, um, I got, uh, <laughs> I got inspired when Ludwig did his 30 day stream. So I heard about a 30 this. 30 day yeah. long subathon. Uh, I didn't necessarily want it to be a subathon, but I did want to see if, how long I could go for. So the first time I did this, uh, I was making a commitment to try to see how long I could go. I wanted to do 31 days. I only wound up making it eight. It wasn't a matter of my body giving out. It was more of a matter of my equipment failing multiple times. It just kind of dissuaded me from doing it. Uh, I repaired some of the stuff. I changed some stuff out. And this year I was like, I, I went eight days last at, on that first try. And I was like, I want to break that That's record. I, I really want to go for 14 <laughs> days. I wanted to go for 14 days, uh, but I was like, I understand if I'm not going to be able to do that, I at least want to break the record. I guarantee want to go for nine days. So I did it. There was no reason why I wanted to do it. There was absolutely uh, nothing for me outwardly to gain by doing it. It wasn't a subathon or anything else. It was just, hey, this is something I want to take off my bucket list for this year. I have a bunch of things I want to do. This is one of those things. Uh, I wound up making it, I think, nine days and two hours. That's actually uh, on this say. particular one. <laughs> um, and I only made it that long because I didn't keep my sanity. I was burnt <laughs> completely. I, I, <laughs> I think imagine. mentally I was gone after day six. That's um, crazy. And, and, and it's genuine. It, it's genuine. With, with streamathons that long, uh, because here's the thing, even when you're sleeping, even when you're you're relaxing at the end of the day, you are still on stream, your brain knows that. When you're sleeping, your only thought is don't sleep too long because you have to get up and entertain people. That's good. And I don't think I could do what that. It does is it, 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 yeah, no, what it does is essentially, because I'm an introvert and I naturally need quiet to refresh myself, is I had no quiet time. I had no time where my brain wasn't focusing on being on camera. So after six days, it was the point where I like, I couldn't really complete thought properly. And I noticed it during streams after six days, you, if you go back and watch in the beginning, I was constantly talking, I was constantly bantering, yada, yada, yada. After six days, there were periods where I would not talk for 15 or 20 minutes because my brain would completely just fizzle out 
and zone out because it was trying to go to somewhere where I could regenerate any level of like mental health. Uh, so after nine days, I kind of went, okay, I did my record. I did it. I, I completely cannot talk anymore. I need to go. Physically, I was completely fine. It was just mentally, I was, there, there was nobody home. Um, and then I took three days where it was so, it was the, the, the recoil from that stream was so bad that for, I think like three days, I went from being in my office for nine days straight to having to force myself to be in it for 15 minutes. And I stayed in my bed, in my bed, in my bedroom for about 36 hours. That's insane. I, 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 I honestly, I, I like, I can't even fathom how hard that would have been. Like. I I can't, I can't, I struggle to do like an eight or twelve hour stream. That for me is quite an effort, and I've never done a twenty four hour stream. I I don't really ever intend on doing it either. Um, what what advice would you give to someone who's looking to take on sort of a marathon event like this? Is there anything that you can do to plan or prepare yourself for it? Is it like um, what advice would you have? So my advice is for is a couple of things. Number one, uh, a single player game where you can zone out is so useful. If you can just do little commentary on something and just have uh also i would recommend uh don't think you have to do it alone if you have a community and you have a group of people that you trust allow them in a street make a streaming room and make it so any of those people can join at any time and talk because it'll give you a level of reprieve like i had my mods i had my fellow streaming friends i had you know people i trust in my community and they were all coming in they were all talking they were all making people laugh and stuff while i was mostly focused on like, games that's actually um, really smart. <laughs> secondary advice. Secondary advice. I would say, if you're gonna do a streamathon like this, if you're gonna do, if you're gonna do a longer stream, uh, don't think you have to stick to one game. Uh, if you do hyper focus on a game, that's fine. Anything that can get you through a day, as long as you know you, you can make it entertaining, is fine. Um, so for me, it was God of War and Minecraft on this particular one, uh, which is what I did. Uh. But you could really pick any one, and it'll be fine. Um, the third thing I would recommend, if you're doing a multi-day stream like what I did, if you're trying to do a, a, a streamathon, my biggest advice is you need to give your time yourself time away from the camera. You need to. There's no choice. If you don't do that, you will burn yourself out within a few days. You, you need... I, I, and this is something I didn't even do. So I realized this after it was kind of already too late. But I would yeah. highly recommend if you're going to do a long streamathon, take like an hour out of the stream where you leave. You can have a few friends that you can designate to come in and talk and chat, put on some videos, and just go out and walk and uh, just, just deal with silence. Mm. Because I think that that little bit of time will... You can collect yourself, can't you? Through each day. Yeah, 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 you can exactly. collect your thoughts there, There's going to be days moment. that are harder than others. Mm. Do, yeah. do you ever intend to try and beat your record? Or are you content on where you're at? What, what 100%. Do you think? <laughs> you're insane. <laughs> you're actually mad. 100%. <laughs> I will most likely try to do it again this year. Uh, the thing is that I want to wait until I have my uh, bed and office in the same in the same room. Yeah, uh, I was wondering what you were sleeping on like on camera. So, to, for it those was an air mattress, it was very uncomfortable, uh, and it, I didn't like it. Yeah, you so. didn't look great. So, to, just to clarify, when Nuke Doi does their marathon streams, they sleep on camera, so you can literally physically yep. see them sleeping. And yeah, it it didn't look like you had like a, a bed set up when when I looked at your stream and saw you asleep. So I was wondering kind no. of what you did to improvise, and that must have taken the toll as well. Oh uh, yeah, no. The air mattress was not comfortable because I'm so used to sleeping. On, this is weird. I sleep on really hard. I like really hard mattresses. I like really <laughs> firm ones because it just feels solid to me. I don't like sleeping on marshmallows, and that bed was just a marshmallow to me. Oh, so, so yeah, yeah, because it's really, an air mattress. I couldn't yeah. really get comfortable. I mm. couldn't really get comfortable. So, well, the plan is, is that later on this year, I'm probably going to be moving to somewhere else, and I'm going to set up my office and my room in the same in the same area and i can orient it in a way where i can be on stream and i can also do uh everything else and i think when that happens i might break in that new office and that new environment i will most likely break that in with trying to break my record 
uh, do you have a record in mind or is it just you know beat this and see how far my i can take goal, it i would love i here's the thing my my thing is always uh when it comes to this is break the record first is guaranteed if i do this again i'm breaking my record so i will go longer than nine days two hours that that's guaranteed the distinction is the goal will be two weeks to go for 14 total wow days, that's huge which is seven back-to-back -back max streams that's mad. And do you find that, that, like, regarding sort of support from your community, do you do you find that anyone's ever concerned for your well-being and your health during these? Because um, all of them are. Mm, all of them are. I can imagine. I was going to say it's probably something that comes up quite a lot. Um, my, uh, my, my chat and my community are some of the most kind and loving. I'm going to ban their egos now. So give me a second. They're <laughs> some of the most kind and compassionate group of human beings i've ever met uh they are, uh -huh. they are people who i don't think i would love dreaming nearly as much if it wasn't for my community because they are genuinely good they're like as much as they love to bully me as much as they love to you know hit me they, they are they are the first people to tell me hey Zori, you're being an idiot go and get rest go to like i uh there was a point where i didn't really get a lot of sleep and i felt really burnt out and i had a headache and my chat said hey you know it's the middle of the day hey go lay down go reset up your bed take a nap get get Close your eyes for a couple hours and 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 sort yourself out will be fine and i did and they were there and they supported me and they were there the whole time while i i kind of rested my eyes for two hours i you know and they woke and i woke up and they were still there and they were like hey i hope you're doing good you can sleep longer if you need to my chat has always made sure that i was okay they always kind of are like well, as much as we love to bully you we want to make sure that you're still okay to be bullied and I think that, you know, I have a lot of people looking out for me and making sure that I'm okay, which is why I can do stupid shit like this constantly. It is, yeah, I feel like if you had to face it alone, it would be, you know, I think for anyone that would be impossible. So it's nice to know that you have such a yeah. strong community and you've built, like, you've built your community over a long, long time. And um, I, I, it's yeah. really nice to know how close you are to them and the bonds that you have. So, yeah, um, you kind of, you uh -huh. kind of you, literally that is community goals. Like <laughs> everyone wishes that they had that, you know. So I'm, I'm really happy that you've been able yeah. to create something that's truly special to you and that they consider you special to them. That's really nice. Yeah. Um, there was um, some other items I want to cover as well with you. Um, so... Uh, <laughs> You've been to TwitchCon, I believe. Which year did you go yeah. to? And was it San Diego you went, I went to? 2019. Or? I went, yeah, San Diego, I went in 2019. Okay, so you went to... This was back when I had a 10 average viewers. So just when you saw that, yeah, when you started out in this sort of, in, in yeah, VR yeah, chat? Yeah, 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 sort of around the 2019 is when a lot of people started getting into it. Um, you you had an issue um, getting to TwitchCon, I believe. Um, do you yeah. want to tell us more about what happened yeah. there? <laughs> sure. Uh, so I was flying from Newark. So, so my flight plan was very simple. I lived in Pennsylvania. I was going to drive all the way to Newark. I was going to fly from Newark Liberty International Airport all the way to Phoenix. And then I was going to fly from Phoenix to San Diego. Very easy. I get on my flight in Newark. I get on. We fly, and it's supposed to be about a four-hour flight. That's not too bad. After yeah. about two hours, though, we we start landing, and I go, I didn't sleep, and that movie I was watching was not that good, so I know I didn't more time than <laughs> that. So why did we go? Did we break the sound barrier? I mean, I'm not mad. It's great. I hate flying, so this is great. We land, and I immediately realize, so this is not Phoenix because there's green around me. Uh, uh, and yeah, we all know that away. Phoenix plant can't live. <laughs> um, and I find out that we have landed in the middle of Kentucky. And the reason, and I don't know the reason, but all I know is there's a lot of commotion up front, up up at the front of the plane. Mm -hmm. I have no idea what's going on. We're grounded. Mind you, I have a connecting flight to San Diego that I have to catch. And I am, we're sitting on a tarmac in the middle of fucking nowhere going, uh, <laughs> and it turns out, uh, uh, and there's a lot of commotion and there are people walking back and forth and somebody walks back towards us and somebody next to me goes, Hey, what the 
call up why did we land and the guy says oh someone died in first class and they have to get the body off and i went i'm sorry what and apparently, there was an elderly couple that was sitting in first class. <laughs> and during the flight, a, one of uh, an elderly gentleman went to sleep, and he never woke up, and his wife noticed. So they had to land the plane. Oh, can you so imagine they could get being the husband his and wife. wife off? Oh, I feel so and bad for the they wife. Had to spend an extra hour. They had to spend an extra hour. Because they had tried to do first aid to him, obviously. Yeah, yeah. But if you don't know planes, they have to check all the first aid stuff and replace it before they can take off go again. back. Yeah. Huh? And I wound up literally, I luckily, I, we got back up, we flew. I don't know if this guy just put pedal to the metal somehow, but he did. Um, We landed and I got off of the flight, off of that flight, and I turned to my right and my, my connecting flight was literally right next to me. And they had oh, just started you boarding. Jammy bastard. <laughs> you got lucky. I had literally you I got, got so off a one plane, went do 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 do. Oh look, another plane. Do 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 do. That's pretty much. Yeah. And then I I'm got not sure the anxiety would have been worse. And I told, I told all of my friends, and none of them believed me. But yeah, I had a flight converted <laughs> into the middle of nowhere, Kentucky, because a dude died in first class. <laughs> Oh God! Like, I, like, you, you know, there's sometimes you you come up with an excuse that you, you know you just can't believe, but that that is completely possible. And <laughs> it literally happens. For me, flying is great, uh, and people can tell you this. I don't think I've ever flown where I didn't have something noteworthy. Where it's like, this is something I'm gonna have to talk about because. Okay, I'm never getting oh on a plane God. with you. <laughs> when when no, I when, when I go never. to when I go to and from TwitchCon, I'm gonna make sure that you are not on any of the flights. <laughs> that is a good idea. That is sound strategy. <laughs> that I think I, that's good good advice for all of you in the New Doys community as well. Don't get on a plane yeah, with them. Don't. <laughs> just don't. Yeah, no. Just, just don't. Genuine, genuine. Just, just don't get in anything with. Them. <laughs> just... Yeah, no, it's a bad idea. I'm yeah. Very, it's, I. I don't get me wrong, I get stories. I get so many stories from it, but like... I feel like you um, could write a uh, the book. The highlight was on, on the way back from that, on the way back from, uh, I, funny fuck, on the way back, I had a problem where, um, I had gotten on the plane and there was a person who sat next to me, so it was like me, there was no seat, and then there was a person next to me. And mm -hmm. I went, oh good, I could spread my legs. No, I cannot, because this person put all their stuff in the middle of the bag, and I think, oh, okay, at least it'll be a, a, a nice flight where I can just kind of relax. No, the person then proceeds whip out and i'm not getting you two gigantic sandwiches and proceeds to eat their sandwiches the entire flight as well as as well as a giant bag of pretzels a whole box uh, of pretzels are gross. and like three Ugh. bottles of green tea and this person was the skinniest human being i've ever met uh, to be fair, I'm quite a skinny boy and i can put it away so i i i commend this gentleman one question though did he eat with his mouth closed or did he make that horrible you no. know that open mouth noise oh my god i wouldn't i couldn't have dealt with that he was a very messy eater let me just tell uh... you this there was lettuce everywhere <laughs> i think even, even the plane staff probably didn't like him to be fair the plane staff just looked at him and went well we're not gonna offer your ass a drink <laughs> Me You've already got them, apparently. Went, no, no, I can just eat the scraps that he left. I could probably feed a family of four. <laughs> I was fully expecting to pull out like an eight-piece chicken meal, just like we got this. So. <laughs> God damn. KFC, just in case, just for nibbles. But in better news, was TwitchCon good? Did you have a good time? It was amazing, except for the part where I <laughs> injured myself three different times within like 36 hours. Oh, are you accident prone as well? <laughs> no, I, I'm not accident prone. It's just I'm not smart. So, um, <laughs> I, I, I live a very sedentary lifestyle. Uh, I didn't really do a lot of walking and stuff. So I, in the process of like 36 hours, I dislocated my shoulder, uh, tore a muscle in my leg, Ouch. and um, <laughs> yeah, and slammed my head against the wall. Okay, the third one I can't quite understand. <laughs> Wait, 
<laughs> what, what happened? Did you like trip? My shoulder because I had to get on one. You know, like those scooters that you can buy for like in like any like you can rent and like use. Yeah, store. yeah, I know. Like you the mean. ones that are on like the side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I used that, and I was like, oh, I'm gonna do that because it's a lot easier. Because I have to go to the, the. I wanted to go and get a uh, more travel size deodorant because you know cons. You don't want to. The last thing in the world I'm I'm so anxious about like smelling bad at a con that. I'll like take like three showers. I'll put like on multiple things in your room. Like I will make sure if you come into me, you will smell a fruit basket. Like that's the goal. Um, and so I went there to get more, get more stuff, some more toiletries like that. And I, on the way back, you know, it's going like you know, decently fast. And I'm going over a hill, and I'm right near where my house is, and I see a pothole. And I can't dodge it, and my brain says, "Oh, just get off the scooter." And you'll be fine. And I go, okay, I get off the scooter, but my reflex is to pull back on the thing, which causes the brake to happen on the electric scooter. Mm -hmm. And it, I, I keep my balance, mind you. I'm going as fast as scooter allows. So I think it's like 10, 15 miles an hour. They go pretty fast, yeah. Get off the scooter. Keep my, yeah, keep my speed. It goes from that to zero. Uh, slams into my right shoulder and immediately dislocates it. Uh, ugh, me. Ugh. I then had to go to the house that I was staying in, go to the go to the wall next to it, and relocate my own shoulder. Ugh, ugh, that's great. Ugh, and then grace, grace, later, grace. and then ugh. and then later that day, uh, there was like the big VRT meetup, and I had we had bought this like hundred dollar like mystery box full of stuff and we're gonna open it up and we're holy gonna hell that's amazing roll, 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 mm -hmm. uh and then as i was walking uh i guess i stepped wrong and i i i tore what i tore my calf muscle i'm i'm starting to just think your axe is in the <laughs> i was limping for the rest of the convention and then uh funnily enough uh the Sunday of the convention, I was at a friend, I was at uh, Airbnb, and I was doing stuff, and we were getting everything done, and uh, I misstepped, uh, and then slammed head first into, like, a wall divide. <laughs> and it was, it was an amazing convention, but I, I was genuinely thinking someone was trying to kill me. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> this, the injuries became memories. <laughs> they they did. No, it was nothing serious. It was nothing like, oh yeah. god, I need to like go get surgery. Mm -hmm. It was just like, I found. It was just it 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 was a lovely just series of events that are just <laughs> like holy crap. Was there a specific point of TwitchCon that meant a, 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 a significant amount to you? Is there a specific moment that you remember fondly as being like the best moment? Yes. There was a gigantic dinner with probably about 30 people um, where we all uh, went to Korean barbecue and I managed to sneak one of my friends in. So there was like this big reservation and there was probably there was there was like 26, 27 people. Mm -hmm. uh, and it was like me, Skywarp Otaku, Odom Fire, Happy Stewart, Fizzy. It was one of the, uh, you know, it was the first meal I ever shared with Fizzy. And it was really nice, but like one of the people who wanted to come but wasn't necessarily invited was a buddy of mine, one of my one of my good friends, Ryujin Death. And I really wanted him to go because he's a big, you know, you know, big man. And I was like, oh, I want to eat with you. And we had the plan of we're just gonna go and we're gonna sit. You're gonna sit with us, and if anybody says anything, you know, you'll get up, you'll get your own table, and you know, maybe I'll come and eat with you instead. But I wanted make sure that he at least could come in and, and, and he could enjoy it. And he mm. sat down and somebody stood up. I think it was Happy Stewart and went, hold up, we need to do a head count to make sure that everybody here who needs to, who, who's allowed oh, to be shit. here. <laughs> and Odom went up like, like a boss and just went, no, 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 we're good. We got, we, we're good with the people. And sat back down and Ryujin proceeded to out eat everybody. Odom with and the same. And then that night because we were in the same house. He ate, he ate no less than like five pounds worth of meat. That's ridiculous. Left, Jeez. Went to like the big VR, the, the big <laughs> TwitchCon concert, and then came back literally two hours later to the house with a triple Whopper. What? Fucking hell. <laughs> Why? No. The man was gold. <laughs> Ryuji 
that is the <laughs> holy man yeah. glad you'll ever meet in your life well uh, um yeah so i thought i ate lots no i'm not i'm not even close <laughs> in comparison. i would have been the star i mean i mean that's not, i ate a 46 ounce uh steak on the holy shit. <laughs> yeah my chat paid for a 215 dollar american wagyu that's uh, insane tomahawk ribeye and i ate it on stream <laughs> And it was delicious, and I was like, "Yeah, it's a lot of food." <laughs> you definitely loved it, though. Like that's 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 like oh, um, Chad would have loved you even more for the fact that you ate the whole damn thing as well. <laughs> oh yeah, no, definitely. <laughs> Oh, that's it. Can, can, guys, can we get me wagyu? Is that I don't even think you, I don't know if you can get it in England. I, I where, you live in America, I believe. Is there, that there, correct? You're, yeah, you're yeah. I live yeah. in I live in Texas. Oh, you're in yeah, Texas, so but one of my earlier guests is from like, Texas. If there's a store if you if there's a store near you like a restaurant that delivers that's what i did but like this this restaurant delivered it was a really nice steakhouse but they did delivery for some stupid reason and um i i i got the, the wagyu steak it, it was amazing and to this day I, I still don't really understand why my chat did that but it was awesome. <laughs> sometimes it was it's best not just, to question was... their actions you know <laughs> I love, that's what I, I love them dearly. But again, they have no sense of self control. Yeah, that's that's a uh, bit of a crazy one, guys. <laughs> but I'm glad you did it because it, it's a great memory for you, and it's something you'll always remember. So it's those special oh, moments yeah. that can mean a lot. Um, we are quickly running out of time, but there is something else I did want to cover Ooh. with you. Um, you, you're part of uh, a, a fairly new uh, SMP. Um, uh, for for those not in the know, um, yes. SMP is like a, a Minecraft server. Um, did you want to tell us more about that and how that came to be? I think Adzi is sure. organizing and running it. I Adzi believe is, Adzi, Adzi is the or, is the organizer and runner. But the, what essentially happened was me and Adzi were talking one day, and he went, "I really want to do more Minecraft." And I went, "Hey, then my, you know, I'm down if you're down." And he said, "Okay, cool. Would you be willing to do a vanilla server, or would you want modded?" And I went, "You know me. I'll beat it if it's just vanilla. I'll beat it in like mm. a day." So i want mod like let's do mod let's do a modded smp and he went all right cool and then he, i was like all right we'll do that eventually and then he was like uh it, it, it was like in the beginning of january he was like okay i'm gonna do it it'll probably be ready in like a month and i'm like hey so i'm doing my streamathon it said could you like have it ready by sunday and he went what and i went you just like kept the whole thing ready by sunday and he went I'll do my best. And we had a lot of problems because he had to do it in like three days and he wasn't planning on that. He was planning on taking a lot longer and doing a lot more research, but I fucking, <laughs> I forced him along and it wound up being where we had to wipe one of the worlds. We had to go like a post. We had to go to the world and like so many mods looking at each other, which we would have known if like, he would have had time to like test it properly, but he didn't. Yeah, <laughs> I, you I know you had like I'm a massive issue. On. I need content. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Just... Um, but it's been a huge success since it launched, I believe. Like it, everyone's really yeah. loved it, and uh, you've got you you you've got some really cool players with you as well. Um, I'm not sure exactly who's yes. on on your on your server, but uh, uh, if people were to tune in and watch you play, who would they see? So they would see uh, me, Pinky Bola, Adzi Slayer, Sugar Shy, Odom Fire is is on it. You know, uh, one of the biggest names from. Uh, yeah, I haven't heard from, a lot uh, from Odom early. in a long time. Yeah. Is he is he coming yeah, back then? Uh, uh, no, I don't think he's coming back. He just wants to like hang out and and, and yeah, have fun. he just wants to I chill and have fun. Yeah, he's very happy with his life right now. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, but there's um, expansion game is is. On. I know expansion um, like all of these names I've heard of. I know, yeah. This is yeah, a... yeah, yeah. Like um, you, th those are just like a few. That, um, you have uh, mini cat is on there. Um, fizzy is also on it. Uh, nerdy nanny is on it. Um, so we have a lot of people that are in it, and they were all doing different things. We have a a, a church for sinks. Um, because they crashed the server, they crashed the first server, and so now we worship them as our gods. Um, <laughs> I'm not even kidding. Uh, I really wish that was a joke, but it's not. We sent. Oh god. We built the giant sink that we worship in. That is not a joke. I I um, I, I was thinking I, that you, all of those names would be chaos, and yeah, it's yeah. exactly as I imagined. <laughs> um, Expansion got on the server and within 12 hours made a giant uh, chicken near Vaughn. And uh, he calls it the House of Cock. So, yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> we'll be mature. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. I so, love it. Uh, we're doing good. Uh, I think overall we're, we're, <laughs> we're, we're really working well on that. Are you going to be doing it sort of long term? Are, is, is, are there plans that you have in place for it? Whole, or are you whole, just letting it yeah, take its own there, course? I mean, I, I kind of, I mean, I, Adzi is the mastermind behind all of it. He's the reason why all of it goes. And I genuinely, Adzi is one of the most creative and I love Adzi. He genuinely Adzi's loves what he's done. He's such a cool um, guy. Adzi is an amazing person. Um, he's making sure that the server is as good a place as it can be. He's, you know, he's doing everything he can. Uh, as far as I know, he has plans for certain things. Me and him have talked probably about a couple ideas that we have. Had like like uh like server wide event Ooh. but Ooh. overall overall i think right now everybody's just trying to like set, get the bases set up and then from there kind of you know see where we go yeah but uh yeah no the current idea is uh there there is stuff for long term he does want to make this a server that people can come back to for a while and uh yeah yeah, I really hope it works out. Like, I hope it becomes a long-standing stable of um, all of your streams, and the, the 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 roster of people you have is absolute fucking chaos. <laughs> I wish you luck. Oh yeah, with absolutely. That. <laughs> so before before we end, I always want to throw it over to chat for question time. Ha um, have you got? Can you see chat at the moment? Have you got access to it? If not, uh, I can yes, ask you. I have your yeah. chat. I have your chat open. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Um, I think the best way to do uh, this, guys, is um, I'm going to throw it over to you to ask any questions you have for new doi um and yeah new doi if you can see chat you feel free to just answer them as you like like you can pick and choose uh, so, yeah, yeah. Give me one second i'm gonna pop that, up the chat so I that's okay yeah my third monitor. <laughs> also guys thank you so much uh, for your patience right. obviously i like to spend my time with my guests so i don't really look at chat very what's often what's my favorite wear word uh fuck <laughs> um why are you a nerd uh fuck you Tokemi. <laughs> see example <laughs> It's great. <laughs> Dory will know something about angry German pirate voice. Let him. Oh God, no, Radic. Radic, when he does a pirate voice, just doesn't sound like a pirate. He sounds like an angry German, and so I just, yeah, I just that's what I just refer to him as now. Angry German. So he tried to do a pirate voice, and he just sounded like someone who is very angry in Berlin. And he was wonderful. I feel like I want to hear. I know Radic as well, so I really want to hear. Vanek, drop me like a message or something. <laughs> when are we gonna see your next stand up? Oh god, it's gonna be for a. That's not gonna be for a while. I need to make a whole new set. What like, happened to I, the old one? I have a thirty minutes set. Uh, well, I I did it already. Like I did. Oh, my, you mean on, set? I, I thought you meant like on... physical set, like you know, this no, studio no, 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 is a no, set. No. I, did, <laughs> like, I, did a, I did a stand up routine. I need to make a new one because, you know, you never want to use the same thing multiple times. Mm. Um, yeah, yeah. You, uh, a, a comedy only has a certain lifespan. Yeah. What 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 made you start streaming in the first place? Uh, the thing that makes me love streaming, the thing that make, kind of made me do it, is um, my dad was a very kind of stoic man. He didn't really like to do much of anything. Mm. Um, he uh, um, there was two exceptions. Only two times where he would really like, you know, show expression which was uh number one was football and uh second one was stand-up comedy my dad was a fan of the classics like uh you know three stooges abbott and costello lauren hardy uh looney tunes stuff like that and mm. so uh the old my school. dad also really loved stand-up comedy and i loved making him laugh uh, and uh i started listening to a lot of stand-up comedy and i realized that i really wanted to make people laugh and then when i did dreaming uh, and i realized i could make people laugh online um i got addicted and it is now my drug um, I, I, I love entertaining people and it, it's genuinely just something that I love to do and I want to grow bigger, not to get money or not fame. It's just so I can get more people and I can make more people laugh, more people laugh. It's a bigger hit and it feels good. Yeah. Your heart's um, in the right place, which is the most important thing. And I think a lot of your success has come from, you know, your, 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 the, the way you've approached it. And, um, I, I hope that continues to do you well in the future as well. The things I would do for content is... <laughs> Vadik, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, uh, you're not from uh, Germany. Well, it's time to move. Vadik <laughs> says he's not from Germany. I think he's lying. I don't need to be bullied. That bullying is 
fleeing is illegal. That's banned. You shouldn't. You shouldn't do that. <laughs> um. Uh, yeah, no, so I don't know if there's any other questions for me. Um. Mm-hmm. Uh, bullying is fun, though. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're, they're just descending into wanting to bully you, which... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they bullying g- is... Bullying, yeah. They just, they just <laughs> descend into... We like okay. to punch you. Dory's community. Uh, can you, you can you person... store up today, like, the, all the pent-up frustration from Hi, today? No. And then next stream, that Dory's live, just let it all out, okay? Just just let him have it. It'll be... Um, thanks. <laughs> two questions. I'm going to address Ty's one. Do you think the curse okay. will be broken? So I have, a, I have something in my... In my community called the curse of the snake so back in 2017 when i first made my patreon i made a joke uh at five thousand dollar a month goal uh five thousand dollars a month i will go to wherever you are in the world and i'll make you think and it was a joke goal uh and then i said also if somebody donates five grand in one shot i'll do it as a joke and people started taking it seriously and i went well i'm gonna i said it so i'll do it but i don't but no one's ever gonna do that uh and then i think half a dozen people have attempted it either to to save up money or actually attempted to drop it uh, and they're all immediately met with devastating financial ruin and it's, <laughs> the, wor- and it's worse the, the closer you get the closer you get to doing it the close the, the worse the financial so some guy tried to do it uh the first one I ever tried to do it was a man by the name of dr mizumi tried to do it wound up going negative in his account by 30 grand so he couldn't do it holy shit. because of paypal because of paypal <laughs> Someone else <gasps> said they were going to do That's it painful. and immediately got hit with a $500 bill. Oh and I was God. like, this is the curse of the stake. So no one will ever drop $5,000 on me. <laughs> Not because they shouldn't do it, but because the universe is protecting me. <laughs> hey, hey, chat, can I buy $5,000? I've got something I just, I, I got to do a thing. <laughs> You'll never do it. You'll never do it. Although, I mean, here's the thing, though. I'm universally known uh, through my friends as being, like, a really good cook. So, uh, I, my steaks are amazing. So, uh, yeah, no, it's, it's me making as really good steaks for people. I, I mean, I, I will go to wherever you are in the world. I, the money, I will make you a full mm-hmm. steak dinner. I, I would fucking... Do, I, would, I would do this because you could have a look around London at oh. the same time. Um, yeah, yeah, I just got to win the lottery first. <laughs> Uh, ghost and gamer. If you didn't stream, what would your dream job be? Uh, stand-up comedian, or I'd love to be, you know, stand-up comedian, or like, uh, or like actor. I'd love to do. I just want to be able to entertain as many people as I can. And if I couldn't do it streaming, uh, I would, I would love to be able to do it like on a big screen or like on a stage. Like, I'd love to be able to do that stuff. Like, that's the dream, honestly. Uh, so this question from from an Italian: Do you break spaghetti to cook them? Hell no. Uh. Don't you dare break the spaghetti. You, you, dinner. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, yeah. You, uh, no. Okay, I think that's, I think you're pretty much there. Yeah. I'll never break spaghetti. Yeah, okay. We, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, I, I, I probably also, shouldn't say I this. Think... Yeah, you go, you go. Oh no, what have you done? No, 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 I, no, I, no, I need to hear this, but. I, I, I break. I break the spaghetti. I, I why? I, just get a longer. It, it, wait, you don't no, need to break wait, it. it just, no, because it it's no, because it's it no, because it it, it it just triggers me that it doesn't fit, and I'm just like, no, fit, smash. <laughs> It'll fit. It gives it a time. It no, a but time. I can't wait because my brain says no, this isn't right, center. and I just no, I hate pineapple and pizza. That that no, it belongs to the You need to wait because you need the long noodles to absorb to to hold more of the sauce. No, I I will continue to bake my spaghetti. <laughs> I've made enemies today. <laughs> this is great. Wait, who's asking me if what underwear I'm wearing IRL? Wait, hold up. What? Uh... <laughs> Panties, huh, obviously. I've never been asked that. That's a question I've never been asked. <laughs> Holy crap. Um, uh, would you believe me if I said uh, I'm literally just wearing, like, my pajamas and that's it no you know watching your streams i would i would believe this <laughs> I would. just wearing pajamas i'm just wearing pajamas <laughs> like there's no there's no need for that like oh to Kemi's upset to scream but other than that <laughs> Oh god. Uh, okay, I think we're there because I I've got a good, my third guest yeah. had technical difficulties. Their computer like uh, and uh, heroed on them. So I'm now going to interview my third guest. But usually this would be where we'd end 
end the show. But yeah, um, yeah before you go though, New Doi, um, first and foremost, thank you so much for taking oh. the time to come and be on the show. I, it's been a pleasure to meet you and talk more about you know the SMP and uh, your past and things like that. Um, before you go, if, if you want to give shout outs to anyone, if there's anything you want to mention that's coming up in the future, obviously we know you're going to be doing a number of marathon stream potentially. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm going to throw it over to you and the floor is yours. Mm-mm. Sure. So I'm going to shout out not only my, my own Twitter and Twitch and YouTube and TikTok, by the way, also TikTok. Uh, but if you do love genuinely, if you want to see genuinely, uh, coming up net, coming up soon is in the middle of the month, I'll be doing Femboy Camp along with Nerdy Nanny. I'm an unwilling participant, but a participant nonetheless. <laughs> Um, I'm also going to shout out Adzi because he's a genuinely awesome dude and I think he should also get some love because he's made Think SMP and it's amazing and I love it uh, um, and uh, I want to shout out more importantly I want to shout out my own community so if you're in my chat if you're in this chat and you're a member of my community just you know show up some love because uh, you guys are genuinely amazing and I wouldn't be doing this if it wasn't for you so I'm using this shout out to just tell you guys how much you guys mean to me because uh, you're amazing oh that's so wholesome also i'll be i'll be seeing you at fanboy camp i'm one of the counselors yeah so oh, i'm gonna be no. i'm gonna see you there yeah no don't take worry take it easy on me don't please worry. i'll take very good care of you okay yeah, mm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh wait can i show you one of the things great. that actually got announced last night mm -hmm. yeah uh, yeah totally voice acting for the first time i got my first voice acting job i'm doing oh, a, a, a buddy in the community is making a horror game and i'm being voice and i'm voicing the main villain Vane. so that's really cool oh, that's uh, amazing congratulations a horror game. that's awesome yeah, yeah. Do, can we are we allowed to know more about the game uh like when it's coming out or things uh, like that it's gonna uh, be a while, obviously. We don't know anything about coming out or anything detailed like that. It just got announced, so uh, yeah. I, but I have done the voice lines, and I'm really excited about it. Um, yeah, there'll be more details. Shit. Yeah, yeah, keep us posted. I yeah, I, I can imagine all of your community uh, would love to see it. Will. You've got to play the game, obviously, when it's finished as well. <laughs> oh, obviously, when it's out, I have to yeah. run from myself dreaming. Um, <laughs> there's, there's no worse enemy than yourself. And <laughs> oh, never. <laughs> <laughs> okay i'm gonna have to love you and leave you nandoi thank you yes. so much for coming on the show it's been an absolute pleasure i really appreciate you, you being here well. um so i much. look forward to seeing more of you in the future um i have been lurking your streams recently i will be lurking more in the future as well to see what you're up to oh um <laughs> oh oh um <laughs> um um and yeah it's it's been really nice to meet you and uh, i look forward to seeing you at fanboy camp i'm gonna take real good care of you yes yeah mm. oh god am i yeah. dead oh <laughs> ladies and gentlemen please give it up for my sixth guest it's new toy new toy thank you so much for coming have an Yay. amazing night bean thank, thank you, you so much. much it's been lovely bye. see you bye. later bean <laughs> yeah you're fine <laughs> Oh, that was so nice. Yeah, no, Dory is just as energetic and crazy as I imagine. He's <laughs> such a nice bean. And um, it's a big round of applause for you, Dory, for coming on. So, this would usually be where we'd end the show. But my third guest had some technical difficulties. And I believe that they should be ready now. So, we're going to actually now interview my third guest. And then we will end the show so we have one more so we're going a little bit over time i say that um we're already like that half an hour over to, uh, don't worry about it it's, fine. <laughs> it's not as bad as sometimes we've had these finished past midnight before so uh, yeah i'm just gonna invite my final guest <laughs> and hopefully their pc is a-okay -okay and up and running um but that would be nice you can't wait for fanboy camp kitty thank you still so much for being here you've been here all night thank you so much um yeah i think i think fanboy camp's gonna be great i haven't like spoken to nerdy nanny about the details yet but um yeah it's gonna be as chaotic as it was last year it's good i'm really looking forward to it it's gonna be great so um let me just invite my final bean yogi incoming we um, so Yogi's going to go and grab my final guest. Um, but yeah, guys, thank you so much for the hosts and the follows and the raids and things while I was with my um, guest. I really, really appreciate that. Thank you so much for the for the love. Um, obviously, uh, it's really hard for me to like uh, interrupt a guest to say, oh, thank you so much for the sub or thank you for the raid. 
do know that I appreciate all the support that you give me. Um, and although I can't express it at the time, I am aware of it and I am grateful. So thank you so, so much. But it's really important to me with this chat show that, you know, it's focused on you. It's about you as content creators. It's it's not about me and it's not about my stream. It's, it's about getting to know you guys and giving you the attention that you wrongly should have, you know? So um, never ever feel like I'm being rude or, 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 or ignoring you but my focus will always be with my guest. And I think that's how it should be for, for my show anyway. I feel that's very important. Um, uh, obviously it doesn't work in some situations <laughs> where, where people give me like 300 pounds and make me cry, re, <laughs> like, can you not? <laughs> But yeah, thank you so much for the love and support, guys. I'm really, really happy that so many of you enjoy the show. Like, uh, I'm truly overwhelmed with the positive reception and feedback that the show has got over the since since the start of January. You know, from our pilot in December until now, going to be guest number 42 coming on. It, it's just been truly overwhelming, and I, I really appreciate the love that you've shown me and the love that you've shown your 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 streamers and the communities behind them coming out to give them their support is so nice to see and it's always really nice when you tell me embarrassing things about them. <laughs> that's always lots of fun mm -mm -mm. <sighs> i came back now that i'm not working anymore saki you can get some finishing work now you can like chill out i hope you haven't got work tomorrow like working on a sunday must suck yeah mm -mm -mm -mm. also tome thank you for the raid earlier thank you still for being here as well you've been here for so long now so um, I, like, I, I'm surprised that you guys stick around for the whole show. Like, um, I, I really do truly appreciate that. Um, I just really hope you enjoy them. And um, the, the variety of people we have on always keeps it fresh and interesting. Yeah. Ah, so my final guest is ready for me. So I'm just going to change some details on my screen. Let's just uh, change this to this. So <laughs> we should have had the one earlier, but due to some technical difficulties we switched some things around and they are ready now puck is beautiful thank you so much for the support guys um <laughs> puck makes it better <laughs> i'm not sure if i add to the problem or <laughs> but, um uh, i want to introduce my final guest tonight um they are a super cute fluffy bean um uh, all round nice person um uh fanboy and um friend of mine um personally uh ladies and gentlemen please welcome my final guest it's lugal platinum lugal woo! hello hello come on down fluff come and join me on the couch hello Hello. It's lovely to see Bye, you. Hi, Sorry. Bean. Sorry about that. You're Super fine. I'm, I'm so glad food. that it worked out. Like, um, <laughs> obviously, we're, we're kind of going outside the normal MO for it, but it's fine. We, we never do anything to plan it <laughs> on this show. So <laughs> you're fine. Thank you so, so much for coming, Lugo. Um, I know you've had to wait a while now to, to, to be on, but I appreciate oh, your no, patience. no problem. Thank you for being here. So... Um, I always start every interview with a little bit more about you. So tell us more about who you are um, and um, what you do. Yeah. Well, my name is Lugo Platinum. I'm a fanboy. I'm bi as well. Thank you very much. <laughs> if I play both ways. And for my what I do mostly, I mostly I mostly sometimes streams on my times off from work if I'm not too tired, which more can be in pain because it's slow as heck. <laughs> And yeah, I mostly do VR chat, like to do exercise streaming because I want to lose some weight. And with my birthday, I just came back some of that weight, so I gotta do the part of <laughs> <laughs> Other than that, I play some like MMO games sometimes. Mm -mm. Do you, do you, do you, um... Other console games. <laughs> you play console as well? Okay, okay, yeah. what is, best console, best console, one word, best console. Mm, best console. That would be difficult. There's, I play so much. But if if you talk about like my wall of games I have here, the most numbers I have would be PlayStation. Okay, I can forgive you. That's fine. Yeah, that's uh, as long as it's not Xbox. I'm sorry. I'm I I, 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 I probably like upset people. Player RPGs on that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do you, do second you best though. Second best though. Second best. The second behind PlayStation. Nintendo. Fuck yeah, Switch! Um, Woo! Well, now, I'm not um, a huge see. fan of Nintendo, actually. I think Nintendo is a company, y you know, this is just my opinion, but you kind of suck. But um, <laughs> um, the, the games that they the, that they <laughs> brought on the Switch have been amazing. So, you know, I can't fault the games. They so are solid. Yes. Yeah, you mm. can't fault that. But previously, 
Yeah, we can kind of we can actually talk them down on that. <laughs> yeah, we can. <laughs> <With the> yeah. <laughs> and stuff. They, well, I mean, uh, yeah, there's many things that we <laughs> say about Nintendo. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> but um, oh, that's all. <laughs> I, I want to know more about you being not Nintendo. So, um, yeah, oh, thank yeah. you so much for coming on and um, for 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 yeah everything. Um, re regarding sort of um your your current character, um, I believe that um you changed this previously, didn't you? So you used a different character before this, I think. Am I right in saying that? And then you changed mm, to this model, a different character. Like the model, oh, you mean you like how I model. started off? Like yeah. how I started off? Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Hmm. Well, I did. I did have the original base one before I upgraded to this one. Oh, okay. So which you just have changed. Been nine months already. Yeah. So you changed yeah, it. Yeah. So this was. So this was the one that I was used to be known as. Also, also known as the holophobia imposter and. Kaiva clone or Kaiva's <laughs> long lost brother. <laughs> See, yeah, this this does look quite fundamentally different to your other one. Uh oh, <laughs> oh, oh, that's okay. You had a little lag there. I was thinking, uh oh, we lost you. But yeah, this looks really, really ah, nice no, actually. Um, but yeah, it does look quite different to what you have yeah, now, is which is why before. I thought you you had a complete change. Yeah. Mm -mm. But it's it's really nice actually. I love those stockings. Yeah, this like, one is just, this I, I would one wear is those just... stockings. <laughs> yeah, I would literally wear those. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, yeah. But my op the optimize of this I'm working on right now will be completely different. Well, okay, especially so... removing the hex on this. It's just gonna be like natural, like cotton wool. Oh, okay. Now, just because I want to make it more comfy for me, you know. Comfy. It does look <laughs> super comfy. Like when I did the preview video and I got that like face capture of you for the for the preview, I was like, oh, it's so cute. I was like, yes, love it. <laughs> <laughs> um. So um, I. Um, I know you've been playing, speaking of, funny enough, Nintendo, you've recently been playing the new Pokemon Arceus. Ah, back to that one again. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah, like, I, fun on I know this has just come out. What, what are sort of your first opinions mm -hmm. on it? Because I've seen a few streamers playing it, and it, it's very early days. They're very early into the game, but there's a few things that I've noticed that would just drive me mental about it, but I just wanted to know what you think. So, I got, I what are your first thoughts? I that drive me mental at the moment. Mm-hmm. All right, before I get to the mental part, the best part's about it. I'm like, oh, a Pokemon game that actually makes you do what they tell you all the time in the uh, in the classic RPGs, in the uh, class classic ones, because they're like, simply go out there, capture them, fill up the Pokedex. That's it. Mm -hmm. And then what's the meta for that? Raise that one, be OP, beat the shit out of everyone, move to the next gym, beat the shit out of them, beat the shit out of them, I become champion. Yeah. This one, on the other hand, this one actually makes you put work to the Pokédex. It makes you work for it. Like, you want to know, like, how many of these can you capture? What are the species for these? What are these moves effective against them? Blah, 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 etc. Even feeding them. Like, how do they eat? What is their favorite thing? Like, so much focus on that diversity. It's, like, completely different from all the other ones. Okay, Next that I didn't Dungeon, know. Mystery Dungeon is also another one. <laughs> I actually, I actually didn't know that about the game. Like, I've seen some bits of it, but it's usually like really like the starting areas and things. Um, so it, would you say? Oh it's... yeah, especially with the, it's like a Breath of the Wild meets Pokemon. Boom. Yeah, it looks <laughs> it looks beautiful. I have to say, and it's like nice and open world. It is. Um, do you prefer but... this format to the old games, or do you think this is like this is kind of like a standalone? Like, what do you, what do you think? I think it is going to be a standalone thing because the way it's like time period wise for it, it's like very old because compared to the other generations, uh, before and now, they're more focused on like modern or more technology. This one has none of that it's more old style that's why the pokeballs are like wood not shiny metal spheres yeah yeah i did notice the styling was quite <laughs> nice like everything looks like it's set in like a, a kind of um a historical era Edo it's period. not like modern day Edo period <laughs> there you go yeah it looks really nice like i love the aesthetics um th there is one thing that i've noticed that i don't like that um i, I wanted to know what your oh. opinion would be on this because you've played the game and it, it Ooh, it's actually been please do it's tell. genuinely been interesting <laughs> watching lugal play um the new pokemon so that's why i wanted to mention it um the um the pokedex so it doesn't work in the normal format it's not hey you have this pokemon that's done it's you have to catch yeah, x amount exactly of them the, and meet the whole, certain requirements mm. that's the whole focus on it 
you have to fill it up you have to put all this extra effort into it not like a simple oh there's the entry nah you're building it from scratch that's the point like you are building it oh and my favorite my the best part i love about it the introduction to it you know how it goes if anybody's interested no i haven't heard the intro no L uh the intro i laughed the shit out of it you know why basically god comes to you from modern technology world summons you to their his world be like find all the pokemon that is your mission you're going into my world aka pokemon god arceus isekites a child from our era I, I i was about to say i swear that they chose <laughs> like a 10 year old easy kid for the, for the job it's your job to save the world but i'm 10 you're perfect <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's not an old man telling you to do this. No, it's literally God isekai you into there, and you have no option. But you keep your smartphone, though. You keep your smartphone, though. You keep your smartphone, at least. Yeah, well, how would you recharge the fucking thing? <laughs> that's fine that... by God. Oh, oh that's fine. We'll let him off it. then. It's yeah, it's part it. of his energy. His energy powers it. <laughs> Infinite power. <laughs> Also, my, my, my feet tracking has died behind the desk, guys, so um, just ignore me if I just kind of slide around behind here. It's fine, okay? So don't worry about it. Because <laughs> we're obviously over schedule oh, at, at this point, later. so my stuff just dies at this point because it's out of battery. I could do... God, God, hey, God from, from Pokemon, can you come and, you know, charge my... Can you help my charge? <laughs> that would be useful right now. Um, so, um, regarding more about you, Bean, um, so you've uh, been yes, playing yeah, VR chat for a while, <laughs> and I've, I've known you for a little while now. Um, how long have you been streaming for? Because I actually don't know the origins of your, your streaming career, and um, how, how well, much dedication do you give to outside of your job? Well, here's the funny thing about, though, like, on my account, it says it's four years old, but... Funniest thing before that, I had a different account way before that. So well, I've been technically streaming for about six years. In fact. Wow. Is but your old account still that time, alive? That time was... Are there videos there or any history? Uh, no, because my old account, because thank God I was a retard, <clears throat> a <clears throat> mentally challenged mm -hmm. uh, child back in high school, which I'll get more into that later mm -hmm. if you want to know more about it. Like, that time when I, when they first, like, did Twitch thing, I, like, I hopped onto that, like, at earliest stage. And I just mostly, like, just played some games that had, like, DMC, DMCA music at that time. Like, Saints oh. Row 3rd, GTA, all that. Yeah. And I never understood, like, why it's part of the thing. And then Twitch <laughs> is like, nah, ban. <laughs> did you get but free strikes? Like, is that what happened? <laughs> Like, I have, like, I tried, like, editing, like, lower volume up this, up that, and I still did not understand because I was mentally challenged. So, as a result, I'm like, oh, well, I'll just make a new account and just do that. And I just mostly just chilled with, with, with my, with my one that I am today. And, yeah, I started to put more effort this time. Hmm. <laughs> it looks like, I, I really like your character. Like, um, I, I believe, um, the, 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 the well, I can't speak. Well, words. <laughs> now I feel challenged. Um, words, am I right? <laughs> and, um, I forgot what I was going to say now as well. You know, this is going really well. <laughs> um, right. Yeah, it was. Um, so you you started you you started again four years ago, and you chilled. So when you say you you chilled out, you obviously weren't streaming VR chat four years ago. What were you playing like GTA and things? Was that kind of what your your pull was oh, or like oh no 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 that time i was playing like other console games back then with my old capture card until that one broke down and i'm like oh well i'll try to do some pc ones and my old computer back then could not handle that <laughs> that's when i upgraded and then afterwards bam game i had decided like oh i've been getting recommendations for vr chat and i missed that so i went back into that afterwards and then within about four months i got my first vr and then i upgraded to this one now <laughs> been one year already since i upgraded uh it's been i i think i i upgraded my pc like two, two and a half years ago oh now. no my pc my 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 mm. child is old as hell it's like six years old this up, Whole, my upgrade one what i'm 
<laughs> you need a new PC. <laughs> I'm running, I'm 970. You're running, I'm running oh my god. Okay, that's, I'm myself. Th this is pain. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm hearing physical pain in my ears right now. When I first started playing this game, I played on a 770 and the game barely ran. It was atrocious. I didn't stream back then, but like a 970 isn't much above that. <laughs> like, how do you make it work? I'm still here. How do I? I I'm <laughs> genuinely confused as to how you managed to power this. <laughs> it's like, what? Well, I went through the I went through the settings. I went to see if it's a if it can run it. It says it could. Mm. I'm like, okay, sure. <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> I'm still alive to this day. I can't. So but I feel like it might be tanking soon. <laughs> like um, to be fair, like your 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 stream quality is pretty damn impressive considering the hardware that you're working with. Are you looking to upgrade okay. your setup in the future? <laughs> like I really oh, hope hell you are. Yeah. I want to upgrade <laughs> so I can actually run like sixty everything. <laughs> With no issues. Mm. Like, I, I currently, I stream in 30 frames a second in 720p. Um, and that's kind of done me quite well for the last two years. But, um, I, I, yeah, I, I really need to do the 1080 thing. <laughs> like, do you stream in 720 oh, yeah, then definitely. as well? You must, you must do. Well, I do, I do 720, uh, 60. And at, the, at sometimes it somehow reaches the 1080. I'm like, okay, Wait, 1080, but... 60 FPS. Yeah. I... <sighs> I feel like someone's like put something magical. I have, I have all the features for like just a basic, just a basic one. I'm not going 4K. No, that would kill me. Oh no, no, I wouldn't be able to do 4K either. That would kill me. Mm -hmm. My computer I... would just constantly be like, nope, change settings. Would I'm you? I'm not doing this. Nope. Would you ever go back to console now that you're like focused in um, PC? Is that like uh, apart from obviously you play oh, you no, play no, Switch, no. but that... you wouldn't go back to like PlayStation or anything. Oh no, I have it. I have everything set up. It's just before, like I said, I had an old capture card. You know what was my capture card? A Roxio. I've never heard of it. Red... <laughs> Roxio does not use HDMI. It does use HDMI, but it was a shitty quality one for three years during my time back back then. And it finally started to break down. And I'm like, okay, I guess I have to give up on that and just focus on PC. And then. Also, my friend be like, hey, I could get you an Elgato capture card for like 50 bucks right now if you want. I'm like, here's the 50 bucks. Give it to me now. <laughs> Got it here. And I can switch. Now, I stream now I'm streaming with my Switch again and my other consoles very soon. Because I have a shit ton of games that I want to play. <laughs> and maybe make some videos out of it. <laughs> yeah, that was something I wanted to mention. I, I, I'm not sure if you like have a YouTube account at the moment, but are you looking to add like videos to youtube in the future or would your focus just be on streaming oh that's actually a funny thing about that because my, i'm actually working on my first like vr chat youtube video come that's about to be coming very soon like boy in a few days yeah. maybe we're, we're, we're finding we're getting reveals <laughs> that's awesome um but do you uh, have a release date for your first video <laughs> that we can look out for um unfortunately not yet i'm still missing one vital key to it <laughs> Uh, I'm wondering what the key is. Uh, it's called my I'm... editing skills is shit. Oh yeah, no, trust me, I know how you feel. Yeah, that's um. Oh no no. It I'm takes planning a to be like a scuff a scuff thing. I'm planning to be scuff anyway, so. Oh I'm yeah, okay scuff is that. scuff is culture. I mean, it's, it, you, you know, if it, everything's too perfect, it just doesn't look right. So like, you gotta add the little bit of scuff. I'm not looking for perfection. I'm just like <laughs> good enough. Upload. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it'll be fine, but please do post on Twitter when you when you release the video because I I was the one. Oh watch. yeah, sure, no problem. And w w is it is it just VR content in the YouTube video, or is it like your adventures in Pokemon? What 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 are we gonna see? Mm, you might see multiple, but mostly there's uh, some LP ones that you that you I still have saved by. It's like it's like in my old like vault record. I'm planning to pull them out and then after re-upload them from like late 20, like 2016. <laughs> <laughs> um, it is old and it's still and it's still not corrupted, which is weird. There, there, there was something <laughs> like um, it, this is quite a personal question, and obviously, like I always say to my guests, if the, if a question makes you feel uncomfortable, we can just move on. Um, you, you we mentioned that as I introduced you, I, um, I mentioned that you were a fanboy. Um, would you, would you like? identify yourself as a fanboy or would you say that you're something else and 
if you do identify as a fanboy, um, what, what does that sort of mean to you? Because there's obviously there's no specific definition of what a fanboy is or isn't. It's up to us to, mm. you know, define who we are. But yeah, I, it's, I love having like fanboys on the show because obviously I'm one myself and I've had a few. And we all have such a unique and diverse, you know, um, uh, feeling on what makes us who we are. Um, so, yeah, I just wanted your thoughts and, like, how you feel. Yeah. Hmm. Well, as for myself, I do still define myself as a guy, as some people may say so. The fanboy gives it more of a thing for me because... Back then, I was like, I'm mostly, I was like, back then, like, being raised and stuff like that. I was mostly opened up, like, being a child and everything. But then one day, a big shocker happened to me, like, like reality check, slap in my face, beat type of thing. Mm -hmm. That one time, I acted like a spoiled child because my family raised me, like, to, like, so much, like, like so much love and things, like, they never taught me what full responsibility, reality, and shit like that. So, as a result of that, when my godmother, who I so love to this day still, like, passed away, because I was I was acting as a spoiled child then. Mm -hmm. So I did something that I regretted. And I never get to apologize to her about that since she passed away. So as a result of that, made me grow, grow up instantly. Not like instantly, like, it's like power or bestow boom. Mm. Not you, just it, like it made you a reality reflect. check. So yeah, yeah, made, reality check. Mm. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And then afterwards, I became just like, mostly like keeping things inside not showing much just like haha type of thing and not like doing much and then after that from that point um i just get on with my life especially with high school <laughs> which we'll talk about that in a bit because mm -hmm. i wrote because there's some questions i said you can ask me about and i wouldn't buy and as a result of that i did not uh my voice and other things how i like interpret myself like, did not feel right. It did not feel, like, natural when I, like, bottled my feelings and stuff like that. Until one day, a person that I got, I found out in the early days of VR chat, and to this day, like, encouraged, and some encouragement of words, then all of a sudden, hit me, it hit me good. I started to open up again. And, yeah, as a result of that, I am... Let's see what I am right now. <laughs> but if I need to define myself still, which I need to get back to that subject because I've started rattling on, lateral thinker and all. Fanboy, like, feminine, in a way, just like to talk softly or stuff like that. And, but still a guy who still wants to, like, have fun. <laughs> Alcoholic drinker, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen you at a few parties. I do yeah. drink, yes. <laughs> yes, of course, of course. <laughs> to the point where I'm like might might not act feminine as it would be, because I'm still because I'm still defined as a guy, hmm. but I'm still bi. I'm also bi still, so I go both ways. So I treat everybody normally, unless some little shit is going to be a little shit, and they don't deserve that. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, <laughs> but I'm like that, you know. Mm -mm -mm. So yeah, it's mostly like just being more opened up, more honest. And yeah, if it's something that you think that w people would judge you, I would not give a shit. I would just breeze on through. And if someone gets on my nerves, then I'll give a shit. And they will be sorry. <laughs> uh, I, but okay, well, I'm never to upset you. <laughs> I feel like it just wouldn't end well for me if I'm honest, I think. <laughs> um, In more ways than one. <laughs> oh, oh, I mean, oh, oh, if I can, oh, if I can misbehave in that way. Um, yeah, just um, Void vo Club, 10 minutes? Nah, just the B Club. Straight to the hotel. Oh yeah, the B Club. <laughs> to be fair, the B Club's actually better, not gonna lie. It's, it's actually, the B Club is the one, to be fair. Um, hold on, I'm just gonna, really quick. <laughs> but I just want to check something uh, yeah. real fast. Um, I'm just checking if I, if I got a... Um, did, yeah, you did DM me. I'm sorry. I need to check my DMs for the extra things that you sent me. Thank you so much for sending those. So, um, okay. Last minute, Lugal sent me some like additional things and information that I'd requested, which is a kind of. Well, like I... But I haven't got them on my quick list. So I've got to quickly just open them on my computer. Let me just. Oh, it's fine. I'm just ice skating over here and looking at this lovely picture by Flashy Cloud. 
Wow, look at the detail. <laughs> Mm -mm -mm. Oh, no well, way, Soybean, you the... you had an intro video as well. <laughs> I'm Soybean. Oh, it was a Twitch video. We can only play YouTube ones. <laughs> it's okay. Um, mm -mm -mm. Yeah, well, I think I think most of it. Yeah, it's, it's uh, a lot of it is about your high school days. video platform. Yeah, it's so video platform, so I kind of had to guess. That's okay. <laughs> yeah, um, I feel like I need to. I, I do have it, but it's in brackets in the big old list of text. I feel like I should put it in bold or put it separate in another paragraph. So, because th uh, quite a few people miss it, because um, yeah, um, our, our player can't play Twitch videos. It's all you scuffy. Can play, you can play it afterwards. So. It, it, you can play it afterwards. <laughs> we can try. It doesn't have to be right now. <laughs> <laughs> we can probably. Like, we, 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 mm -mm -mm. Okay. Um, so uh, one of the things you mentioned on Discord and that you've mentioned already during our conversation was um, high school. Now, um, I, I'm not sure on the context exactly, but do you want to talk us through sort of um, how high school was or if you're still there doing education is for you? And um, yeah, yeah, tell us more. Mm -hmm. uh, it's mostly like some like, s like a bit of a sad somewhat story that I'm, I'm okay to open up, up with. Okay. And then one that like legit like, like people like, were afraid of me or something like that but here's the thing as back in high school like as i said before i was a mentally challenged ch uh, child and then going into high school it was mostly i'm a slow slow thinker slow responder but my math skills are like <laughs> like grade a shit like other than that um back in high school this is like one of the things that happened to me so my older brother like he's like he was like the big boys during that time. I went to the mm -hmm. same school as him. So, so one day, some some guy, mm, I will not mention his name because yeah, that's he, fine. He <laughs> yeah, no. mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's just call him Bob for now. So Bob decided to like, um, get get a group of his friends to like steal stuff for me, legit steal for me because I was like back then. It's like iPod thing, iPod head earphones, blah blah blah, etc. Mm. So they try to decide a way to like steal from me. So they're like, "Oh hey, do you want to like, uh, like wrestle with this guy? We can offer money for that because I did not know what that meant back then, or that <laughs> mentally challenges shit." So they're like, "Okay," because they think I might be a soft guy. So when they try to like, like they say, "Oh, you should put your stuff in that corner and everything." And there's the one guy who's like fit and he says he wanted to like have at me for some reason. Maybe a thing against my brother. Funny thing though, has anybody read the um in English class? Have you guys ever read or read or heard the book Mice of Men before? No, I think oh that brings back horrible flashbacks. <laughs> oh, I hated that book so much. Yeah, I know the one. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Yep, so I am practically the Pete in that, so I am legit the one like, like I said, I was mentally challenged, so I'm like, child brain, but body of a strong man. Hmm. And as a result, I literally picked up the guy who was more fit than me because I was a chubby kid back then. I legit managed to pick him up, and they saw that, and legit, I was like, I was watching wrestling back then. I want to try breaking his fucking spine. So I had him picked up, and I legit <laughs> right <here. laughs> Please, please tell me it you didn't. Was, it was, you didn't hurt this gentleman too badly. <laughs> Wait, what the? Fuck? Um, to the point where they, when they saw that, they legit tried to drop the stuff they tried to take from me. So as a result, um, <laughs> as a result of that, funny thing is, my brother came in afterwards because he heard from his friends that they tried to do stuff to me. So I did not end up injured at all, but thanks a lot to, thank God to that description, like. It was a it was a strange moment there. Then, as a result, my stuff was returned. They tried to ditch the fact that they're like, "Oh, I didn't steal anything. It was like right there and stuff." No. <laughs> so, as a result, um, they got suspended to the point where um, the guy who I nearly mentally broke it because he thought I was easy pick had to transfer schools. <laughs> Holy shit! It's usually it's the other way around. Like nine times out of ten, it's the 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 the, the victim who's the one who transfers. And since I was in special point. ed, mm. I did not get punished at all. <laughs> wow! I, I I remember I I stood up to bullies once in my school. I was I was an incredibly bullied child, and I had a very lonely childhood. 
Um, and, and because I... of and because of mm. that, sorry, sorry. sorry. No, you you could be. <laughs> and you because go. of that, I managed to like, like some people like were like surprised at me at first, and then some like thought they don't want to interact with me, and then after. Uh, for some reason, I end up in the group, and then after that, I made more friends from that group since then. <laughs> um, I'm glad it worked so out. So that experience well, managed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, managed in a way, and I get because the other thing is like Bob was like an early like memer guy, and I did not like that. <laughs> I I like, like when I was in he... school that we didn't have memes. Like I oh, fucking I like sound that old. <laughs> Like, memes didn't exist because there wasn't really the internet back then. Like, people didn't have the internet in the house. Um, so, well, we, we never had, like, memeing? meme kids. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but memeing kid, it's more like just listening to this one music over over again and made it, like, uh, his own thing and, like, be so bad. Uh, what was it that artist's name went? The one who's, like, the one that's, like, Superman this, uh, Superman this, oh. Uh, yeah, I oh um Soldier Boy, yeah. Soldier Boy, thank you, Soldier Boy. He did that nonstop. It was so annoying. <laughs> and I got him, and I got him suspended and transferred. I was like, thank goodness. <laughs> I, it, it's I did, not often that it goes I that way. I remember I stood up to my bullies once, <laughs> no. and I got suspended <sighs> for it. I like, but like it was crazy. Like oh, oh, you, you were always, know, but they you were always treated as the me, so victim. It was it worth was, it. it. Like although it you was, were the victim, was, you were treated as the bad guy. It was it was crazy. I hated school <laughs> for that reason. Um, and th yeah. there was something else you wanted to mention as well, which I hope is not as quite quite sad as <laughs> obviously. Oh no, being no, 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 no! This yeah. is the origin of my name, actually. This is yeah, I was going to say it's just... probably to do with your name. So <laughs> the new friends that I made up after that scenario, like we were doing a project together. Like, we were in the library doing our studies together and stuff like that. And so, we, like, decided to uh, look up some materials and stuff on the computers. And then, all of a sudden, my friend, um, we'll, we'll just call him Mitch. Mitch, like, all of a sudden, he comes up and he's, like, calling my name. But then he was looking at the monitor and then he said, Oi, Lugal. I'm like, excuse me? <laughs> and he's like, oh, shit. Sorry, Why did he say Lugal? Say name, but I was like... <laughs> Because he was literally googling, he was oh. googling stuff. <laughs> he was using the Google search, and all of a sudden he mixed my name with that, and I'm like, oh, okay. And then all of a sudden, like, it stuck with him for a while, calling me that. And then after that, I'm like, mm, I think that's my username. And then after that, <laughs> like, you're ripping off like some of Google's like options things, like how like Google becomes like this extended service, be like this, that, blah, blah, blah. And then the platinum of my name, though, it's because I spend mostly like playing RPGs, single player action games. And the one company and gaming gaming one I love is Platinum Inc. And I'm like, I want to take that. I want to put that in my name. So that's how I became Lugal Platinum from then on. And like, would you ever change your name in the future? Or do you feel like this is this is me? I, w I wouldn't change it for what for the world. How do you feel? Because I recently went through a change myself, obviously. Um, uh, well, one day, happy one with day it? there will be a change probably, but everybody always sticks with Lugal, Lugi, other nicknames for me. So I'm still sticking with that one because everyone always makes gives me good names for it. Mm. <laughs> Especially my favorite one because I'm like, oh shit, you're right. Just replace my L with an M and I'm a Moogle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you are. <laughs> From Final Fantasy. So I like, that's, that's like my even cute. more reason I love the name. <laughs> <laughs> So, I'm still gonna keep with it until some some change happens, but I don't think it won't happen, like, in that future. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> yeah, there's no rush to do anything, and I mean, but sort of regarding your content, are you are you full-time streaming at the moment, or, and, and looking to do this full-time, or, that, like, what, what, what do you want to do with the stream? Well, full-time streaming is something that I did not, like, plan on or anything like that. Or still not planning to do so. I'm still doing it like out of my free time from work. Like I still have IRL work until mm. something happens. So uh, as uh, a result, like if if I have to, if I, I had a choice, I guess I would do it. But at the same time, still search for a, an actual job. Mm. But I try to entertain people. I mostly mostly like to give more to people than just for my own self satisfation. You know? Yeah, you you just gen you just enjoy streaming and making people 
smile and think, yeah. Mm. Like, you, it's so important as a streamer that your heart is in the right place and you, you do it for the right reasons. If you if you set out from day one to be a streamer that just wants fame and fortune, you have set yourself up to fail before you've even begun. So um, it, it's very important that you have the right mindset and you do it for the right reasons. And if, you know, those things come from it, then they will come naturally. You can't force them. So, um, yeah, and it's, it's, it, you, you, your heart's in the right place, which is an important thing. <laughs> yeah, and I always like criticize like the whole thing like this will not happen and then this like that and all of a sudden in September last year, September, all of a sudden you're affiliated. Welcome. I'm like Yeah, congrats fuck. on affiliate for last year by the way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was like I was like, fuck, how did this happen? <laughs> I did not want this. <laughs> it's it's very well, surreal. people have better opinion than myself to myself than others. Like hmm. they have better opinion on me than my own self. So I'm like, okay, fine. It, <laughs> Apparently, you guys have better eyes and ears than me. <laughs> <laughs> it, I've always found with with like viewers and the communities that revolve around you is that it's always a very surreal feeling to know that people are truly interested in what you do and the the things you create, and um, they just enjoy spending time with you. And um, it, like, it's it's so nice that you know even new streamers can have that like one or two people that are always there for them do you have like um people in your community or your stream that are always there to support you like you know they, these are the people who are there before you go live uh they're your mods you know do you have anyone who's specifically special to you um and has been with you during your growth oh yeah definitely like they only met me during my pokemon streams but they've always been around since then and always like popping in out of their free time which is very nice of them <laughs> i'm calling you out melody i'm calling you out <laughs> <laughs> i wonder if she's in chat melody if you're there give us a wave Whee! they might be they might be mm -mm -mm. um and yeah. sort of regarding other than, other than that like the... you go <laughs> oh, there's like a few others but they always like come by from then on especially when they're like more focused on the pokemon bits but at the same time, they see me in VR chat and they find it interesting. But they say that whenever I play something else, because they don't really like VR chat sometimes <laughs> when I stream it. Yeah, I mean that that that's something that you'll always There's find. Some of their preferences. People <laughs> like my my main audience is VR chat. Obviously, hi, we're in VR chat right now, for example. Um, but you know, if I play other games, uh, I will lose quite a significant number of viewers. Um, and obviously, I know this because when we raid, the numbers are lower. But you know, you should never stop, <laughs> let that stop you from doing what you enjoy. You should never force yourself to play or do something that you're not going to enjoy doing in the moment because people will know. They, it, it, it's so prevalent. And um, do, do you ever find that you're doing things you don't want to or do you always just stick to your guns and do what makes you happy? How do you feel when you stream? When I stream, I mostly just do what I feel like at the moment. It's not like I force myself to be all... Happy birthday, and then thank you for the love and everything like that. This is just like masking myself. I'm like, nah, I'm not like that. I literally just naturally just say that. Mm. Like, I just, I don't, I don't think that shit. Or trying to mask it, that is. <laughs> and just regarding yourself as a streamer, do you, um, are you the, exactly the same as you are in game as you are in real life, or are there any changes or things that you do differently between the two? How? Oh. Mm. Oh, thanks a lot to that. It reminded me of a story back then in high school when I had my first job. So, mm -hmm. <laughs> we're going back to high school for this one. Yeah, no, that's I was, okay. Uh, like, I, was work, <laughs> I was doing part-time job. So, funny thing about that. Like, every single time I put, I worked in the, I worked in the fast food restaurant. So, I was like, put in drive through like, taking orders and stuff. Every single time a person comes by, and they always come by repeatedly. And I'm the one who always answers them. They always called me girl and other things like thank you ma'am blah 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 i'm like <laughs> huh so as a result of that i'm like oh that is a bit weird and then and afterwards like one time with his fam a family and a kid in the back well young teenager that is literally tried to hit on me in the drive through speaker was hitting on me <laughs> <laughs> and then I played it nicely and then when they came up to the window I'm like so the total come to this and they heard my voice and then the guy the guy and the, the kid in the bag was like wait that was you I was like yep that was me and they're like 
oh, and then just sat down, just like <laughs> sitting down, like having existential crisis. <laughs> I, I, I would have been, I've been flustered even more. But like, oh, oh, he's so cute. <laughs> Nah, this one, this one was like he was like a <laughs> he was like a gangster straight guy. So the moment oh, he realized that, he's like, I'm questioning my life. Yeah. I'm questioning my life. I'm questioning my life. <laughs> His friends probably would have ripped him sideways for years to come. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, I I think we're gonna fight over to to chat and see if they have any any questions that they want to ask you. Um. So um oh, yeah, yeah. Sure, sure fire away. Yeah, chat if you have any questions for Lugal that you wanted to ask them. Um yeah, now is a great time to to let them know what you think. Have you got chat up yourself as well, Bean, or shall I rally off the questions for you? What do you think? Cuz you can choose uh, if you, if can, you rally can them see. up unless okay. I unless I can grab my phone quickly because I have my phone's going off in the background. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. You, yeah, you could obviously go. Yeah, you can grab your phone real quick if you want to, Bean. That's fine. All right, then give me one yeah. second. Mm -hmm. Let me I'm, go just, across my room. I'm here for the cute femboys. I don't care what you play. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Saki. Appreciate it. Mm -hmm. I'm glad yep, that we make you the smile. Feedback. All right. <laughs> I'm glad that we make you smile. And thank you for the follow, um, Chiu. I appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Um, what What are your thoughts on cheese? Obviously, that would be from fucking Red Wing, of course. <laughs> Red Wing. Buck. Buck, buck. Personally, my, my buck. opinion on cheese is it's like amazing, and I just wish it wasn't so Google's bad for you. <laughs> what, what do you think about cheese, Lugal? Mm -hmm. Wait, what do I. Thoughts on cheese? Yeah, thoughts on cheese. I'm a, I've been like trying different cheeses lately, and so far, like, blue gorgonzola cheese is like my favorite so far. <laughs> okay, that, that sounds but like. On the other hand, it's like. Mm -mm. You can't, like, feta on the other hand, it's like a bit. Like even though it's supposed to be like wet, it tastes still tastes a little dry. So I'm like not really interested in the feta, but the gorgonzola blue cheese. Ah, such a nice bold taste. Hmm. Then some other things along that. But the next thing I'm trying, like I'm taking right now, is some goat cheese. Very good oh, I've never had goat cheese actually. I've never tried this. Yeah, I've never really oh, seen it in a shop. Like, I go to the shops and I don't really generally see goat cheese available. I think it must be. I've just never really kind of focused on finding it. But, hmm. But, oh, well, yeah, I, you should definitely. You should is definitely it, is it quite <laughs> like? Is it is it quite salty or is it sweet? What what do you bitter? What do you think? It has more of a like a a strong like strong taste to it because it's like goats and everything so it's mostly like somewhat uh the one the one brand i'm taking is like just a tiny bit like on the salt side but when melted and then after it's put on stuff oh my goodness it's so good mm -mm -mm. i i love i love it mostly, it mostly like makes it, so. it makes it, hmm. it mostly like it tastes so good when it's melted and then you just like you know like fondue pots and everything like fondue oh, like all that now you're making me hungry with goat oh. cheese it's like the best oh. goat cheese is like the best for mm. that now I just want nummies. <laughs> it brings out the flavor. I just don't know why. <laughs> now I want num nums. Um, let's have blue a blue moldy cheese. Oh, I'm I'm not a fan of blue moldy cheese. Like I I've tried it before. It's not for me. Um, you're both big cuties. Thanks, Chino. You're big cutie as well. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Um, Brinza is great. Mm, I was actually I was actually getting recommended to Chino try that next, So yeah. I'll take a look at that. Mm -mm. <laughs> I, I have you ever tried Maybe stinking bishop stinking bishop it smells the stinking batman scene here stinking like, bishop like, smells like fast your it, it <laughs> smells absolutely disgusting but it's so nice it's so nice so, hmm. felix to that question i definitely broke his mind definitely <laughs> 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 I, can, I definitely I can... broke his mind before that like <laughs> i did not like actually manage to physically damage him hard like i did not want to but i did mentally though so yeah <laughs> <laughs> you should have blown him a kiss after this but <laughs> unfortunately that time i was still be bottling up my stuff so i couldn't really express myself at that point so. oh no you're okay <laughs> and we just started more re it was just more recently you know <laughs> why will be now. wholesome be fucking <laughs> while was being a lady um, so yeah, guys, do you have any questions for Lil? Any more questions you want to ask them? Yeah. I don't know my opinions are cheese bad, but always tastes nice. Nice. <laughs> mm, hold on, I've got to check something. I've got to check. There's one thing I do have to check. Wait, hold on, let me just, um... Uh... Mm-hmm. Um. Mm, yeah, you <laughs> taste nice. Yeah, I thought so. Yes. Exactly as I thought. <laughs> 
<laughs> Felix says, how do you become cute? Explain. How do I become cute? Hmm. That's a good question. Well, I'm actually still working on that. I'm still working on that, actually. Huh. Like, if we met, if we were able to get the, if we were able to get the, one of the clips to work, not the full one, but the short one, if we managed to get that one to work. You can see me doing my exercise, trying to like get fit more, or at least losing my stomach. Mm. <laughs> I actually have <laughs> a little bit of a tum tum right now, so I'm trying to, I'm trying to, I'm eating healthier. And um, yeah, I'm 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 being uh, like I'm not eating sugar and chocolates and things. And um, yeah, I'm trying to trying to lose my my little belly. <laughs> so I know how that feels. Um, yeah, it's it's really tricky <laughs> to get um, Twitch videos to play on the player. It generally only really likes YouTube videos. So um, we can't really. Put but yeah, video like but... like during that workout session, like how I'm like getting tired from all that workout and stuff like that. Like somehow like. Laying it all out, all of a sudden just like calming down and things started to be not it's like started to feel nice afterwards. Minus the pain that happens the next day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you but know as a result it's like making me like think more about myself to like get myself more and then all of a sudden thinking that I should improve myself a little bit with these slight changes and all of a sudden like these small things you do to yourself, people start to say things and then they're like, Am I really? Because, like I said, uh, I, wait, I did not say this yet. Be because I doubt myself about what some people say about me calling me cute and stuff. And they're like, nice voice and everything like that. And then I realize they probably have a better opinion than I do for myself. So I'll accept it. <laughs> also trying to prove myself to, like, prove their point. Oh, I think I just killed my... Oh, I've just... I've actually just completely killed the screen. That's... <laughs> You killed the screen. Well, oh, no. Yeah, the music stopped. So I was like, yeah, don't worry. We'll just replay it. Um, yeah, that's never mind. It's fine. We're near the end of the show anyway. <laughs> so it's not the end of the world. Yeah, we are dragging. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, kind of dragging it there. <laughs> um, uh, uh, I think who, 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 who said it? Ah, okay. Um, uh, Moist Bagel says, rate Bunny one out one to ten. What, what, what would you care? I, okay, we're going to say one is bottom and ten is top. Hmm. Mm -hmm. One is bottom and ten is top. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One second, if you will. Mm -hmm. Let me take a look at this. I really one or ten. Mm. Um, I'm I'm obviously a top, so I'm ten. Yeah. Hmm. Mm. I gotta check down here for a second, so mind the meme for a second. <laughs> oh, um, uh, um, uh, 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 okay, I'm a one, I'm a one, I'm a one. <laughs> That's right, I'm, 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 I'm a one, I'm a one, I'm a one. You're one, alright. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah, I, I just got more than I bargained for. Stop, be wholesome. Be wholesome. Be. <laughs> what? Um, I was just looking down there, especially with your tracker. <laughs> I was literally looking at that. <laughs> uh huh. My my tracker. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Um. There is another question hey, as well. That's my spot. <laughs> Moyle also <laughs> asks. Um. Uh. Um. What do you prefer, thighs or floof? I'm guessing floof is like tail or ass. Hmm. I I I I prefer um. I don't know. It's it depends on my mood. Usually thighs, I would say, but I love I love I love a cute butt. So yeah. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Yep. It's. I would also go for the butt, but most of all, though. But most of all, though. What? Oh. Um. <laughs> there's a wall here. <laughs> yeah. There's there's because I've got I've got screens all across here, so there's a wall. Yeah. But. <laughs> That kind of ruined the immersion right there. Okay, I'll go I, the casting couch then. I, I, I was mostly prefer the thigh. Wait, hold on. Here. Let me just. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Bad. There we go. Um, okay. I'm not sure what kind of couch this think, is I now. I prefer like the thigh parts though. <laughs> 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 uh, Puck is tough and strong. Yeah, yeah. I'm super big, strong boy. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Everyone seems to like you. Ah, mm -mm. Everyone likes your thighs and butts. <laughs> yeah. Mm -mm, they're cute. <laughs> but yeah, but can you handle me though? With my story so far. You think you can handle that? Um, 
Mhm. Ja. Mhm. 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 Ja, das. Ja, I'm. I'm. I'm All I'm, right. I'm, We're gonna have to put the camera away for this for this next session afterwards. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh um. <laughs> Wait, wait, well, I, I've definitely got to go to the B Club, you know? It's a <laughs> 10 minutes B Club, okay? <laughs> okay, do we have any final? Do you, like, we'll do one more question if anyone has a final question. Mm -mm. Oh, no, Ren, don't you dare. Ren, don't you dare put that question. Wait, what? Don't read Gion Ren's his question. Uh, tell Lugal you must be clean. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> do you want to explain? I, this will be the last one. Do you want to explain what they mean? Hmm. I feel like there's a story here. There's a story. Uh, there's a somewhat story with our with our dating so far. With our dating so far, with that. Mm -hmm. So we were doing just a little movie cuddle session and everything like that. Our movie night. Mm -hmm. Cute. Yeah. We started mm -hmm. watching a, a whole marathon of horror films and then some other action ones. But this one that came up, uh, we were marathoning. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I just forgot the name now. Hellraiser. There we go. Hellraiser. We were marathoning Hellraiser. And we got to the last one, ju uh, Judgment, the last one from 2018. And there was a scene there that involves how how the main how one of the main characters had to be judged. It was disgusting, disturbing, which I recommend if you guys have a sensitive stomach, do not watch that scene. <laughs> Julie noted. So as a result, <laughs> there was there was a there was a one bit where legit like how I've been doing to a lot of people, and Puck, you experienced this too. Doing a little grooming session, if you will. <laughs> that they they phrased it. They phrased it as they will be cleaned. Quotation cleaned. And it oh, was I love a being cleaned. weird, like <laughs> it was a weird grooming, a uh, tongue grooming. It was tongue grooming type of thing. It was yeah. very weird, especially some other bits. So as a result. My hun, Ren, that I still love very much, but still hate that fit, made that into a thing to torture me with. <laughs> Every single time, like, just any moment, they'll, they'll pop that up. I'm like, God damn it, why do I love you still? <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe, maybe, um, maybe you can clean me off the stream. Um, mm -mm -mm. <laughs> That, that face. You better make a second person for that. Uh, and <laughs> you better get in here then. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, I think, I think it, it, the snow says time for the after show. Uh, yeah, okay, I think, yeah. I think we're there. Okay, so before we wrap up, there is one more thing mm -hmm. that needs to be done. Um, uh, everyone, uh, yeah. go and show lots of love to Lugal. All their links are below. Um, uh, if you want to check them out and watch them play, um, currently Pokemon or VR Chat or some other games, um, yeah, go and give them lots of love. And um, before we go, um, the floor is yours. Uh, if you want to give shout outs or if you want to mention anything that's upcoming in the future, anything like that, um, yeah, it's all on you. So yeah, the floor mm -hmm. is yours, Bean. <laughs> all right then. Well then, well, all I can say is like. For anything for future things and shout outs mm, i give a shout out to my hun who's starting to get their streaming stuff back together so i want you guys to see my hun in action whenever she's starting to stream again and also my video like i said that i'm gonna be doing on youtube and probably some lps if i can recover some of them or some new ones will be coming out soon and I might do them like mostly on Twitch to like show off some off grinding stuff before main story because I mostly like people who want to see the main story and then if people want to watch it they can watch it like watch me just off grinding and talk to everybody about it of my thoughts and as a and let's see one more person to shout out oh yeah Puck mm -hmm. get, Ma get Maydai in the interview Maydai wants in you better get him in here as soon as possible. <laughs> yeah, well, we we have like a kind of like a, 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 a don't worry, we will get everyone. We will come back to you at some point. Just bear with me because it's a big list. Help I will me. Come back he's to a you. funny guy, but he's but he's threatening me. <laughs> You're on your own. <laughs> nope. <laughs> I mean, he's bigger than me, so I definitely cannot beat that. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> was that it? Was there anyone else you wanted to mention? <laughs> well, if you guys like to exercise, you could also join me on my exercise bits too. <laughs> and yeah, I'm done. that's actually really good. That's a good idea. What days do you exercise? Just so people know. Uh, let's see. Whenever I'm actually trying to do it every day as much as possible, like try to wake up early. Like I've been having the worst sleep schedule fixing, but now I'm able to wake up early again. So I'm planning to do like morning exercises. And if not, I'll try to do in the evening, but I'll be probably tired from work. So yeah, but I have my off days again on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So on those days, I'll probably be doing more workouts. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can join me then if you want to. <laughs> Yeah, I if if, I, if I'm alive, yeah, <laughs> I may join you. <laughs> um, yeah, no worries. Thank you so much <laughs> for coming on, Lugal. It's been lovely to talk to you um, and to find out more yeah, about yeah. Um, y your past and your, your character and your name. And uh, this has been Fluffy, and you're super cute and adorable, and I love you. And um, ladies and gentlemen, please give um, a big round of applause for my final guest tonight. It's Lugal Platinum! Mm -hmm. Woo, Lugal! Yay! Thank you so much for coming, Lugal. I Thank hope you, you have a much. super fluffy night, okay? Oh, I love you so much. See you later. Bye, cutie. See you <laughs> Take care. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. See, I'll see you in one hour. <laughs> Ten minutes. Get your stuff charged. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay, I've got to charge my stuff. stuff. First. Get your stuff charged first. Okay, wait. No, it, it, was a, it was a bad... <laughs> Love you, Bean. See you later. <laughs> Definitely not Netflix and chill. D not that. No, totally not. No, no, totally not. Totally not Netflix no, and chill. No. Uh, yeah, no, we wouldn't. We'd never. We'd never do that. Um. Yeah. This, <laughs> this gentleman, my final guest, Lugal. <laughs> oh, it's so nice to see the fluffy Bean. So the, yeah. There we are. We are there. There is one thing that is left to do. Um, and that's to put on the ending music and then say thank you to everyone oh okay i've kind of broken things there we go oh we got there we got there okay hold on because <laughs> <laughs> bunny is going to have a good time after the show i always have a good time after the show that's why it's called an after party because i basically do this i basically yeah this is <laughs> me at the after party <laughs> <laughs> mm -mm 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 -mm. That's just the way we roll, yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, so. <sighs> For another week, we have reached the end of the show. There's a few people I need to thank who make everything possible, and without them, the show wouldn't be what it is. Thank you so much to Soma. Uh, Soma? Fuck that. Start again. Sopra. <laughs> Thank you to Sopra for all of the work on the world, the use of the dynamic cameras. This is all they're doing. Thank you so much for making this possible, uh, as long, along with the TV screens. Um, thank you so much to Yogi, my moderator and backstage manager for managing all of my guests and playing all the videos for us. Thank you so much for your help, as always. Stop! Stop saying Sopra! Stop saying Sopra! <laughs> Thank you so much to the artists who have made beautiful pieces of artwork for me that we honour in this world. A thank you to Nikarir, um, Sax, Sia, Flashy Clow, and Ribbles has once again, as tradition would have it, been thrown off my desk. I don't know where they've gone, but thank you so much for the artwork. Um, <laughs> thank you so much to my moderators for keeping us all safe during the show and um, taking care of any issues that needed to be dealt with. Uh, I, I really appreciate that. Thank you so much to my guests. Thank you all for your time, and although nothing ever runs on time here, <laughs> your patience is always greatly appreciated. Thank you so much to you guys for being here, for enjoying the show, um, and for all of the generosity you show me. Um, uh, Kaldra, with the massive £300 donation, that is truly overwhelming, and I am eternally grateful. Thank you so much for all of the additional raids um, uh, and hosts and follows. And most importantly, for supporting your uh, streamers who came on the show today. Thank you for taking the time to be here for them. Uh, yeah, I think we're there. Also, thank you to Manafox, who raided earlier and did the logo. It's always lovely to see him. Before you leave, Puck, I have a question I want to ask. Where are the mods born? Um, the, the, they live in Modsville. Yes, I, I rule with an iron fist. They can never leave. 
yeah, that's that's where the mods come from. <laughs> yeah. So there we go. We are done for another week. We're going to find a raid target and go and send them all the love in the world. Until next week when we have six more guests. I hope you have an amazing week. You stay safe. Um, and yeah. As always, it has been an absolute pleasure. Thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to host this show. It is for me one of the most special things I've ever done and uh, long may it continue from your support until next time guys have an amazing night I love you all see you later <laughs>